Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and we're going to be looking at a new game called Sunken Land. Get ready for a water world themed survival game with modular base building, sunken city scavenging, crafting, base defense, invasion of NPC clans for resources and territory. Ready for the water apocalypse? Uh, this sounds pretty freaking dope. I'm not going to lie. Um, this is on Steam. It is $20 normally, but right now it's 20% off till September 1st. Let's go ahead and start a game. I did play for about a half hour just to get my feet wet. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, you know, kind of see what the game's all about. Um, we're going to go ahead and create a game, a new world. We are going to call this Season 1. Um, enemy difficulty, everything will be normal. Uh, I'm going to leave all these checked. Um, a lot of the stuff is just multiplayer stuff. Um, share research. Yeah, that's all multiplayer stuff. Not gonna worry about that. Um, respawn time. I don't know what that means, so I'm gonna leave it alone. World description doesn't matter. Let's get started. Create game. So uh, this this game seems like it's gonna be really dope. At first, I thought it was gonna be like Raft, but I don't think it's exactly like Raft. It's think of Raft if you weren't moving throughout the sea, you know. So here we are, and this is the starting area. Um, two two worlds in a row I set up were exactly the same starting look, so I'm not sure if, like, you always start at the same area or not, so don't know, but this looks exactly like the starting island that I started on when I did my test game. First thing I want to do is show you underwater, because this is the thing I'm most excited about. Look at this underwater stuff, man. Like, it's like cities underwater. This is, this is like nothing else I've ever seen, okay? A lot of these games, like, kind of, you know, this underwater stuff is just whatever. This game doesn't look like a proper underwater ocean it looks like where a city used to be and now it's an ocean which makes sense for a water world i'm really excited about this game i've been following this game for a long time and um you know you never know where these early access games are going to go but i'm really really pumped about this one really freaking hyped so we're just going to come down here and get as many resources as we possibly can and you know see where the game takes us the only thing i'm seeing in the beginning that i don't really like is that there's no like starter tutorial like do this do that whatever so might make the starting a little bit a little bit rough but i should be i should be okay with it we'll see how it goes so there's a car you can take apart cars i strongly suggest you take apart cars it's gonna have a lot of cars are gonna have a lot of things you're gonna need um like components and i thought there was something else yeah some cloth cloth is very important in this game and we're gonna come over here. I don't know if stuff respawns. Honestly, I don't know anything about this game. All I know is it's underwater stuff and it looks pretty cool and I'm having a good time with it. And you know, other than that, I don't know. Uh, I'm playing it the second it comes out. So if you guys have any tips, um, I'm more than welcome to listen to your tips. And you know, we'll just all learn together. Maybe I'll show you some things. Maybe you'll show me some things and we'll just take it from there. But um, the first thing I need to concentrate on is like any other survival game, you have to concentrate on water and then, yeah, I could chop this. You have to concentrate on water and then food. Okay, also protection is pretty important. I don't know how important protection is in a game where you start off in a tropical, you know, I, I guess I don't really know if it's tropical, but I don't see anything about cold being cold or anything like that. So I don't know if protection is going to be a big deal. Um, and we'll just have to see if, we'll just have to see about that and when I go up it does say I'm in a neutral area So I'm hoping the enemies will not attack neutral areas. Although yeah, there you go See, um, the castaway island neutral So I think this starting island and all this little stuff around the starting island is gonna be the same for everybody But I think once we get out of this area, it's gonna really change up Like quite a bit inventory's full. That's not good All right, if inventory's full, we got to start building now, I don't know if this is a good place to build or not. I don't know anything about this game, so I'm just going to go ahead and start building. Uh, I get, you know, do I have to make foundations? I guess, do I? That's a good question. Um, we're going to look at the simple crafting stuff. Then we're going to look at simple crafting stuff here, which is like tools and everything. All right. Then we're going to look at armor and clothes. And then we got rope cloth and leather, bandages, and some herbal medicine and stamina herbal mix. And then here we have build. Now, there is a chest here. I don't, I don't have enough wood for it anyway. So I don't know what I should do. I guess I should... Oh, hold on. I got a shirt. All right, let's put the shirt on. And then we're going to get some wood. Now, these trees do take a long time to cut down. As a matter of fact, they take so long to cut down. Originally, I thought they weren't choppable. But just keep chopping them. You'll eventually get there. Uh, bottom left-hand side, you have hunger, thirst, hit points, stamina. And I think you have, like, two stamina bars. You have the one where... You get tired as you swing, and then you have like an ultimate stamina bar, or you can even think of it like an energy bar. 
And I don't know how you get that up. I guess it's from sleeping or maybe eating certain food. All right, I can't hold any wood. So we're gonna throw that on the ground. Drop, uh, split. Wait, can I not throw stuff on the ground? I don't wanna destroy things. Hmm. All right, hold on. I think there's a chest over here. I could probably use this chest. Here we are. We'll just kind of use this chest. I, I, I don't see anything about putting stuff down. All I saw was destroy things, and I don't want to destroy anything. So I'm going to try not to do that. There we go. What? Oh, they only stack in tens. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so build. Build a chest. All right, you do need a foundation for a chest. All right, that's fine. Build. Uh, wooden foundations. There we go. And I will start building out right from here, I guess. Seems pretty cool. And rotate is with the mouse wheel. And that looks pretty good. All right. All right, cool. Now let's go pick up some more wood. Still getting used to the controls. Oh, that's not going the right way. Damn it. All right, I'm going to have to break that up. I can't do it yet. You need a hammer. I don't think I can make the hammer yet either. Let's take a look. Now I need rope for the hammer. Okay, we won't make the hammer yet. I'll eventually break that out and have it going the right way, but I can't do it right now. Go, take that, take that. We should be able to make a, a chest. Now, I already have a chest over there where I, where I first started putting things, but I don't trust chests that are already out in the world. You know, I don't, I'm not going to trust those kind of chests. I'm going to assume that they're not going to be, you know, a, something I could rely on to put my stuff in. Was there any wood in that chest? You know what? I'm not going to, well, let's take a look. Uh, no. Okay, fine. We're going to leave that chest alone. I'm going to cut down some more trees. We're going to get some more wood. This game, I'm freaking pumped, dude. I, I hope you guys are looking forward to this game because you're going to be seeing a lot of content <laughs> over the weekend and poss possibly into next week. So um, get ready because I think this game is going to be... I hate saying these kind of things, but I think this could be the next big survival game. It depends on what kind of team they have, how the developers plan on going about their business. Do they have, you know, enough money and and manpower you know everything like that by the way if you look at the top left hand side you can see day one and it shows i don't know what the numbers are oh that's the time uh they're both the time wait are they both the time hold on well one is definitely the time why would there be two times going on i thought one was my location you know like longitude latitude but it's not because i'm not moving and there is two times going on. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Is it 12.30 or is it 6.30? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right, well, it is what it is. We'll find out eventually. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a chest. I don't know what these numbers are. I guess, like, how many hit points they have or something. I don't know. Okay, and then we will open this and put everything in there. Except for some food. Yeah, I'll put the food and drink away, too. All right, let's go pick up the wood that was uh, lying around, put everything away, and then we're going to go diving down um, for more stuff. I, I don't know where to loot first. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I don't know anything. I know nothing. Where's that other box? It was over here, wasn't it? I don't know if food spoils either. I could pick those mushrooms, but I'm not going to right now because I don't know if food spoils. There it is. This is what I was looking for. Waste not, want not. So the next thing I'm going to make is a water collector or like, a, I think it's a water distiller or something. And I don't know what I'm going to need for that. Uh, I'm just going to go do some diving and we'll take a look at it when we come back up. Oh, I'm so freaking pumped. I'm so excited. And this is really different when I, like, like I said, when I first looked into this game, I was like, okay, it's going to be another like raft type game. That's fine. If you do it well, I don't mind that. That doesn't really bother me. There's a lot of games out there that have taken the raft you know, game mechanic and done good things with it. Uh, but, you know, I'm glad it isn't. This is really different. This is really, really different. This is like that survival game. Instead of in the woods, you're, you know, you're out here in the freaking ocean. And it looks interesting under the ocean. Oh, you see that? My stamina can only go as high as my energy. Okay. That's good to know. That is really good to know. I'm going to have to take a look at what my food gives me. I don't want to overeat. I do have a couple things I could eat. This thing gives you a... Uh, this right here is a cloth, by the way. Um, there is a couple things I can eat, but I don't want to overeat because I don't want to waste resources. Beautiful. 
And the oxygen bar is right in the middle. As of right now, I don't see the ability to make anything that would help un being underwater, except for some fins. But the fins, I would need um, uh, marlin fish skin. So I, th I don't think we're going to be getting that right now. Kind of see what's up. What's up? Make sure we've gotten everything in here. No. Oh, what is this? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, heck yeah. F yeah, bro. Oh, I keep doing that. Take all. I keep doing that. Um, I, I'm not used to the inventory being on the side that it's on. As a matter of fact, I wonder if I looted anything and put it in the wrong bin. Like, I'm used to my inventory being on the right side. So when you go to loot something, like, I assume that's my inventory, but it's not. It, like, if I go to loot something, the loot will be on the right side. On the on the right side when it's normally my it's hard to explain I'll, I'll i'll try not to miss it all right oh no my backpack is on the uh is on the right side okay never mind i guess uh, i don't know why i get confused on which side it's on but whatever i will uh not make that mistake often hopefully all right i'll loot until i can't loot no more and then we will go back and do some crafting maybe get the distiller going we also gotta do some cooking Go, backpack, loot, take all. Is this loot? It's, no, it's not. This is choppy chop. Chop, chop, chop. Oh, I got a bronzeware? What the hell is that? Okay, we got to come back down there again. If I have room in my inventory, which I might not. I think we'll probably go back. Nah, we'll go back. I don't know what that bronzeware thing is. The Castaway Island Neutral. That's right. Don't nobody attack me here. What is that? Oh, it's a decor decoration. All right. Fair enough. There you go. <laughs> All righty. Uh, let's go ahead and we do have, do we have a lot of uh, wood on us? Not really, but we do have some. Let's go ahead and build. And we're going to have to build some more foundations here. Make sure they're facing the right way. Rotate is mouse wheel. Okay, so mouse wheel is not rotating. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I, I want them going the correct way. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. Why can't I? Yeah, let me see if I can get this down the. It'll go the right way over, over there. Why won't? Probably because of that one. I don't know. Let's just put it there. These are going the right way. That's good enough. All right. So let's take a look. And here we go. We've got the purifier. We're gonna need some more wood. Let me go chop some trees. I'm still not sure why there's two times on the top of the top left hand side of the screen, but I do think the second time is the actual time of the game. So it's going on six o'clock, right? 18, eight, seven, six. Yeah, six o'clock. So I do need to eat some. Uh, why don't we go ahead and grab everything out of these two chests over here? All right. So we'll grab all of this. And there's a chest over here as well. I won't pick the mushrooms yet because I don't know if they start going bad once you pick them. Okay, we got a rubber ducky. So that's a thing. Um, I will go ahead and put the bandage right there. And we're good to go. So I got to decide what's most important right now. I'd really like a better axe, but I think the other things are more important um, in the game. Can we pick that up? No. So I think once you place something, it's probably down maybe for good. So I'm not going to put the, the ducky down just yet. Uh, I'm just gonna stop calling it ducky. All right, so that's 50 hunger, 20 energy. All right, so that's good. That's something we could definitely eat. All right. So, nope. There. And eat. There we go. And now we need some drink. So that's 50. Beautiful. Beautiful. So let's see what we can make now. Um, we need the scrap metal. I have plenty of scrap metal. Uh, put the duck away. Put the seeds away if i can plant more trees um we should probably be looking for lights as well crap well there is a torch where is the torch i'm not wasting a cloth on torch no freaking way cloth is way too <laughs> rare at the moment um let me see what else i can do uh, build let's go ahead and build that it's gonna be a little dark i'm not gonna record a dark video so if it gets too dark i will just pause the video for the night um i should probably make a bed so i could sleep through the night Six cloth. I think I have six cloth. Yes, I do. All right. Let's make the uh, bed. I don't know if it's got to be inside or anything like that. Oh, uh, where was it? Oh, it was up in building. That's right. Bed. OK, 
Okay, just give me a spawn point. All right, so it's just sleep. Okay, fair enough. Can I make the food thingy? Build. Um, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Take those, take that. All right, now we got a way to make food and drink. So we should be good. If I can find a way to light up the light up the game during the night without having to waste cloth, I will. And if not, I will see you guys in the morning. Cool. I don't even know how this water thing works. Uh, drink. Well, I made the I made the food thing first. That's okay though. Uh, drink water. I don't know. Does it just take some time? Do I have to, oh, add seawater. Add wood. Oh, okay. I gotta make a bucket. I'm sure. So we could add some seawater. Fill with seawater. And add some seawater. All right, cool. And you just gotta cook it. So I'll do that as well. I started actually freezing. So I did get this torch here down. And this torch is pretty cool. It's um, it's a standing torch, obviously. And it doesn't take any cloth. It's just scrap and wood. So there you go. I'm sure cloth won't be an issue for very long, but eventually, at some point, it will be. Um, wood, wood needs to be probably added to it. I don't think this needs to have anything added to it. I'm going to stick with that one for the, for the time being. Um, oh, does, whoa, does nighttime go super quick or what? I think that's going quicker than it was during the day. I don't think they want, like, nighttime to be, like, a problem. Need a bucket filled with seawater. I thought I already did that. Go. And there we go. I won't waste the wood on that just yet. Because I don't need to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I know this is a little dark. I apologize. It won't be for long. There is some mushrooms over here. But that I... I honestly, never mind. I'm not even going to pick them. Because I don't need them right now. So... I'm not going to pick them. I don't know if they go bad. I don't think they do, but it's not worth the effort or the, not the effort, but it's not worth the chance. And this stuff, uh, as far as I can tell, doesn't go bad. So that's phenomenal. Now I could just sleep through the night, but I think I'm actually going to use this time to gather resources. The more I play this game, the more I'm loving it. I, I can't believe how like they sped up time during the night. Oh my goodness. Game developers, kudos. It's, it's almost like you've been paying attention. It's awesome. Thank you for that. So now I can get out and do some work. I did make, make myself a spear, but other than that, I haven't done anything different. Uh, we're just going to come through here and see what's what, try and collect a bunch of stuff. I think the next thing I want to make is a bag. And I'm going to need quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of, um, what do you call it, cloth for the bag. Um, that's the one thing I'm missing. The bag. I need the bag. But I'm freaking, you know, just, I'm, I'm freaking pumped, man. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to edit this video, get it up on YouTube, and then I'm making more episodes. I was at least going to make one more. I might just make two more. This game. Ugh. Ah, just, I'm, I love it, man. I love it. Like, when games like this just come along, you know? It doesn't happen often, but, you know, it does happen every once in a while. I mean, all the games I play are fun, but there's certain games that are just next level that I think are going to be huge, you know? I'm getting very much Raft vibes with this game. And not that because it's like Raft, but just because Raft was one of those games I didn't, you know, I didn't see coming. <laughs> and then it turned out to be awesome. Did I miss some stuff in this building? I think I did. By the way, you can make boats in this game. I think there's only two boats at the moment. Maybe you can make more. I'm not sure. There is a, um, uh, what do you call it? A research table. So maybe you can make more boats. I don't know. But for now, it's only one. Okay. Break this. That looks like it there. And then we're going to head on over this way and check out those buildings over there. And then I, I got to get cloth, man. Have I got any cloth yet? No. See, cloth is rough. Cloth is really rough. Okay. Am I still like in my little newbie area? I don't know. Um, discovered location. Apartments. Apartments neutral. Cool. I know there's like factions in the game. So I'm thinking certain factions are going to take over like areas. It's gonna, like... Faction wars and stuff. Oh, shark. Those are big things. I don't know what they are, but they don't look friendly. Okay. Take all that. Oh, here we go. Cloth. Yo, cloth. I don't know how much cloth I need. What? Oh, because I got a bunch of... Okay. Yeah, when you get a bunch of clothes... <clears throat> excuse me. When you get a bunch of clothes, your inventory just fills up, like, very quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for some air. And I'm going to put that on, pick that up, um, put the gloves on. Man, I'm like full of stuff already. Crap. Can I make some rope? Um, well, it doesn't really help because I'm looking for more cloth. Yeah. 
I don't think there's much I can do here. I'm gonna have to go home. Oh, darn it. All right, well, let's see what we dropped because I prefer to pick it up before I go. Oh, cargo pants. Okay, shouldn't that stuff give me like more inventory space or? Right, I'm not getting stuff that's wood. Well, wood does stack, but now I'm gonna run out of oxygen. Wood does stack, so I mean, it's not really a big problem to get wood. But it doesn't stack by that much. It's only 10. So, yeah, like, now that I got, like, cargo pants and stuff, I feel like I should have more inventory somewhere. But I guess not. Maybe I'll add, maybe I'll add that to the game later. Uh, I'm going for cloth. That's all I'm going for. Well, that's not all I'm going for, but it's what I'm going for right now. Okay. I think it's time to go home. Maybe I could, like, cut up the pants I have already for more cloth. Like, the ones I'm not wearing. That might be doable. That would make sense. All right, let's get back home. I was one cloth away. One freaking cloth away. I'm going to stay somewhat close to my base this time. I think there's still a lot of stuff by my base that I could loot. I don't have to be going out to those apartments just yet. So, yeah, there's a lot. Of, oh, yeah. Plenty of stuff around here to loot. Plenty of stuff. All right, nothing there. Here we go. Well, my oxygen's not looking too good, but I'm pretty close to the surface. All right, we are drowning. And there goes my health, losing consciousness, and I'm okay. Oof. Gotta make sure not to not to test that, that again. <laughs> I was kind of curious on what would happen, but I still prefer not to die. Did I loot this one already? Doesn't look like I did, but there's nothing here, so I guess I did. All right, so let's go around here. Yep, there's some stuff there. I kind of wish they would put cloth in these piles. A lot of scrap metal, which is useful. Very useful. But, um, I also need some cloth. Uh, looks like, uh, yeah, we got some more stuff over here. There's a car. I might get some cloth out of that car. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to start worrying about food and drink, too, because my food and drink is getting pretty low. Come on, cloth. Really? Wow. That's a bummer. I didn't get anything out of that besides scrap metal. Let's come on up here and let's start diving. I'm going to try this car. I have gotten cloth from cars before. Come on. There we go. All right. Now let's get back and make our, make our bag, which is going to give us more inventory space. Yeah. So food, drink, or actually drink food in that order. And then after that, make the bag. The next thing I'm probably going to make is the axe. I guess. So, I did make another chest in he over here. Okay, we're gonna look in there. We're gonna take that. We're gonna take- I made a rope, and... There we go. Right, I'm right-clicking to use, but it's not doing anything. So, I guess, uh... Where does it go? Oh, in the backpack slot? Duh. <laughs> Alright, well, you know. <laughs> Alright, guys. Alright, calm down. That was pretty funny, though. Alright, there we go. Cool. And do I want to go back out to the... I'm not sure. Let's continue looking around this area. Although, nah, let's go to the apartments. They're not... You know what? They're not that far away. And there were some really dope stuff in there, man. I just wish I could tear up clothes. I am going to keep the clothes. Because I might be able to tear them up later on. But... Look at that. That looks like a raft over there. I'm just going to kind of mind my own business and hopefully I don't get killed. I'm going to need some more oxygen. This is very early game raft where you got to come up for oxygen all the time. <laughs> okay. This. And probably break this up. Ooh, leather. Okay. All right. Leather's good. I haven't gotten leather yet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is this is anxiety inducing with the oxygen for real. It's giving me anxiety issues. Well, no, it's just it's it's enhancing the anxiety issues I already had. Okay, let's go ahead and break this. No stamina. Oh my god. Mom. 
Let's get back up. I just ate and drank and now we're gonna go back down. You know, instead of going down in those apartments, I'm gonna go to the apartments that are a little bit closer to the surface. Not that I won't go down those apartments eventually, but I, I prefer to go down there once I start getting things that will allow me to swim faster and hold my breath longer. Okay, take all. all right, so you see how close I am to the surface now? Yeah, let's take let's take this. What my my initial idea of looting would be? Okay, there's a building. We're gonna loot the entire building. That doesn't make any sense. Loot the top of all the buildings first. It just you know. I mean, it just makes sense. That's all. Take all. And we're gonna chop you up. Probably not gonna get anything but planks, but that's okay. Oh, cloth. That was a nice. That was a pleasant surprise. I do see sharks over there. Some kind of animal with a spear on their face. I don't know. I don't know if it's a shark or not, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go over there and find out. I don't care what it is, I'm staying the hell away from it. Ooh, a safe. Oh, maybe we'll find the heart of the ocean and, and booby pictures. Alright, I'll take a look at that when I get back up. One of those was a um uh was a schematic, I'm almost positive. Alright, let's take a look. Tactical jacket. Alright, cool. Couple things I could put down. Uh, right click to study this blueprint. Reinforced structures. Blueprint studied, reinforced structures, no, no translation found for in building. Okay, don't know what any of that means, but. Oh, hi for, oh, you could buy and sell in this game? That'd be pretty cool. All right, did we get everything on this floor? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, so let's get some oxygen and then we're gonna go down to the next floor. The next floor is not too bad because it's still really close to the surface. I am getting kind of full though. That's right. Scrap metal, come to Papa. Yeah, I'm getting pretty full here. Oh wow, there's nothing like on this level. Just that one thing? Alright. See if I can catch a fish. I know there's like a fishing pole in the game and stuff, a little fishing mini game. But maybe I could spear some fish here. Oh, hold on. You know what? Forget that idea. What's over here? Let's get some leather. Oh, no leather? Oh, it's got some cloth. Alright. Uh, we are... Eh, we're getting pretty close to full. Stay out here for a bit. Alright, what are we going to get from this? A lot of scrap metal. Gasoline, more scrap metal. Cloth, beautiful. More cloth, components, more scrap metal. Come on. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Now let's see how full we are. I really don't want to go back until I'm full. Okay, I'm pretty full. Alright, let's head back. So I think the next thing I'm going to make is the crude axe. Okay, if I have a, if I have enough stuff for it, I think I do. Uh, let's go ahead and make some rope. And then we just need the metal and the, what is that? Oh, that's leather. I didn't mean to put leather in there. The leather kind of looks a bit like the scrap metal. Um, and then some wood. Okay. Dump some stuff in there. And let's go ahead and make the uh, crude axe. And then I'm going to go use it on a tree. Now this axe has 16. This has 25. So it's a significant jump. And I'm doing it strictly for the trees. So let's come over here and chop down a... Chop down a tree and see how much better it is. Okay, I haven't looked around like completely on this island. Maybe I should do that. Hold on, hold on, th hold on th about that tree. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything up here. All right, doesn't look like it. It does look like there's just an unbelievable amount of stuff around me to um to loot, which has got me super super hyped. This video should be up um, around, I don't know, sometime in the early morning. And then I will have another video up, another video up on Saturday of this game. Possibly two, depending on how late I can go tonight. We'll see. Probably not, but there's a, there's a possibility there might be three videos of this on Friday. But probably two. Oh yeah, look at that. Much better. Much better. Alright guys, I don't know about you, but I'm super, absolutely super duper pumped for this game. If you guys are pumped for this game, make sure you share the video, like the video, comment on the video. Let me know. You want to see a lot more videos and stuff like that. That would be awesome. And uh, if you're new here, maybe uh, subscribe. Really helps the channel. 
All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is kg 4 and welcome back to Sunken Land. So we're going to start this episode off right by making a boat. Why not, right? We're going to go ahead and we're going to build a paddle boat. Is it going to be worth it? I don't know. Only one way to find out. I got what I need for it. That's all I know. Uh, the other boat, which is probably better, is going to take a lot of cloth and rope and everything. So um, I think this will be the one we make first. So let's go ahead and build ourselves a little boat here. All right. There we go. Cool. Oh, it comes with a chest. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, How do I go? Uh, space bar. I'm going for I'm pressing forward. I don't seem to be going forward. <laughs> Am I in the wrong spot? Someone is occupying. Can you, you can you drive in either spot? I don't know. No, you can't drive. Oh, I see. It's one of those paddle boats. Wait, can I drive this to one person? <laughs> it's going to be a little messed up. All right. Fair enough. You know what I was thinking about when I was um, editing the episode? I was thinking that I don't want to build off an island. I'm going to be using this as an outpost, but I think I want to build out in the middle of the ocean. All the all the, like the the thumbnails and stuff I see is from the middle of the ocean, so I think that'd be pretty cool. Forward, backwards, turn left, turn right, L S speed up, left left shift. Okay. All right, we got a little paddle boat. I don't know how good this thing's really gonna be, but whatever. It comes with a chest. I guess that alone makes it worth it. C is to quit. There we go. And let's see how big the chest is. Oh, you know it's not a bad chest. And apparently you can change the color and everything. That's awesome. It is uh, it is pretty much nighttime now though So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause the video while the I'm not gonna sleep through the night I'm gonna gather resources. I, I think sleeping through the night is Probably not the best use of my time So I'm gonna gather resources and uh, I will come back when it's the morning. We've got some light Well, this is a bit of a bummer. I'm um, number one. This thing on the water is really loud distracting and annoying But that's not nearly as bad as what it is right now. It's completely um, beached I can't get it off the beach like it won't go forward. It won't go left. It won't go right. It won't go. It won't do anything. Tr trust me. I tried all night. I even tried pushing it around and like I could push it sometimes, but not like it, only towards the beach. So I'm not sure if there's a way to unstuck that. I have put some feelers out on discord asking some questions on discord and uh, you know, maybe I'll get some info. Um, I do have a little bit of meat on me. I don't have a lot of drink, but I did take some drink out of there. And I guess we're just gonna have to go around and uh, look for some loot here and uh, see what we can find. Um, I will come back and do some building today. Uh, I'm a little bit annoyed with that boat, but hey, man, early access. What are you going to do? I'm going to kill this guy. There you go. I did already kill and uh, cook up a crab. So that is very helpful. And let's come on down here and see what's what. None of this looks very good over here because it looks like if there's any loot. It's going to be like deeper than I'm willing to not that willing to go, but uh, a little deep for me right now. So we're going to come up here and I'm going to dive down towards this. I did see a little house down here or whatever this is. I don't know what this is. It's it looks like there's a shark above me or something, but I, I don't know. I don't I don't see when I go up there. OK, and we're going to grab this. And I'm not seeing anything else down here. And let's get back up to the top, get some oxygen. Man, that was really deep. <laughs> that was really deep. Let's see what my food looks like. Uh, that's 40. Wait, plus, oh, that's going to make me thirsty or it's going to give me thirst? No, it's hunger plus 40, thirst plus 40, energy plus 10. Okay. All right, fine. We'll just go ahead and have that. Oh, the energy bar or whatever that was. And let's come down here and get some... Yeah, I'm gonna stay away from those those big fish, man. I don't mess around with those big fish. Uh, water is not really a problem now, and if I could just get crabs, and I think the crabs respawn, food should not be a problem, which is really good. Then I can start concentrating on building a base. All right, we're gonna grab this car right here. I'll just grab stuff until I'm finished, and then what I'll do is, uh, when I'm done grabbing stuff and I'm full, I'll go back to base, and then I'll go on Discord and find out if there's any way to unstuck the raft. I'm not gonna waste more resources on another one of those rafts, though. Like. Or maybe I will. <laughs> I probably won't, but we'll see. Um, who knows? I don't know what I'm going to do from day to day, right? All right, let's come over here and check this out. And I'm just kind of just, you know, going in a circle around my island, just grabbing stuff that's easy pickings for now. 
Uh, I feel like we've got thirst and hunger taken care of. The next thing we gotta do is figure out a place to build a base. I hate the idea of finding a place to build a base. I love building bases, but I'm always like, oh, is this a really good spot? Is that a good spot? I don't know. And then like, and then what I'll do is I'll build a base and someone will tell me in the comments, that's oh, an awful place. You should have built it here. And then I'm like, okay, <laughs> I, can't, I can't win. I just can't win. All right, so it looks like there's some stuff over here that is pretty close to the surface. So I'm gonna come over here and check out what's going on over here. This should be some stuff I can get to relatively easily. And we're looking good in there. I'll probably eat that ramen at some point. And let's just come on down here and see what we can find. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, this will give me some cloth. Unknown ruins. Alrighty then. Alright, let's get some oxygen. I love that these ruins are so close to the surface. It's a beautiful thing. I uh, can't do nothing there. Oh, here we go. Got scrap metal coming out of my ears. Oh, my freaking ears. All right, here we go. All right, not too bad. Not too bad at all. You do have to keep a lookout for enemies though. Hopefully I won't run into any anytime soon. I'm just getting started here. I'm just getting started here, boys. Oh, Neon Nightclub? What the heck? What the heck is that? Um, oh, <laughs> nice. Ooh, pants. Uh, I like the pants I have better, though. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and eat that. And then we have four more spots that we have to go back. See, I don't really love that, um, that little boat I made. It doesn't handle well. Um, I don't even think it's going to be as fast as swimming. Like, I, I kind of dislike it in every way, except for one thing. The fact that it's got a chest makes it really good. So, you know, I don't know, though. I think it's lack of maneuverability and it's lack of speed and everything. I'm pretty sure I can get around quicker on my own. All right. Hopefully the uh, developers put in an unstuck option for it. That would be wonderful. Planks. Planks. All right, get a couple more things and then we gotta head back. Garbage can, huh? Oh, glass, good. I need glass for bottles. And I haven't got a thing of glass yet. All right, are we full? I don't think we're full, but I think we're close enough to being full. Here, let me drag something down here. Make a little bit more room. There we go. And we'll take this. That's probably just filled up my inventory. Let's take a look. I don't know what that bottle was. Was it just a straight up bottle? Oh, expensive wine. All right, cool. I just got to find someone to buy all this stuff. So let's go back to base and let's put this stuff away. And then I'm going to check on Discord. Like I said, I went on the official Discord and I was like, hey, my boat's stuck. What's up? And uh, sometimes you'll get an answer. Sometimes you won't. I may get an answer that's like, hey, we're working on it. And, you know, if that's the case, so be it. I gotta check that out too. It's right next to my base. Okay, nothing on Dis Discord yet about that. That's okay though. Um, the the developers got a lot bigger fish to fry than my little problems. There's um there's other bugs that are way way more important. So, um, it is what it is. Uh, I forgot to get the glass out of my inventory, but whatever. I'm gonna go anyway. And wasn't there like a little building over here? I think it was right around over here, and it was like pretty close, like to the uh. It's pretty close to the um to the water line. Where was it? I'm not gonna spend too much time looking for it, but I'll spend a little bit of time looking for it. If your screen starts going gray like that, it's because your stamina is low. Uh, all right, I don't know where it was. Eh, it's around here somewhere. I'll find it some other time. Not like super overly concerned about it. Mm hmm. Okay. All right, buddy. No problem. Uh, do you want to go back to where we were before? Do you want to go to the other side, go to the apartments? Nah, I think I'm going to go this way. Oh, that's a shark over there. Ooh, the mansion. Okay. Well, let's look down here, see if there's anything that, of interest. What do we got over here? Um, oh, oh, hold on. That looked interesting. That, I saw some flippers. I don't think they were flippers. Though. I think they were like flip flops. 
But I was like thinking, um, style three armor one. Okay. Does that not give me any armor? Oh, that's armor one as well. Okay. And that looks better. That looks kind of weird. Um, armor one on my feet. Okay. Well, you know, I got some armor. I won't say no to some armor. I'm not gonna be able to stay out here that long because I didn't realize my, I didn't take any, uh, I didn't drink any water before I came out here. So it's going to be a bit of a problem. Scavenge. Whoa, whoa. Leave me alone, bro. Nope, let's be friends. I don't need that. I don't need those headaches in my life. Um, now, do bandages actually give you health? No, just stops bleeding. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to try and not get a, any shark's attention. That would be great. But I don't know if that's going to work. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, we're pretty close to the end to the surface, so this shouldn't be. There we go. Man, the stamina in this game is pretty rough on you, huh? Like it just seems to go down, and like my my second stamina bar is full, so I feel like I should have a little bit better stamina than that. But I know, I know, it's because I'm always using it. But I mean, that's what it's for, right? What the hell was that? That was weird. Okay, I will grab this car. I feel nervous now, man. Those sharks. Those sharks made me nervous. Oh, so now I'm not using stamina at all. It's weird. I, I was holding down the shift button. I felt like I was sprinting. I guess I wasn't. All right. Ooh, oil painting. Can I go out this window? No. All right, hurry up. <laughs> hurry up. The uh, drowning part portion of this game is not very forgiving. Not very forgiving at all. Yeah, my thirst is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to go back a little bit early. Garbage. You got any drink in there? I'm gonna get some uh, oxygen and come back. Hopefully, I can get some some drinks soon. If I don't get some drinks soon, I'm gonna have to go back. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk dying. My hit points just aren't looking too good. I do have some health items, but I'd prefer not to use them unless I'm in like dire need. And I don't feel like I'm in dire need just yet. There we go. Oh, is that a door? Is there something behind it? Ooh, there is. Hidden loot, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So one good thing about making the um the little boat that I did is it shows where my where my starting area is. So that's good or where my base is. Okay. Let's do this. Let's go into that hidden doorway. Come on, scrap metal. I don't think there's anything really good in here. I mean, I'll take cloth. I'm not going to say no to some cloth. You know me. But if I don't get some water soon, I'm going to definitely have to go back. I know I keep saying that, but... Well, it's true. It's very, very true. Alright. Let's try this. See if there's anything... I don't think there's anything special in here. I mean, it's, it's good stuff, but... It's not like anything, like, crazy. This game's freaking cool. <laughs> I'm loving this game. Are you guys loving it? Did you buy it? I'm loving it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a... I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a third video today. <laughs> the hell with it. Having a great time. Can't really ask for anything more than that, right? All right. I mean, there's a lot of wood in here, and I do need wood. It's just, you know... I expected something a little bit more... I don't know. A little bit more exciting. Let's take a look at my inventory. Uh, we're going to go ahead and eat that. There we go. Getting some health back. Beautiful. Choppy chop. Choppy chop. Chop, chop, chop. 
I don't know if the I don't know if the trees grow back. I don't know anything. I don't know if I can plant stuff either. I know I can make like grow plots, but I don't have any seeds of any kind. I don't know if everyone in this game is hostile either. It looks like there's a like a base over there. Maybe it has some people on it. I might want to go check that out at some point. But you can't just save and go check stuff out. Because if I could save and go check stuff out, I'd be a lot more adventurous. Just go out there and whatever. And if I get in trouble, I could always just reload. But when um it's your ass, like, and there's no reloading, I mean, I don't want to be losing everything, you know? So I'm going to be a little bit more... Uh, I don't remember seeing anything that said that there would be any friendly, you know, NPCs. But the fact that there is stuff that you could sell, I'm guessing, because I've been finding a lot of stuff that says, oh, this is worth a lot, you know? Um, leads me to believe that there are friendly NPCs. Or else, you know, who you get to sell to. Who are you gonna sell to? Okay. Just gonna go outside. Nope, but there's a way to get outside. So that's great. Yeah, my th my thirst meter's going pretty good. It's not it's not going down nearly as much as I thought it would. I'm gonna fill up with stuff before I need, you know. I love the fact that there's so much like stuff you can find that's like uh, cosmetic. That's pretty cool. That it for here. Um, okay, I'm gonna go up and get some more. Get some more of that sweet, sweet O2. Uh, I think I'm gonna go down one more time and then go back to my base. Maybe make a workshop. That'd be pretty cool. Actually, you know what? If I have what I need, I'll definitely make a workshop. Or a workbench or whatever it's called. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. Except for the fact that my oxygen is getting destroyed and my thirst isn't looking good. I think um, we've pushed our luck just far enough. Let's get back to base. I have come home and I have drinking out of my distiller. I still have two units of water there. You can either take the water. You need a jar for that, though. Or you could just drink right out of the distiller. Now, um, I just want you guys let you guys know I've done I've recorded two to three episodes in a row. So if you guys give me tips in the first episode, it's it's not that I'm ignoring your tips. I just haven't seen them yet. So just keep that in mind. All right. Uh, do we want to build a hammer now or more foundations? I think we're going to build more foundations. Again, this is going this this building we're standing on right now is going to be a makeshift like, you know, um, a very temporary outpost type thing. This is not going to be my main base, but I do want, I do need an outpost to work, work from. So, all right, re re rotate. All right, why can't I get these to go the right way? Like, look at them. They, they won't, they won't go the right way. No matter what I do. Hmm. All right, let's, uh, return. Try again. No, nope, get rid of it. Try again. Son of a biscuits. That's going to drive me up a freaking wall. Um, I'm hitting rotate, by the way. It's not doing anything. No, I wasn't pressed down middle mouse button. It's uh here. Let me try it. Let me try it this way. All right, here we go. Um, build. So we go like this. Nope. See, it's it's going like completely out the, uh, the opposite way I want it to. And I can't get it to snap into place like I want it to. I know, I know. Who cares, right? It's going to bother me. Here, let me try it like this. No. All right. Um, I might just have to deal with it, I guess. Oh, boy. I really don't want to. There we go. But now this one won't. Mm. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got it going the right way. All right, all right. I'll, I'll work with what I got. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can put down... I don't know if we need a flag. I guess that's to mark the location. We don't really need that because we got the boat and we can't take the boat out. So <laughs> it might as well be useful for something. So let's go ahead and put some walls up, some windows. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and the window there. Now make that a wall. And a wall. Okay. All right. So now what I want to do is I would like to make myself the workbench. But where is it? Where? Oh, it's up in here and build. Workbench. Okay. So we're going to need more components and more wood. That's not a problem. Uh, wood. Components. 
What do I need to make more lights as well? I do need I do need to make more lights. And I'm still getting used to where stuff is, so bear with me. Uh, oh yeah, piece of cake. All right, put a light right there. A light right there. And a light right there. Okay. I would like to be able to move stuff. I don't think we can. I think I could I think I just have to break stuff, which I don't like. That's one little 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 strike against this game. I want to be able to move anything I want at any point. And and if I'm going to break something down, I want to get 100% of resources back. Um when games do that, it really helps me enjoy the game a lot more. Not to say it's a not to say it's like, "Oh, oh, zero out of 10 refund now it's i'm not i'm not gonna go that crazy over it but it's just you know just something i like to have in my games is b in the build menu okay i could just hit b all right and there we go got a workbench okay beautiful oh that's a research table crap all right well i guess that's good too <laughs> Um, oh yeah, by the way, I have a couple of research thingies. Use and use. Okay. Actually, is there a workbench? I might have thought that was a workbench the whole time. Maybe there isn't a workbench. Maybe there's only the research bench. Yeah, I think that might be the case. I just assumed there was a, I thought that was a workbench. No, it's a research table. Okay. I don't see a workbench anywhere. Um, oh, look at this. Yeah. Uh, the enemy, the enemies will come in and attack your base. You got to like defend it and everything. So, all right. Well, it's a research table and I guess let's see what we can do here. So a fishnet. Ooh, yes. So a lot of this stuff in the research table looks kind of okay. A bunch of traps, a fridge. I don't think stuff goes bad. So I don't know what the point of a fridge would be. Um, two handed axe crossbow. This stuff looks pretty cool. I'm really excited about the fishing net though. Let's, uh, let's get ourselves some rope. Um, so there we go. Let's make a rope. I think I only need one. Yeah. And research. Cool. Now I should be able to, do I cook? Do I make that in here or I almost said cook? Whoa, a crude grenade. Where the hell did that come from? Okay. Improvised explosive. Sounds good to me. Uh, none of this stuff looks new. That's nothing's new there. Nothing's new there. Nothing is new there. Okay. So the fishing thing must be in here somewhere. So let's see if we could find the, fishing thingy there it is all right so we're gonna need three rope for that that's a number one yeah that's a number one thing for sure three rope by the way i think the trees grow back because there is a tree next to me although i i could be wrong about that if that tree was there before you know let me know that's fine i just i think it grew back all right what did i come in here for uh more cloth i don't think i'm out of cloth for this yeah never mind i got a decent amount of cloth so we need three rope one two three and then build fishnet. And I guess I'll just put it right, I'll put it over here. Looks like it's kind of in the ground. I don't really want it in the ground, but why can't I put it there? Is it, hmm, it's kind of weird. I wonder why I can't put it here. Does it have to be floating or? Huh. All right, I guess I'll put it wherever I can. Hope it works. All right. Oh, it floats. Okay, that's why. All right, cool. Change color, take fish. Okay, so it can hold three fish. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Um, Do we want to keep doing stuff during the night? How do we want to handle this? What do we want to do next? Honestly, I'm not really excited about any of this. I don't know. The two-handed axe, I guess, could be good. Um, I think the crossbow is probably... See, the thing is, I can't use the crossbow underwater... So whatever, let's just, uh, let's just make a bunch of rope and unlock what we can. We only have two rope anyway. Um, so we can unlock probably one of these two things. I'm thinking the two handed ax. I, I, I don't plan to be fighting anyone. You know, I want to cut, I want to cut, I want to be able to cut stuff quicker. So we're going to, we're going to go with the two handed ax and hopefully we have enough to make it. And we don't. Okay. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and eat that. Let's go ahead and take some drink out of this. Right there. Cool. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna fill that thing up and maybe do some more cooking and do some organizing. I kind of need better chests. Like the chests I have are kind of mid. Um, although well, I don't know. I mean, I, maybe I can make the metal chest. Let's make a metal. The thing is, I can't move it. I don't like the fact you can't move stuff. 
I'm gonna put that chest right there. Let's see how much it holds. What? That's the same amount. No. No, not cool. Not cool, bro. That is... That is something awful. <laughs> All right, let me get organized. I went ahead and got my water distiller full of water. I'm wondering how much water you need per wood. I'm thinking it's one unit of water per wood. So I've got, I've got, yeah, there we go. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's going to run out of, it's going to run out of, uh, you know, distillery power or whatever and two more wood. And that should be enough to get this to four water down here. Um, also, before we go, I am going to take a bunch of this and I'm going to research a scrap helmet. I can't research a scrap armor just yet because I can't afford it, but the helmet is something I can make right now. And <laughs> good, goodness knows I have enough freaking metal for this. I mean, for real. And the cool thing is that's going to be five armor and I don't have a helmet on it at all. So there we go. Now I got a helmet. That is awesome. Uh, next episode, we are definitely going to go out and do some more looting. It should be a lot of fun. If you guys ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Sunken Land. Well, I am going to have a problem with food. Uh, I, you know, I can get crabs here and there, but it doesn't seem that like there's a lot of crabs in the area. Um, I do have one crab to cook, so I'm going to go ahead and cook it now. Um, add food. There you go. And I think it takes one log to cook as well. And plus, just like I said, it is one piece of wood per seawater um, boiled and one piece of wood per food, I think. I'm pretty sure the food's out. I'd be kind of surprised if it wasn't. Let me come down here and check my fish trap. No fish yet. That thing's been in the water for a while. I don't know if it's in a bad spot or what, but... You know, what are you going to do? I'm going to look around here. I, I guess I could start picking these. All right, let's start picking these mushrooms. Oh, oh, hold on. Strawberries. Strawberries. Can I? No, I didn't want to eat them. I want to see. I want to see if I can plant strawberries. I'm going to hold on to those strawberries, see if I can plant them. I think we're going to make some. Uh, I, want, I want to kind of start working on my infrastructure in the area. Food, drink, stuff like that. I mean, drink is obviously not a problem. Um, as long as the trees grow back, I think this is a smaller tree and I, I do think the trees are growing back. You might have to wait a little bit, but I do think they're growing back. And plus you could pick some planks up off the ground that might respawn as well. Although I'm not really sure about that. Um, but yeah, I want to like get myself solidified here. We will also go out and do some looting and maybe we'll um, expand the base a little bit as well. I want to go check out that place right there. I, I think there might be friendly people there. Oh, I think I just saw crab. Yep. There you go. Bleed. Bleed, you stupid crab. Why are you so mean to the crab? All right, you know what? I'll kill the crab, but I'm not going to be a dick about it. By the way, I got fishing bait, but I don't know where the fishing pole is. You have to unlock the fishing pole or something? I didn't see it anywhere. I think I might have to upgrade my work, my research bench. Um, I can make a weapons bench now, too, but there's like some iron or something that I got to get that I don't, I don't have. So I don't think I'm going to be making that bench anytime soon. Uh, let's see what we need for the grow plots. I'd also like to put down some more, um, some more platforms here. I'm not really sure where I'd like to put the grow plots. This is definitely going to get broken up. Let me see if I have any wood. I may not be able to, nah, we could, we could do some, let's put down some, let's build out a little bit and see how it goes. Oh, that's right. This freaking nightmare. I remember this. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. I think I even said that same thing. Oh, hold on. I had it moving. So how do I get it to switch? Gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way. All right, whatever. Let's not worry about it. Let's see what we got. Um, oh yeah, those are the missions and stuff. I don't know what any of this stuff is about. Uh, I just know I read all this and it can help l large fish, but I must be cautious about sharks. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so the planter, uh, we're going to need a lot more wood for the planter. And I don't think we have the cloth either. I'm almost positive we don't have the cloth, so it's it's irrelevant. All right, so I can't make any of this stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cook up another crab. And we're going to go do some looting. Yeah, I mean, I literally can't. There's nothing I can do. Um, I just got to eat and drink and go out and do, get some more loot. And I think I'm going to go out that way again and check out those apartments. Because that seemed to be some pretty decent loot out there. Let's also come in here and, and look around. And see what's around here. Maybe we should go that way. I'm not really sure. We'll see. I'll just kind of roam. 
I'll probe around, see what's what. I couldn't figure out how to get this thing unstuck yet. So there's that. Is there any fish in here yet? No. Okay, so that thing's going to be really slow. So, I don't know. I guess I can make a couple of them, but... Um, yeah, I don't see anything. Ooh, a metal spear would be nice. Yes. Yes, that would. Uh, this is what I need to, to upgrade. I don't know where I get rubber from. So, I'm not going to be able to upgrade right now. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and take a drink. And this should be done cooking any second. And then we're going to get on out and about and do some looting. Um, roasted crab. There we go. And another roasted crab. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Let's see what's going on out here. I will probably try and get some fish as I'm as I'm out here, and you know, I'll just kind of stay away from the sharks. I don't know about the shark. If that one, I don't even know if it's a shark. It's just. Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted to check out. There's a fish out there with a big like needle sticking out of its face, and I don't know if that's a shark or not. It seems kind of sharky, but <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll call him Sharky. Old Sharky. Cool. Just what we need. A lot of cloth. Beautiful. Be beautiful. Should I just go over and check this place out? You know. Alright, you know what? For science, we're gonna do it. If I start getting shot at, I'll just run away. Hopefully I'll survive. I got a helmet on. I got my dope scrap helmet on. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a good time. Just gonna keep a lookout for any uh, fishing opportunities. Opportunities on the way there. Because water won't be a problem. I mean, I can't take water with me, which kind of limits me a little bit. Uh, once I get enough glass, I can make bottles. And I'm assuming you get to keep the bottles. Even after you drank out of them, because otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. Oh, that's right. There's a shark over here. Crap. All right. I got to try and get past this shark. See, the fish, the fish swim right towards the shark. That's such BS. Like, a fish would not swim right towards the shark. I mean, I guess I'm... I'm chasing it, but still, I don't know, man. Um, see that thing right there? Is that a shark? I don't know. Um, District 43. So, is it neutral? It says it's neutral. I think it's neutral. I think I'm going to be okay over here. <laughs> Famous last words. Is that something I could use a pickaxe on? It looks like it. Yes, okay. I haven't made a pickaxe yet. I will, though. All right, so let's be careful over here if we start getting shot at. I didn't bring anything over here to sell, which might have been a mistake, but, you know, we'll see how things go. Yeah, there's definitely people up here. Oh, yeah, it's a trading outpost. Cool. That's friendly. Let's put our spear away so they don't get the wrong idea. Oh, so cool. So cool. Can I loot anything? I'm looking to steal. All right, let's see what you got, lady. All right, um, uh, no, 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 <laughs> I don't think I want any of this stuff. How much is it? Oh, my buy list. Okay. Where's the, um, where's the cost? Is it, is there no, like, is there no money and stuff? I just gotta, I need more than that. Okay. All right. I don't see anything here I really care too much about right now, but there is some interesting stuff here. Oh, a fishing rod. What do you need for the fishing rod? Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. So I think when she says get lost, it means you're not even close. Okay, fair enough. Let's get out and do some more looting. Because we're not even close. You looking to buy? Can I just take this stuff? I don't know. I guess I can. It didn't tell me I was stealing anything. If I'm going to like get in trouble for stealing, the game should definitely warn me. Otherwise, I'm just going to I'm just going to take it. Beautiful. Oh, wow, there's a, there's some stuff here. It's nothing too crazy, but Oh yeah, here we go. By the way, that first time up there, that's how long you've been playing for the session. Oh, beautiful. That's a really good thing to get. Oh, even better. 
Oh, this is great. We're gonna have to go back pretty soon too because it is gonna be dark pretty quickly. My time got all screwed up because I did so much work during the day at my base. But that's alright. No big deal. Oh, there's actually a lot of stuff in here. Maybe I should set up by the trader. You think the trader's that important? Oh, here we go. Alright. Nothing super great, but... <laughs> Chick shorts. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. Garbage. Can I look into your garbage, please? Can't, can't hold anything. Let's go ahead and eat that. Wood planks. Okay. Well, what is that? Oh, so I already got some rubber. Where did I get the rubber? I didn't notice where I got the rubber from. I wish I did. But I didn't. Okay. I think we're going to have to come back here. But for now, I do have to go back home. Uh, because I am full. Man, I really wish that... That thing, uh, that sh that little boat I made wasn't such an issue. But, that's alright. We'll be alright. Now that we're back at base, I'm gonna go ahead and build a planter. See how this goes. And I'll just build one for now. Um, that's all I can build, so. Um, plant what? Okay. Can I plant this strawberry straight up or do I need seeds? If I need seeds, I don't know how to get them. I'm thinking I could probably just plant them straight up. No? No? Okay, so how do I get seeds? <laughs> I, I, I've i been doing a lot of looting. I'm kind of surprised I don't have any seeds yet. But, oh well. I guess it is what it is. Um, Alright, I'm going to do some organization. Um, do I have more than... I have a couple things I could sell. Maybe I'll sell some stuff to that trader. I'm not really sure. But we're going to do some organization. And then uh, we'll go to the trader and do some more looting. Oh, crap. Something is coming at me. It doesn't look like people, though. It looks like almost like ghouls or something. What's going on down there? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. There you go. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, I'm going to have to brighten this up in editing. Oh, you got me. Where'd the other one go? There you are. Oh, you, this spear has some good reach. There we go. Okay, good. It wasn't like raiders or anything. That's right. Give me some cloth. And... Water? And a, is that like a bucket or... It looks like a... No, that's not a bucket. That's like a, a cup. Alright. So some pretty decent loot there. Cool. That was fun. I am going to go ahead and drink some water out of here, though. Um, drink water F. Beautiful. By the way, that fishing net has not caught anything. I think it's a waste, but we'll see. <laughs> and I'm going to make the hammer next. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and make the hammer. Oh, we're going to need some wood. Oh, I don't have enough wood for the hammer, do I? Doesn't look like it. Okay. We go ahead and get some wood, and then we're going to make the hammer. Oh, check it out. I got strawberry seeds by eating the strawberries. Oh, okay. Cool. Now, do I have to, like, water these or anything? Probably not. All right, I'm going to let, let that do its thing. What did I want to make? Oh, yeah, the hammer. That's right. And boom. So I think I can use the hammer to deal with this. But I don't know how it's going to work. Change color. Seat. Chest. Okay, I don't know. Maybe it's not doing anything to it. Oh, demolish. So I can demolish it, but I'm gonna lose. P I'm gonna lose stuff from it. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna demolish it today. I'm gonna keep asking through Discord and find out if that's the best course of action. Because when I demolish, I'm. I can almost guarantee I'm not getting all of the stuff back. So, um, yeah, I'd prefer not to do that if I can avoid it. All right. The other thing I want to do is make uh, research a scrap metal spear. Okay, and then. Uh, there we go. We just need some more scrap metal. That's the one thing I have tons of. Tons of scrap metal. Alright. And scrap metal spear. We're going from 32 damage to 40. Not a huge jump, but, you know, significant. And then I'm going to hold on to that. And we'll put everything else away. I'll bring some water. I don't have any food, man. Like, I seriously have no food. Like, this fish trap ain't catching nothing. Oh, it caught one. Okay, good. All right, cool. 
Now it depends how much food I get for that. If it's if it's like not a lot of food, then that's not gonna really help that much. But we'll see. I'm gonna cook it and we'll find out how much food that really is. Maybe I'm supposed to make a few of those. They're pretty expensive though. Like to be making a bunch of them. Let me see. I, yeah, I mean, it, it is pretty expensive, but I don't know. I might have just have to deal with it. I mean, once they're in the water, they stay in the water, so that's good. All right, so we're good on water. And we will put some more of this stuff away. I, I do have to organize. I haven't organized yet. I'm sorry. We'll put that away. We'll take that. Put all this stuff away. And bring this, because we are going back to the trader. Okay. And we're just going to wait for that fish. If that fish gives me, like, 40 food... I guess it's not terrible, but that was like a whole day. Like, it took a whole day. But the thing is, you can make multiple of them, so... That is true. That is very true. What did that, um, that thing cost me anyway, this thing? Yeah, 15 and 6. Uh, if I had to guess, I would probably say I get like half... Half of the resources back. I'm gonna wait, though, because there might be some kind of way I can... Oh, collect already? Wow. Holy moly. Now, do you definitely get one of these? Yep, you get one every time you eat it. Oh, that's weird. That's not what it looked like the first time. I, well, maybe it is. Maybe I just didn't notice. All right, so how much is that? Um, 30? Yeah, it's not great. But with the ability to uh, continuously do strawberries, I don't think it's going to be a problem. All right, let's go. Let's get back to the trader and uh, see if we can do some trading. I don't know what... I don't know what is good. I don't really want to do any trading with the trader, if I'm going to be perfectly honest, because I don't know what I should be trading for, and I don't want to get taken for, you know, being a sucker, because I don't know what's, you know, what I need and what I don't. But, at the end of the day, I don't really think it's going to matter that much. Whatever. It shouldn't be a problem. And if I get attacked by a shark, I might try and fight him. We'll see. I'm feeling pretty, uh, pretty adventurous with the spear, and I'm going to tell you, if I kill a shark, I should be getting a lot of resources. Also, not sleeping through the night is starting to affect my, um, my big stamina bar, you know? My energy bar, so... I'm gonna avoid the shark. I don't think it's... I don't think it's gonna be worth it. Man, but there's some fish over here. Alright, stay focused, man. We'll get the fish. We'll get the fish. We don't have to do it all right now. We don't have to do it... We don't have to do everything today. Man, I made three videos of this. One right after the other tonight. I love this game. I absolutely love this game. The only the only downside was me making my ship and it getting stuck. You know, early access. That doesn't even bother me. It really doesn't. And hopefully they'll make like an unstuck option for the sh for the uh, for the boats and stuff. Alrighty. Still got some more looting we can do up here as well. Let's put this away. You looking to buy? F. Okay, what did I want to buy off her? I don't remember. Um. Ooh, an ore detector. I made a pick, didn't I? Where's my pick? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, oh, yeah, the fishing rod. Yeah, we want the fishing rod. Get lost. Get lost. Get... What the hell? Expensive my ass. This stuff is garbage. Okay. Um, I don't need sights. I don't need silver coins. Ooh. Okay, th this woman sucks. Okay. Uh, no, I don't need scrap metal. Um, nah, that's temporary. Don't care about any... Honestly, I don't really care about any of this stuff. Okay. Now, your stuff sucks, lady. There's only two things I want, and you tell me to get lost. Like a fishing pole? It's a freaking... It's a pole. It's a wooden pole with string on it. You're, I mean... You didn't cure cancer. It's a freaking fishing pole. Like, come on. Ooh. Oh, pudding. Dude, pudding and Gatorade. Oh, my God. This is a good day. This is a good day. Oh, I love it. That's getting me in the mood for, for pudding, by the way. Wait. Oh, it just disappeared. All right. Let's do on the other side. See if I can kind of jump up here. What's over here? Have I been up there? I don't know, maybe. No, I haven't. I wouldn't have left this here. Oh, okay. Nothing special. Yeah! Whoop. Have I been to the very top? I think I have. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I have. Oh, here we go. Oh, I gotta pick these up. Oh, rubber! Yes! Yes! Oh my... Wait, can I get more? Oh, damn. I'm gonna need 15 rubber, by the way, to upgrade my workbench. Or my... my I'm sorry, not my workbench. I'm gonna need 15 rubber to upgrade my bench. My, um, research bench. And that's 10 total right now, because I have one at home. Oh, that's freaking awesome. Yeah, give me all that. I don't think I have wood growing. I don't even see like a, it growing out of anything. Okay, is that it? Right, I guess that's about it. I should probably go check out that island now. I thought I made a I did make a pick. Okay. I figured I did. Now right, we're going to come over here. Check out this island. Take a look at some... Oh, there's a... It's a submarine? Looks like there's a submarine down there. It's really down there, though. Is that turtle? Oh, turtles! Oh, I feel bad about this. Small rock island. Fucking turtle doesn't want to die. Come on, bro. Come on. Die! All right, got some meat there. All right, I'm not doing too good with my stamina here, so I'm gonna leave those turtles alone for a bit. Let me see, uh, oh, whoa, 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 it's mutants. You see that top right-hand side? Oh, all right, get out of here. Get out of here. I didn't think mutants would be shooting um, arrows at me. I thought mutants were like the things that I got, that I like fought um, during the night. Yeah, they hurt me pretty bad. Alright, I have no ranged attack whatsoever. I think I'm going to leave that alone. Probably would be the best. Would be for the best. Man. Ooh, that'll get your heart started. Uh, let me see what my food's looking like. Um, 2010. Ooh, 60-60. Yeah. Gatorade will do that to you. There we go. I love the strawberries. Dude, the strawberries are... Mwah. With the strawberries, my food is not shouldn't be an issue anymore. Okay. I do see some fish, but they're pretty quick. So we got a shark to the right. Sharks to the right of me. No, sharks to the left of me. Sharks to the right. Wait, how did that song go? Well, I know this part. Stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> Something to the left of me. Something to the right. Yeah, there it goes, man. Oh, please don't attack me. Please don't attack me. I'm low on hit points. Mm -hmm. I gotta make the better axe, too. I got the schematic for the two-ended axe, and I never made it. Come on. Here we go. Alright, I think our f Oh, no! No! No, <laughs> that thing is swimming right for me. <laughs> Did you guys see it? <laughs> I might as well get some- try and get- Oh, yeah, the fish are too- too quick for me. I could go back to that island, though. Uh, oh, my god, that shark. Don't do it. Actually, I don't- I don't know if those are sharks. That- that's a shark. Oh, God, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. So those things right there would be a good meal, but they are, like, guarded by sharks. I don't appreciate that. I think I'm going to go on the other side of my island and hit those apartment buildings again. I'm a little nervous about my hit points, but I'm hoping that over here will be a little less hostile than where I've been going. And I think next episode I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get a, sh a boat again one way or another. Maybe I'll just leave it out. Like, don't put it anywhere near land. You know, maybe I should plan out where I want to build my base next episode. I don't know. So there are the, the needle nose guys over here, but I don't see any big sharks. Was I attacked by a shark over here at one point anyway? Yeah. I think I'm screwed no matter what. Oh, there's a big crate down there. Hold on. I want to go get that. Okay. Here we are. Looks like there's someone on a raft over there, by the way. All right. Let's see if, let's see if we can get anything out of this thing. Well, we're definitely going to get something. Let's see if we can get anything good. 
And... Yeah, you know, not bad. Nothing crazy, but pretty good nonetheless. I don't think I'm wasting my time, but it's not like game-breakingly OP. That's all you could really ask for. All right, there we go. And let's come down in here. I think I cleared out the, f the first level here. And I didn't, I think I cleared out the second one too. I don't think there was much on the second level. No, there wasn't. All right, then I'm going to move along because clearing out the first two floors is kind of, uh, I don't know. It's pretty good for now. Let's see what's in this building. Crap, I keep forgetting to make that two-handed axe. Hopefully I'll remember by next episode. Scrap, oh, rubber. Ah, oh, we're getting close. I think we're... I I feel like we're four rubber away. Okay, we're gonna come down and get that. What did I get? I got something. Something yellow. Oh, okay. Alright then. Those decoration items are cool, but at the same time, they do take up space, man. And they're not really good for anything, at least not right now. I guess once I have a base, I'll be happy about it. Trash. Take that. Hell yeah, I will. Okay, let's get the back up there. Oh, oh. <laughs> By the way, it says enemy took 32 damage. E-H-H. -H. That was from when I got attacked during the night. I don't know how long that's going to stay up there. Okay. What is that? What is that green thing? It looks interesting. I thought I was hitting E. Wow, that sounded bad. It sounded like I was hurting myself. <laughs> All right, well, I'm okay. I'm okay. I just put up episode one, by the way. I can't wait to go read the comments. Is this the building I've been cleaning out? Yes, it is. I'm getting a little turned around in here. Okay. Let's keep going this way. Did I just... Hmm. I got jumped out of the water a little bit. I want to try and fight some of these sharks. Or whatever these things are. I don't think these things are sharks. Yeah, let's come... Let's see what we can do with these guys. They look dangerous, though. I'm not gonna lie. I think they're just regular fish, though. Yeah, they're, they're not attacking me. I just have to watch out for the sharks. bugger. I'm glad they're not attacking me. These things could do some serious damage if they did. I'm glad they don't know that. Okay. Alright, here we go. Come on, get him. Got him. Oh, no. I don't have any room. Darn it. Oh, that sucks. Um, is there anything I want to throw away or eat? Nah. Nah, I guess I'm going to let it go. Eh, scrap metal. Alright, whatever. Let's just let it go. It's fine. It's fine. What did I get anyway? Oh, large fish meat. Maybe I do want to get that. That's probably worth more than the scrap metal. See, I can't throw anything. I guess I'm just going to destroy it. Alright, let's get this. Oh, Marlin Fishkin! Oh, I'm glad I got that. I need that. Oh, that's what I'm going to go for next episode. Because I need that for the th for the, the fins. Oh, two more. Okay, well, I think that's going to be the first thing we're going to go for next episode for sure. We should have some fins next episode. That's awesome. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is kg 4 re and welcome back to Sunken Land. So there have been some patches. There's been updates one day. One day. This guy's done an update uh, with patch notes and everything. Uh, not everything was on these patch notes, though. Uh, a couple things that at least I didn't see them on the patch notes. I guess I could have missed it. One thing that I did not see on the patch notes is bigger stacks. Thank you for that. Um, scrap metal is now stacking in tens instead of five, which is just phenomenal.
All right. Um, another thing I noticed is that when I eat when I eat these uh, strawberries, I'm not getting a seed back every time, which I'm not so happy about. But you know, it is what it is. I mean, they've got to do some balancing, right? Um, what else? Well, let's talk about the things that I did see on the patch, the, the update notes. Um, we've already got a bunch of bug fixes. Uh, we can now push our boat. So if your boat gets stuck on land, this is my favorite thing in this update. You just press P to push the boat. Thank you for that. I mean, it took one day. Actually, it wasn't even a day. I was I was recording last night at like midnight, and it was fixed when I got up this morning. So um, we will now lose food and thirst a little bit slower. The, the drop on food and thirst is a little bit slower. There's going to be more cloth out in the world, which is awesome. And there's going to be more marlin fish, which is even more awesome. Um, I really want to start my build today. Oh, so my buddy Gru told me in Discord, get this. I mean, I don't know how I missed this, but I wasn't even looking on this side. I don't need to build, you know, out of wood. I could build out of metal. I've got a billion metal all over the freaking place. Why am I not building out of metal? I don't know. Uh, we're going to build a base. Um, if not today, then definitely tomorrow. I don't know how today's going to go. We're just going to kind of have to see. Oh, my inventory's full. I destroyed one of my chests because I wanted to see how my, I wanted to see, first of all, if I could destroy it, and second of all, how much materials I would get back for it. And, you know, it sucks. I didn't pay attention to how many materials I got back for it. So I'm going to destroy another chest. And I know I'm wasting materials here. I think I'm going to get 50% back, but I, I don't know for sure. So let's go ahead and make another chest. I don't know why I brought up my hammer. Uh, build. And... Chest. And I know, I know I'm just going to destroy it. I, I know this, this feels like such a waste, but... Well, it is, but... No, it is what it is. All right, I have no wood on me at all, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and destroy this and see what we get back for it. Yes. Yeah, I got half. All right, cool. I'm I'm uh I'm cool with getting half. That's fine. Let me do some organizing here. We're gonna get out and do some more looting. I want to get some more metal. Um, I'm gonna save up as much metal as I can because I'm really thinking tomorrow is gonna be a base building episode, and I don't know where a good place to build my base is. So I think I'm just gonna kind of go out in the ocean out there. And kind of build it there, or maybe I should go that way. You know, I, I don't really know. I do want I do want to be somewhat close to the trader. So I don't know. Maybe we'll go out that way. Maybe I'll build it above the apartments. That's kind of what my gut's telling me. Uh and I don't have any information uh except for what my gut's telling me. So always go what you got. The thing is, I don't want to build next to any areas where there might be um enemies. So that's kind of what I'm worried about. So I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go out here. And kind of check out around here and see what's going on. Uh, it should be okay to build out in the middle of the water here. It should be alright. Actually, you know what I need to do? I need to get marlins. That's right. Swordfish. Swordfish. They're not sharks. I don't know why I thought they were sharks. New game. I'm excited. You know? It is what it is. So the cool thing about this is it's got storage with it. So I can stay out here for, you know, pretty much till nighttime. It's going to take a while to um, to fill this thing up. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it, it is faster than swimming, which is awesome. But the thing I don't like about it is it's really loud. I mean, it's a very small thing, but, you know, it is what it is. There we go. That's exactly where I want to be. All right, let's kill these guys. We need three fins. I just need two more, or two more of their skin to make fins. So we're going to come down here and stabby, stabby. All right. And don't don't chase them. Just stab the ones that are near you. That's what I've learned. You'll eventually get one. Is that a shark? Gotta watch out for the sharks. That's the thing. Okay, so let's, I don't think it was a shark. I'm not seeing any sharks in the area. All right. Got him. And we just need one more. And then we're going to go make some... Uh, uh, I forget. Fins. I guess... Are they called fins? I'm pretty sure they're called fins. They're in my inventory. Uh, yeah, drying. Oh, you could make the fishing rod? Wait, could I make the fishing rod last? All right, whatever. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I don't know if I could make that last episode or not, but yeah, I'm going to make the fishing rod for sure today as well. Hey, next episode, I'm thinking next episode, we're definitely going to gonna build a, a proper base. There we go. Um, I A lot of people say they want to be able to move stuff, and I agree. I would like to be able to move stuff. Uh, I don't know if the developers have any plans at letting us move stuff. Like things like, you know, work workbenches and... Especially workbenches, chests, things like that. Maybe not foundations, but the other things. I mean, I, I'll take foundations as well, but it's the chests and stuff like that that I'm more um, concerned with. Where's my boat? There it is. All right, cool. Let's come down here and get some materials. There's no point in going back right now. Well, 
Actually, there is a point in going back right now. I can make the fence. All right, I'll go back right now. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. Thank you very much for that, Gru, uh, for letting me know. Uh, he, he added me in Discord. He said, Cage, you don't have to build out of wood. Oh, so... I don't know why I didn't think about that. It's just, you know, it's a new game. When these new games, I get excited, you know, miss a lot of stuff, but... Thank God people are there to let me know. Have you ever been on one of these boats in real life? These things are, like, real. I mean, not this... Well, I guess... I don't think they would get rusty because I don't think they're made out of metal. I think they're made out of plastic. But, um, yeah, I've been on these these things in real life. They're pretty dope. And here we are back at base. You know, if I park this thing far enough away, I don't have to really listen to it too much. So that's what I'm going to start doing. All right. So what did we need for those fins again? I had to stop recording for like 20 minutes or a half hour because people were cutting grass outside my door. Okay, well, I got everything I need. Beautiful. And that goes in there. Awesome. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get some more stuff. See how good this is. Um, I probably should start organizing. Well, I, I do put food in a certain bin. So that my food goes over here now. So I'll just put all that in there. Metal goes in here. So I'm, I'm kind of organized, but not 100% organized. All righty. Let's get back in our boat. And first of all, let's see how we swim. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's a that's a big deal. By the way, this thing is a seat for multiplayer, so you have someone, like, sitting with you. I heard that the, the other boat, the next boat you can get, seats four people. So, because people were asking about that, like, oh, how do you, is there something that seats four people? Yeah, apparently there is. All right, I'm going to go out and really start looking around here. I think I'm going to look on that island right now. I'm not ready for combat. Um, I think once I build my base up, I'm going to start, like, looking at, um, rain you know what? I could probably make some range stuff today. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. I'd like to at least make a bow or... I mean, I'm assuming the crossbow is way better than the bow, right? That would kind of make sense, right? I guess. So, I'll probably make a crossbow today as well. Unless I forget. And I very well might. But I will try not to. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. Oh, this is awesome. Alright, these fins are dope. I am a fan. I'm a fan, man. Are those turtles? I think those are turtles. Alright. Beautiful. And now we can stay down here longer. Um, oh, I, I got a pickaxe too. I keep forgetting. I got to do some pickaxing. I got to pick some axes. That's not how pickaxes work. <laughs> All right. Um, I, I'm not really going after ore because I don't know what I can do with it. Like, I don't like think I have anything that I can actually, you know, like cook up the ore or anything. That's not. Okay. I thought some of this was ore, but I guess not. Nope, guess not. All right, fair enough. I remember seeing some more. Remember we saw some more uh, a couple videos ago? It's been one long gaming session for me, man. <laughs> like, it is the next day, but, like, I've been playing this game a lot, so I'm starting to forget what I saw where. But that's all right. We'll be okay. Honestly, we should be going for scrap metal anyway, because I want to build the base, and that's what I'm going to need to build the base. Okay, anything else down here that I care about? Um... Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Okay, I might have stayed down a little bit too long there. I'm gonna make it, but not, not. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it with enough time to make me feel comfortable. That's for sure. All right, so we have more. We have more stuff over here. So let's just come over here and check this area out. Uh, no. Oh, there we go. Okay, sulfur. You say? That's gotta be for gunpowder, right? Sulfur? Is this just all sulfur? Okay. So, you're not going to get, like, everything for everything. you got to find the proper nodes. Right. Let's come in here and get some loot. Wait, have I already been in here? Hmm. Have I? I don't think I've been over here. Kind of weird that there's no loot in there. Uh, maybe I have been over here. I'm not, I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Okay. Okay, then. To find anything down here. Oh, here we go. Come to pop of wood planks. And this would get us some metal right here. Cool, cool. And let's go down some more. 
What's over there? That looks like an enemy base. Oh, here we go. Yes. Yes, this is the stuff. All right. Very good. Got some stuff in here as well. It's a dumpster. Take all. And we are starting to get full, but it doesn't matter because we have a boat. I'm going to come over and check out this island. I'm pretty sure that this island is going to be hostile. But I could probably go right by it pretty quickly. Oh, I see a campfire. There's no way that's not going to be hostile. Yeah, there's no way. All right, I don't think I want to mess with that. Yeah, there's definitely guys there. I think the only people that are not, that are not hostile in this game are... Oh, I don't have... I don't know where my base is. All right, my base is right there. All right, I have to put a flag down on my base now that I'll be taking this thing out. Yeah, I think the only non-hostile entities in the game are the traders. So I'm going to kind of stay away from everybody else. If there's non-hostile NPC camps, let me know. I I'll, I'll, might go check them out. Also, I didn't realize the past few episodes that I, I did have a torch. I don't know why. I just completely forgot about the torch. Can't use it underwater, though, so I don't know if it's going to be that helpful. And I really don't want to be going on islands uh, where I could get killed in the dark. Doesn't make much sense. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home. I'm going to organize, maybe cook some food. And then I think I'm going to see if I have what I need for the crossbow. And maybe the body armor, too. I don't think I've been getting a lot of cloth, so that's a, that's a bit of a problem for me. And unfortunately for me, they made more cloth in the loot, but th that doesn't really help me because I've already looted a lot of stuff in my area. So, <laughs> kind of got a little hose there. Hey, you know, whatever. It'll be fine. Hey, man, I had fun last night recording, so that's, that's all that really matters. Let's get back to this base and see if we can make this crossbow. I don't think it, it'll take... it'll. It's going to take some rope. I'm pretty sure I don't have what I need for it. But that's okay. We'll go out and do some more uh, looting in the morning. Okay, can I get into the... Jump out of this. Get into that. Take all. Beautiful. Let's come in here and see what we got. Alright, so the crossbow. Have I even spec into it? No, I haven't. Okay. So I'm going to need rope just to spec into it. I don't think I have what I need to make rope. Um, I do. But now it's probably going to take rope to craft it. So let's see if I... What I need to craft it. Yep, that's what I thought. Well, I'm only one rope away. Did I put some more cloth down here? Uh, no. No. And yes. Beautiful. Crossbow. Oh, no, I need three cloth. Damn it! You need three cloth for the rope, right? Ah! So close. So freaking close. Okay, we're going to be out here looking for more cloth. And we're also going to be looking for more rubber. Um, I, I'll visit the trader again, see if those tires respond. I don't, I don't think they would have, but, um, it may not be worth, uh, it might be worth a, you know, trip out there to kind of see what's what, uh, because if their stuff has respawned, that'd be great. I don't think she sells rubber. Um, I wish they, I wish that traders would have like some kind of, um, like monetary value on their stuff because like, as it is right now, I don't know, uh, you know, how much their stuff is worth, you know? Like, I tried to get the fishing rod. Shoot, I should have made the fishing rod. Well, I don't have enough rope for it, so. Um, but yeah, when you try and, like, bargain for her stuff, you don't you don't know, you know? So it's just, like, doesn't really help. But I'm hoping that her uh, tires have respawned. If they did, I'll get the rubber, and then we'll be good to go with that. And I'm just going to stay out here and loot for the whole day, whether I have what I need or not. Uh, and in case you're wondering what I need the rubber for, it's to upgrade the... The workbench, or not the workbench, it's not a workbench. I keep thinking of it as a workbench. It's not a workbench. It is a research bench, and we need rubber to, uh, to, um, upgrade it. And I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing any tires up there, so I'm pretty sure she doesn't have any. Uh, but that's okay. We'll just take a quick look, and then we'll see what's what. Once I get the crossbow, I'll start going on, um, unfriendly islands and seeing what's what. But until then, I'd prefer not to die. This game's very, from what I understand, this game is extremely unforgiving with death. Like, you can lose, like, I've heard people losing everything. So, it's not something I'm in a hurry to do. Okay, so, first of all, I'm going to take a look what she's got again. Uh, oh, she's, she does have new stuff, because it looks like she's got more stuff than she had before. Yeah. No. No, this might all be the same stuff. Okay. Fair enough. I don't want any of your crap. Let me see if you got any tires, right? I'm pretty sure she does not have any tires. Oh! I'm... Um, Almost positive I, I did everything in here, so uh, that that table respawned, I'm pretty sure. Nothing in there, though. Well, I don't know. Maybe I missed it. I guess I could have missed it. Okay. I'm, I'm 
pretty sure that respawned. Stuff is respawning. That I'm almost positive about. Okay, let's grab this. There we go. Looking good. By the way, I did sleep through the night. Not this night, but the night before. I don't suggest it unless you absolutely have to. Because that that, that blue bar on the bottom, that solid blue bar, you, you're probably going to have to you know, sleep through the night at some point to get those stats back. But don't do it until you have to because it absolutely murdered my hunger and thirst. I mean, it took my hunger and thirst tenfold of what it would have been if I, you know, didn't sleep through the night. If I just, um, you know, just work through the night because uh, the nights go pretty quickly. Crap, I never marked my base. Ugh, I always forget to do that. All right, I'm not going to worry about it. Hopefully everything will work out. <laughs> I don't know why I keep forgetting to mark. Well, I guess I couldn't because I didn't have the... I didn't have the um the cloth for the flag. I gotta get some cloth, bro. I gotta get some cloth. I'm gonna check out this over here. I'm gonna check out this. That looks like a base, though. Everything looks like a base to me. Yeah, that's definitely a base. Although, is it an abandoned base? I guess it could be an abandoned base. It looks like the um the area here is really deep as well, which isn't like a great place to loot. Uh, that definitely looks like a base. Okay. Alright, let me find some place to loot underwater here. <laughs> I guess once you get into the deep ocean, it's going to be harder and harder to loot underwater, right? Because that's, that's way down there, bro. Freaking sharks everywhere. Oh my goodness. Alright, we are not ready for this. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna check out this island over here. It says Neptune neutral. Hopefully there's no baddies here. Um, if you look over here, this is the um, the map, which is pretty cool. And right here, that's Small Rock Island. I don't know what the percentage is. I'm guessing the percentage is I could kind of kill everything in there. Um, I think what's on... I think what... I think the enemy on Small Rock Island is not, like, bandits. I think it's, like, mutants or something. Uh, they did have ranged weapons, which is why I want a crossbow before I go there. But I'm going to check this island out, man. To hell with it. To hell with it. All right. We don't want to go right up to it. We kind of want to turn around right here so we don't get stuck on the rocks. Not that it's that big of a deal at this point, but... No! No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, this side. Damn it. Out of here. That is hostile. And that's slavers, so that's going to be, like... That's going to be serious. I'm going to need some kind of ranged weapon before I go in for stuff like that. Alright, give me some time. Let me find something that's not going to kill me. An area that I can loot that's not going to kill me. There is something down here. It's, it might be too far down, but I think I want to kind of check it out. I, with my fins, I might be able to get down there with no problem. Let's see. So what we're looking for is right there. Oh yeah, that's not that bad. I mean, it's pretty far, but it's not like... Super bad. Okay, let's go grab this. More scrap metal, love it. Um, scavenge that. Beautiful. Now let's get back up. Yeah, see, it takes so long to get down and up. By the you know, I can only loot a couple things. Uh, I'm I'll go down a couple more times, but I think I'm gonna look for something a little bit closer to the surface after the one or two more times. And honestly, none of this really looks that different from stuff I could get somewhere else. Scavenge. Oh, rubber. That's 13 rubber, by the way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 14 rubber. I'll come back down and get more. I really don't want to die for this. <laughs> the rubber ain't no good if I, you know, die down here and can't get it back. All right. So it's 14 rubber. One more rubber. That's all I need. Come on, rubber. Give me some rubber. Oh, come on. There we go. Darn it. I didn't get that last piece of rubber. All right, let me find somewhere close to the surface. I think I'm probably going to have to buy those pills, I guess, that allow you to go down for longer. I was hoping to get something a little bit more permanent, not something temporary, but hopefully the pills aren't that cheap. I'm not going to buy them right now, but... It's something I'm going to think about. So I believe that the percentages on these things are how much I've looted of it. So, Castaway Island is 71%. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't come close to looting all this stuff. 
So that's good. There's a lot of stuff to loot in my area, um, which will be awesome. So we're going to get to this uh, District 43 here. Um, I think this one might be a little deep, but we'll see. Um, yeah, it's a little deep, but not as deep as the other the other place I was. So should be okay. Oh, 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 okay. Should I try and kill that shark or he's going to be a problem now? All right. Um, I just got to keep a lookout for him, I guess. Punk ass. Ugh. All right. I think I'm going to have to tangle with this guy. If I want to, if I want to loot this area, I might not have a choice. Damn it. I'm not going to be able to kill him now. He's doing too much damage to me. Ah, uh, son of a bee. All right, here we go. Charge! Oh, did I get him? Oh, I got him. Okay. I thought he would have had more hit points than that. I, I am really low on hit points, though. Um, all right, let's just use this. This is a good time to use it. I've been waiting. I've been waiting to use it. There better only be one shark in here. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I'd really like to get one more rubber before I go back home. We'll have to see how that goes. It's going to depend on if there's more sharks in the area. I think I know where I'm going to build the base, by the way. Remember where I got the marlin fins? I'm not going to build the base here because there's too many sharks. But where I got the marlin fins, I think I'm going to build my base there. Because um, hopefully the marlins will respawn underneath me. I'm hoping I get, I'm going to get another rubber off this, right? Yes. No. Last. Scrap. Come on. One rubber, man. There you go. Beautiful. Alright, cool. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with glass. I mean, I know I can make, like, glass walls. And I can make glass bottles. I think glass bottles would probably be a better use of my my glass. I mean, glass walls are aesthetic and they do look cool. But at the end of the day, I'd rather be efficient, you know? Grab this. I still haven't made the two-handed axe. Oh, you know what? I haven't gotten any cloth, have I? Have I? I feel like I haven't gotten any cloth. Man, that's going to suck if I haven't got any cloth yet. No, I haven't. Damn it. All right. I'm going to have to put some stuff in here and keep a lookout for those washing machines. I don't know if I've just been missing them. Very well could be the case. There we go. All right. Washing machines, please. Uh, and they can get cloth out of cars, too. Let's see if you get more cloth out of cars. Maybe maybe the way he made you get more cloth is with the cars. Uh, Yeah, not so much. Not so much. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's not. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I gotta go back up. I feel like when I'm going up, I don't go up as fast as I, as I go down. Giggity. But, okay. Let's go back in here. Let's check out this car again. Okay. I would like some kind of spreadsheet letting me know trader items. Like, what it costs, what I need to get, what's good deals, what's not. You know? Um, it's, it still feels like there's not enough cloth in the game. Maybe I'm just looking in the wrong places. Looking for cloth in all the wrong places. I can't believe that, that song just came out of my head. I'm not, I'm not even a, a fan of uh, country music. My mom was, though. And she listened to that stuff all the time. So I guess it makes sense that it's in my head. I should also be looking for ores. I haven't been. Okay. Can't wait for an interactive map. Hey, go here for this. Go there for that. All right. Nothing there. Thought I saw something in here. An ore? Nope. It will be a lot easier once I know what the ores look like. I mean, I know what the, I know what the sulfur ores look like. Those small ores look like they should be iron ores, but they're not. How are we doing? Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Let's keep going. Is that an ore? What? Scavenge. Oh, scallops. Oh, wow. Okay. That's freaking cool. No, I'm not taking the chance. At first, I was like, I'm not going to take the chance. And I'm like, no, I'm going to take the chance. And I'm like, no, don't take the chance. I probably wouldn't have made it. What can I do with these? Oh, hunger. Okay, just cook them up. Scallops, hell yeah. I'm not a seafood guy. But I guess if I was in a survival situation, I would become a seafood guy really quick, right? <laughs> Especially if I was living in a water world. 
I'd either become a seafood guy or a dead guy. A dead seafood guy. A dead non-seafood guy. Okay. Uh, a couple more. The, the, by the way, guys, I'm gonna just going to say this right off the bat. The looting loop in this game is hella addicting. Like, it, I never want to go home. I want to just keep looting all the time. Come on. And that is a sign of a fun survival game. It's like Seven Days to Die in that way. I mean, the looting in this game quite, isn't quite as good as Seven Days to Die, but it's, it's, I enjoy it, and that says a lot. It's kind of a big deal. That's more sulfur. I'm not going to go out of my way to get sulfur until I have something to do with it. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's go back home. So here's a problem I have uh, with not being able to move stuff. I could demolish the research table, but the thing is, once I upgrade it, will another research table I make be upgraded? If not, you can't move your research table. You just can't do it. Um, so that's that's a problem. And now if I could break the research table and then make another one, then maybe it would be worth it. Let's see how much it, yeah. it's a little expensive, but not too big of a deal. Um, so maybe I can maybe I can move it by destroying it, get half the resources back, and then rebuild it. Uh, but if I have to like re-upgrade it, then it's, you can't move it. You, you just can't do it. It's too expensive to upgrade. Uh, at least right now, I don't know. Maybe that'll change later. But yeah, we, just let us move the the tables. Let us move the, the everything we could place down the base. Let us move it. That's all. So it's, it's very simple. Okay, upgrade. Alrighty. So now we can make a. Oh, how do we get iron ingots? Uh, furnace. Ah, I need more rubber. Damn it. Can be used to convert ores into metal ingots. Okay. I have to find out where the iron ores are. Damn it. All right. Anyway, stove. Improved grill. Advanced purifier. Um, air filling station. Pumps and distills seawater accelerates purification. Pumps and distill. Wait, why do we have, why do we have like three purifiers now? Air filling station. That doesn't sound like a purifier. That sounds like like oxygen. I don't know. Um, furnace, anvil, black powder, oh, charcoal and sulfur. Okay. Molotovs, guns, triple barrel pistol. Uh, another pistol. Combat armor, huh? Okay. And then armor workstation, safe, iron helmet, backpack. Dude, I can make that. Should I make it? If I make it, it's going to be less rubber for the furnace so i don't know it'll probably be worth it though oh here we go small air tank increases diving time yeah but here's the thing like i'll <clears throat> air filling station pumps and distills seawater accelerates purification pumps and distills uh distills seawater accelerates accelerates purification this is advanced purifier this is an air filling station now i'm going to go out on a limb here and say that this is a bug and you use this to fill up your oh hold on Okay. Hold on, we gotta deal with some, some scrubs. Come on, bro. Oh, three hits. Okay. Are they doing anything, or...? Right. Stabby, stabby. Stab, I got no stamina. Not good, not good. Dude, why are they crawling? <laughs> oh, man, another one? Oh, he's mad. He's big mad. Okay. Is that it? Hopefully that's it. Well, I got attacked by three the first time. Four the second time. I would make some defenses. That might be the way to go. The problem is I don't know where to put them or how to use them. And I'm pretty sure I can't move my defenses. So, plus this is going to be my permanent base anyway. As a matter of fact, next episode we are going to be building a new base. Anyway, I think that... Wait, where'd everything? Oh, I think this is a I think this is an air filling station that fills air into the small air tank. Uh, so yeah, this is great, man. Uh, definitely gonna be building a new base next episode. If you guys enjoy, if you guys ended up enjoying the video, make sure to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Sunken Land. I'm gonna have to sleep. Okay. Because I'm going to need to to get my my stamina back. Um, look at what it did to my hunger and thirst, though. Just absolutely murdered me. Uh, that's okay, though. I do have a lot of stuff to eat. 
There we go. We got that. I have been cooking off camera. I've been getting water off camera. And there we go. Looking pretty good with that. I think one more thing of food will do us nicely. This is 40 hunger. That might be a bit much. Let's um let's do the uh let's do the mushrooms. I think that'll be a little bit better. Uh yeah. So I did learn some new things off camera. Uh check this out. There we go. Uh you could grow bushes. So that's good. Um, basically anytime you're cutting down trees, you'll be getting these, um, these bush seeds. And this is a little bit of a way to get, to get you some wood. Very little wood though. Only like what? Four or five? Yeah, four wood. Not a lot of wood, but you know, every little bit counts. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And then we're going to be building a base today. Okay. Um, I did find out, someone told me in discord, uh, at least I think this is the way it works with the research bench. If you upgrade it, any research bench I make from this point forward will have this upgrade. Please tell me that's the case. I'm, I think that's what someone told me in the comment section. Or, I'm sorry, in Discord. But, I don't know. I could be wrong about that. Um, maybe I misunderstood. All right. So, we're just going to take as much metal as we can carry. There we go. And we're going to go out and start making a base. Uh, you know what? I might as well put this stuff in the chest and then bring all the metal I can. Now, do I want to be spending all of the metal on the base? Probably not. Probably not. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just take what I got and I'll save the rest for other things. Let me see if I have any more metal in here. Uh, none in there. None in there. And we got a little bit more in here. Okay. I'm going to save this for future projects. I mean, it's pretty easy to get metal though. But yeah, I do want to start my base. It's going to be, it's going to be an awesome, actually, it's probably just going to be like a whatever base, but it's going to be better than what I got now. And that's all that really matters. Uh, what I need to do now is I need to find the Marlins and, oh, the Marlins. Oh, the baseball team. The Florida Marlins. Yeah, it's even got this freaking fit. Come on, Cage. I haven't watched baseball in a long time, to be fair. But, um, yeah, the Marlins. Duh. Okay, so let's look down here. And there's turtles over there. I'm not seeing the Marlins. They do respawn, don't they? I know I killed them all, but I would assume they're going to respawn. Or at least, you know, the more fish will come into the area. I don't know. I'll probably just build my base over here either way. But I was my idea was to build the base over over the Marlins. But I don't know. That might not be uh I don't know. I'm not, I'm not seeing them. This looks like a pretty good spot for a base. Maybe a little bit farther. Okay, how about right here? I don't know. Seems good to me. Okay, so I am seeing some fish, um, some turtles over there. But I'm not seeing any marlins. I'm just going to build right here and hope for the best. I don't really know. I don't know anything about like where to build or anything. I don't even know if I can build here. I assume I can. Uh, so build. And we're going to use metal. And there you go. You can build here. It looks like it locks into place over there. But um, Okay. Let's start building. Uh, so do these matter which way they go? I don't know. Maybe they do. But I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Yeah, they're definitely going different ways, but I, I don't think I really care. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna concern myself with that. Man, that, that, that metal went really quick, huh? No, I still have a lot more. Call. And let's go ahead and build. I'm gonna do a um a four by three to start off with. Okay. And I'm not gonna worry about the floor. I'm gonna have to let it go. I'm going to have to let it go. That's just no no two ways about it. All right. And then right here, I will make a doorway. I don't know which way the door should go. It seems to... Yeah. I, I don't seem to be able to rotate the door. It doesn't... I'm using my mouse wheel. And it's not doing anything. So, it is what it is. And then we will do a... There we go. Do one of those. A window there. Um, we'll do a window here, a window here, and then I'm going to do some more foundations because I want to. There we go. And then we'll put some windows behind there and there, and the rest will be walls. All right. And wall, 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 wall wall and wall okay a nice little little big nice little beginner base here 
All right, can I make ladders? Like, how the heck am I supposed to even get up here? Uh, let me take a look. Uh, wooden roof. Yep, yeah, wooden ladder. Let's make a metal ladder, though. Um, there we go. Metal ladder. And we come out here, and we put it right there. All right, cool. And we got a ladder. All right. Now, I'm thinking I want to put a loft up there. So I think what I'm going to do now is we are going to... Let's uh, metal floors. And we're going to make a loft in the back. Oh, I need poles, don't I? I'm pretty sure I need poles to put anything down. Like metal columns. Oh, yeah, this is a lot like rust, isn't it? Uh, maybe I could... One... We could put one right there. Let's see if that's good enough. I'm trying to I'm trying to use the least amount of resources as possible. Yes, it does look like I can do that. So you can see I don't have to put them on the outside. Oh, I was supposed to do a loft. Damn it. Um yeah, okay. Well let's let's break these down. You could demolish them for half the resources back. There we go. Okay. And then we are going to go to... Oh, yeah, there's all my blueprints. By the way, you could read this mission thing. It gives you an idea of how to, like, get started in the game. I did read it, but I read it off camera. Okay, so let's uh, put down another metal floor. Oh, okay. So we're going to have to put another pole down. Or metal column. And then more metal floors. Come on. I'm gonna work with me. See, I, I, I really want stuff to go the proper way, but it's not. It doesn't work with me. I had to get back home and get some more wood uh, to make some torches so you guys could see. I can't figure out how to get these things to face the right way. So um, if there's a trick, I'm sure someone will let me know eventually. And if not, then, you know, we'll just kind of have to deal with it for the time being. I do want to put up some lights in this place. Uh, just put them in every corner. Pretty good. And then probably a couple in the middle. But for now, I'll just leave it the way it is. All right, let's continue building. And we are going to need this and metal floor and just kind of let it go the way it's going to go. It is what it is. Um, darn it. There you go. And there you go. All right, so now we're getting a ladder up there. Do you want the ladder in the middle or on the sides? Um, I think I kind of want it on the sides. Or in the Yeah, the side will be better. And there we go. And there we got this part up here. And I think we'll just leave that for now. Um, because I am running low on... Well, kind of running low on metal. Uh, yeah, let's put up some more walls. The hell with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... um. I'm going to put up walls all around this. This will be like a two high wall. This will be a one high wall. This will be a little area up here. I'm not really sure what else I'm going to do after that, though. Build. And. Regular walls over here. We don't need, like, windows because there ain't going to be no way to be up there to look out of them anyway. Go. All right. Looking good. Okay. Okay. And that is all of the metal. Well, um, I was hoping to be able to do more in the base, but <laughs> I don't know, guys. I think, uh, I think we're kind of done here with this stuff. Um, let's see what we can... Yeah, we need to make these over here. We'll get that at some point. Um, the planter we definitely want to make. Um, a gun workshop would be nice, but I got to start doing iron ingots. And we got to look for ores under, under the water. Um, yeah, none of that stuff really looks that important. Defense might be an issue. I don't know how we're going to deal with the enemies out here. Um, I guess I could do some barbed wire stuff. Uh, I'm not going to make that boat. Well, I'm getting close to be able to make that boat. But I don't know. I think my paddle boat's doing pretty well. And we just have a bunch of fires here. And here we are back at our main base. And uh, this is going to be my main base for a bit until I start moving everything over there. But that's going to be a that's going to be a cool base over there. No freaking doubt. I am cooking stuff up. I think I'm also going to make myself a crossbow. All right, and that's not in there. That's in here, and weapons, and crossbow. We just need components and metal scrap. See, I'm glad I didn't use all my metal scrap, you know? 
That's what I was I was worried about. Is that enough components? Yes. Okay, good. And here we go. We now have a crossbow. That will go where the axe is. We'll move all this stuff down. There we go. And arrows are simply wood. Is it arrows or bolts? I'm pretty sure that's what I need. Oh, you got like 10 per, don't you? Wait, one? It said I did like... Oh, 10. Okay. Let's make sure. Yep. Okay, good. And I guess you can't get them back. Wait, why isn't it reloading? Because I probably need to put this... Arrows. No, I think I was supposed to make bolts. Darn it! <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> you know, I was even like... I was even aware, you know? Whatever. It's fine. No harm, no foul. Maybe I'll make a bow later just to <laughs> have an excuse to use those things. All right, I think it's time to get out and do some looting. Let's uh, put some food away. I'm gonna need some food. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and eat that. There we go. And we'll put that in there. And the wood goes in here. And the metal goes in here. All right, cool. Put that down there. And let's get rid of the rest of the wood. Do I want to make some more uh, bolts? See, the thing is, I don't know how much I'm gonna like this thing yet. I don't want to make bolts. The thing is, I don't want to run out of bolts. But I also don't want to make bolts because if it sucks, I don't want to waste the like, resources. But I think we'll I think we'll be okay. I am going to probably try and go see if I can. Uh, I'm gonna try and go on that mutant island. Why don't we try and go on that mutant island? Why am I turning? All right. Well, that's because of the way I'm turning. All right. That's fine. I thought when I backed up, but uh, whatever. Whatevs. All right, so we're going to go check out Small Rock Island, or do you want to look at some of these other islands that are closer to us? Let's take a look at some of these other islands that are closer to us. I do want to do some looting today, but I also want to, like, you know... Oh, uh, there's more Marlins. Darn it, the Marlins are avoiding me. I don't appreciate that. I remember they were an expansion team. They, I think the Marlins, like... Didn't the Marlins, like, expand into the... Into a Major League Baseball and, like, win a World Series, like, a few years later? I think they won in 97, but I don't remember when they came into the league. All right, whatever. Let's do some exploring. I'm going to take a look at these islands. I'm not going to go for any kind of slaver island or any kind of island with, like, you know, normal people. I, if anything, I'll go for mutant islands right now because it's not like I have a gun. I guess I could probably shoot while on this thing. I'm not going to be able to hit anything, but machine factory. Oh, and that's a lootable place. Cool. Oh, that... Oh, that's a big building down there. All right. I love the way this stuff gets marked on the map. There's a lot I love about this game. All right, that looks like it's got, like, a lot. That's probably going to be an island I don't want to mess with. Um, You know what? Let's come over here and mess with this. Well, you know, we should at least mark the island. Let's go close to the island. It'll give us an idea of what's going to be on there. Who knows? Maybe it's not hostile. So far, every island has been hostile except for the one that I started on. Um, so, we'll see. Yeah, that looks like, uh, if those guys have guns, I will be staying away from there. I'm gonna see what I need to, like, make healing items. Oh, where do I get red algae from? I don't think I've seen red algae. Maybe I've just been missing it. Yep, the Salvation Clan. Alright, let's get out of there. And we will go left... See, this might be a small enough group of people that I could, I might be able to take them out on this place. Probably not, but n you never know. It looks like there's quite a few people on it, though. And it looks like they have guns. I really don't want to be messing with guns. Or people with guns. <laughs> Alright, this is a sit-up-in-the-chair situation here. Let's see what we got. Can I, sh can I hit him from here? I don't think I hit him. See if we can hit the guy up top. Is there a guy up there? It looks like there is. The Marauders. Okay. I'm hoping I can just like snipe him with my crossbow. I think there's arrow drop. Oh, I hit him. I hit him for sure. 
Dude, he looks like he's got melee a melee weapon. Oh, he's swimming out here. Wait, can I not hit him in the water? Got him. Okay. Okay, cannot use underwater. All right, crossbow bolts and cloth. That's some good stuff. All right, well, let's keep messing with these guys until we feel like we can't, you know, <laughs> can't take them, right? C, and there we go. And let's turn around. Oh, this is freaking cool. This thing does a lot of freaking damage, too. 157 damage. I don't know. Is that a lot? Sounds like a lot to me. Okay, the Marauders. Stormborn Outpost. Oh, hold on. Hmm. Okay. I gotta be a little careful with these bolts. I don't have a ton of them. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, right here. Hmm. Yep. There is arrow drop. Damn it. She dead? I don't see her. Nope, there she is. Darn it. Seems like they're kind of stuck in the water or something. Oh, here we go. Come on. Come on, where are you, bugger? There you are. I see you. I see you. I think I'm I think I'm aiming too high. I think they're inside of the Hold on. Let's get out of here. Alright, where are they? Alright, I see you. Okay, hold on. They can't aim really well, but they do take cover pretty well. Damn man, he's just strafing. He's strafing around, man. He's hard to hit. Come on. Come on. Got him. I don't know if this is the same one I was aiming at before. I'm trying to move, too. Got him. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Now, this one just has melee. At least all I see is a melee weapon. I don't know if they could pull out a gun. I just see a melee weapon in their hands. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm getting shot at again. Not good. That one's dead. That one's dead. Okay, take that. Their loot doesn't seem overly good. But I am getting some cloth, so that's nice. I wish they would drop the guns. Is that one already dead? Yeah! Got him. Okay. Oh, nothing on you? Oh, there we go. Got some ammo, at least. I gotta make sure everyone's dead before I loot. Can I, like, take over the base? Like... What do we got in here? Ooh, blueprint for an ore detector. Not too bad. Yeah, I wish I could, like, take over the base so they won't respawn here. Maybe I want them to respawn. Considering, like, I'm fighting, I don't... I'm not getting anything here that's... Oh, boy. That's a lot of guys. That's a lot of guys. 
All right, let's get the hell out of here. If I don't get killed, I'll call this a win. All right, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 go, 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 go. Go, go, go. They had shotguns up there. And there was at least three guys up there. There's no way I could have taken them. And if there's ways I can get hit points back, I could go back. But I'm not seeing any good way for me to get hit points back. It's the only thing I can make. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back to base and I'm going to do what I got to do to get my hit points back, even if that means hanging out of base for a while. And then we'll go out and we'll start looking for that red algae. I could take these guys, but I'm going to need red algae because um, one more shot and I'm dead. I'm going to eat, eat a few things and now I'm going to come down here and see if I can find some of that red, those red plants that I need to get hit points back. I'm not seeing them anywhere. You guys, someone will probably let me know in the comments. Uh, I just got to be patient, but man, I'm not patient. I want to know and I want to know right now. I want to know yesterday. I kind of wish I got the rubber on that, um, on that bandit base, that marauder base before I went up any farther. Cause I'm pretty sure I could have hit those tires without having any issues. And then I could have got some rubber It's a bit of a bit of a bummer there. But by the way, I think stuff is respawning because I'm seeing stuff that I know I I'm pretty sure I cleared. That has, res I'm pretty sure is respawning, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's get back up here. I didn't bring my little, my little boat out here. I'm not really sure why I didn't, but I didn't. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely gonna need like a better way to get health back or I'm not gonna be able to fight anything. What do you got? What do you got, bro? I can make some armor though. Um, some chest armor and I will make it when I get back. Unless I forget, which I might, but I'm going to try not to. Come over here. I did eat some food, by the way. That's how I got the health, the little bit of health back I did. I do have pain pills. Um, I do have pills. So I get all my health back right now if I wanted to. I just, I want to save those for like massive base attacks, you know? Because that'll give me like a large amount of hit points back. Rubber... I didn't notice there were tires underwater. That's something I'm going to have to keep a lookout for. All right, sit up in my chair. Anytime my health is this low, I should always be sitting up in my chair. What am I thinking? All right, I should also be looking for iron ore, which I have no idea what it looks like. I'm pretty sure it's going to be like big pieces of like stone looking stuff. But I don't know for sure. Scrap metal. Give me that scrap metal. I'm going to be streaming tonight. Uh, this video is going up Sunday. Um, I will be streaming on Sunday as well. Sunday will be seven days to die modded. Just so you guys know. And um, today's Saturday. I will be streaming Saturday. Uh, it'll be over by the time this video goes up. But I will have been doing Icarus. New update for Icarus. Okay. Is my inventory full? Did that stuff all fall on the ground? I don't think my inventory is full. It looked like the stuff was falling on the ground, didn't it? No, yeah, my inventory's not full, so that's good. Well, I mean, it's kind of full now, but it wasn't before. Went back and got my noisy-ass boat, and uh, we're going to continue looking for stuff. Oh, here we go. Nice chest down here. That's pretty nice, not going to lie. Okay, nothing crazy in there, but I did get some cloth, so that's good. And let's go ahead and get this. Keep an eye on our oxygen. Did that chest explode? Yeah, it did. Okay. I was going to say, did I loot everything out of the chest? Because it looks like it was still there. They're supposed to explode once you've looted everything. Is this anything? No. You have a car here. Let's maybe get some cloth. Ooh, glass is nice. Rubber's good, too. All right. Seeing anything else over there? If there's anything there, let's come over here. Okay. Yeah, I got I gotta find out how to heal, man. Because if I could heal, if I could get like a, a really good, you know, form of healing, then I could really go after the enemy. If I don't if I don't find any way to heal, like a really good healing, you know I don't know, thing, then uh I'm gonna be kind of screwed. At least when it goes when it comes to going after the enemies. Honestly, I'm surprised at how well I did. I gotta look into guns, too. Um, I gotta make the gun workbench. That'll be the first thing I make on my new... In my new base. The gun workbench. 
Now, I'm no expert, but I would imagine the gun workbench would be for making guns. I don't know. I, I could be wrong, but it's kind of what my gut is telling me. Up here, please don't lose any more hit points. Please don't lose any more hit points. It's almost nighttime. Uh, yeah, I'm almost full. <laughs> I got a dress. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Makes me look intimidating. I feel like I've already been down in this one. Okay, I'm not seeing anything else over here. It is getting dark. I think I am going to call this one and go home. All right, guys. So, you know what? We took out most of the bandit base, but we couldn't get the guys on top. But you know what? We didn't die. The only thing I wish I did differently was I wish I looted a little bit more uh, before I went up looking for trouble. Uh, let's get home. We're going to make some armor and let's see what else we can make. Um, I know we can make armor, and I'm hoping it would make the gun bench. Oh, no. Don't tell me I'm under attack. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. These are big guys. These are real guys. Yeah, I think I'm going to be screwed here. Uh, I don't have a lot of uh, bolts left. Yep. I have no hit points. Whoops. Got a couple more bolts. I think I got one. Yeah, I got one. Got two. Damn it. Should I just go out there and stab him or... Oh, uh, what do I need for bolts? Hold on. Um, bolts. Oh, hold on. There we go. Alright, here we go. Got his ass. He's dead. Damn it. I'm still getting used to the uh, the bolt drop. There's not much bolt drop, but the thing is, when they're out in the water... Pretty freaking far away, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop, 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 stop. Got him. Still alive, though. So I don't think there's one more underneath me. Alright, he's dead. Um, Alright, let's see what we got underneath. Oh, he's at my boat? Um, okay. I don't know. Oh, there he is. I know you guys can't see. I'll brighten this up. Ugh. I got no stamina. But hopefully I'll have enough. Come on, douchebag. Got him. Woo! Freaking intense. In freaking tense. Man, when they started shooting stuff at me, I thought I was screwed. I do appreciate that the developer has not given them god aim. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. They miss, you know, just like everybody else. You know, a lot of these games, like, they just won't miss you that much. Okay, is that it? I think that's everybody, but I, I gotta get back. If there's anyone left, hopefully they'll still be there in the morning. I'm pretty sure I looted everyone now. Alright, let's see what else we want to make. Did I ever unlock the armor? No, I did. Oh, I never even made... Th Wait. Plus five. I didn't even know this was an armor here. Thick cloth. I mean, I guess I don't need it anymore, but... Alright, well, let's go ahead and unlock this. We're gonna need some rope. So let's grab some rope. Okay, beautiful. And let's unlock that. It's tier one. And then let's make it. Uh, two more rope. Okay. Not a problem. Okay. And scrap armor. Okay. That's the... Oh, man. That, that's a big jump in armor, dude. I'm going from 10 to 19. That's like double the armor. Almost. Pretty much double the armor. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. I think the next thing I want to make is the furnace. But I want to make that... Oh, by the way, I can't make the weapon bench. Because I need iron ingots. So I'm gonna figure out where iron is. I, I don't I haven't seen iron. So I'm gonna try and figure out where the iron is. But yeah, I think I'm going to make this in my new base because that's where I'm gonna be living. So let's go over there and let's make this uh thing. 
And I think that's probably going to be it. Uh, I, You know what? If I see a marlin, I'll hunt the marlin. I'd like to make the backpack as well. Um, if I have enough resources for it. I'm not really sure if I'm going to, but we'll kind of see. And this thing is really, really loud. <laughs> Distractingly loud. I am getting some hit points back. As I eat, I get more hit points back. I'll bet you if I slept, I would have gotten even more hit points back. Hey, there's a marlin. All right, hold on. You know what I need? A freaking um, underwater spear thing. What are they called? Uh, I forget what they're called. Um, spear gun? I think they're called spear guns. There you go. Grab that. And I will be able to make my backpack. Which is going to be phenomenal. Now, where'd my thing go? I'm going to go a little long here, man. We're getting some work done. This has been a hell of a long episode. It's my last one recording today, too. So I won't get to play this again until tomorrow. Oh, oh boy. And here we are. Go ahead and jump out. Jump in. Um, blueprint. Oh, wait. How do I make that again? Oh, I have to research it first, stupid. Oh, unbelievable. I keep looking at like this thing like it's a workbench and not a research table. Okay, well. Furnace. And backpack. All right. So, backpack. Backpack, backpack, backpack. Backpack, 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 backpack. Uh, is it in here? Yeah, there it is. Oh, I need another shark fin. Crap. Okay, I guess I'm not making that today. Um, the the marlin fish scales won't be that problem, that big of a deal. The eight, the twelve cloth is gonna be huge, and I am gonna have to go fight a shark again. Darn it. And am I even gonna have what I need to build the furnace? Nope. I need more rubber. Okay. Well, I thought we were making a furnace today, but I, I guess we're not because I don't have enough rubber. Yeah. What are you gonna do? I just gotta go out and loot. Luckily for me. Looting in this game is hella fun. All right, guys, I'm going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG4 Ray, and welcome back to Sunken Land. Right off the bat, I'm going to move this thing out a little bit more. Um, this thing is so loud and kind of distracting for me. So I'm just going to kind of move it out here a little bit so I don't have to hear it crashing against the waves. There we go. That should be pretty good. Now, what do we have on the agenda for today? I've got a busy day ahead of me. First of all, I did find algae off camera. Okay. And I will hopefully find it on camera at some point. It's kind of, I don't know. It's a little on the rare side, but you know, I'll try and find it on camera. We'll see what we can do. But yeah, I did find some algae. Um, although I don't know what I did with it. I'd imagine I put it in my food slash healing bin. Yeah, there it is. All right. So we're going to take that. We are going to make some herbs and then I'm going to put the rest in there. I'm going to put that stuff in there. I am making scallops, but I think we're going to have to sleep through the night. Uh, first of all, let's talk about what we're going to do today. So this is what we're going to do today. We are going to kill another shark because I need another shark fin to make a bag, an upgraded bag. Um, I want to make the sailboat. You guys told me the sailboat is uh, much better than the uh, than the one I have now. We'll see. Hopefully it's a little quieter. <laughs> and yeah, and then we're going to get some iron. I'd really like to find some iron. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep. And it doesn't, like, just don't even bother eating or drinking if you're going to be going to sleep because it's just going to kill you. Uh, kill your hit points anyway, so it really doesn't matter if you drink or not before you go to sleep. Uh, should I want to fill that up? Nah, it should be okay. All right, that's looking pretty good. My health has come back, which is awesome. Are we going to get into some combat today? Yeah, I think we might. I think we just might do that. We'll have to see. Who knows? Who knows what the future holds? All right, so I'm going to put these back, and I'm going to take any food... See, the thing is, I don't want to eat food just to eat food, but I might want food to get my hit points back. I'm not sure. Getting hit points back is a bit of a of a, of a problem in this game right now for me. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I was told you can shoot a shark from far away if you're, like, on the surface. I don't know how you're supposed to shoot a shark that's in the water when you're on the surface. But, I mean, I'll try anything once. I don't see how that's going to help. Um, the shark is just underwater, so I don't, you know... I don't think that's going to work, but whatever. Um, I'll kill the shark either way today, and then we're going to get a bag, and then I'm probably going to be low on hit points. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure what the best way to get hit points back is. I guess it's just find the algae. But I'm going to tell you, I, I swam around for quite a long time. Uh, when I when I last left off last episode, I used the rest of the day to swim around looking for algae, and I could not find any. So, yeah, it is what it is. We'll have to see how things go. But I'm going to come down here and see if I can find some sharks. Those are not sharks. I'm not seeing any sharks. 
So we will keep on keeping on until we find ourselves a shark. I do see some sharks over here, but they're kind of swimming together. Which, I don't know. So, we said you could use this. Nah, I don't see I'm going to use this on a shark. So, if I could fight one of these guys, that would be great. But if I got to fight two of them, I'm in trouble. Oh boy, they're both coming at me. I feel kind of slow. Why am I so slow? Do I still have my fins on? Hold on, let me check my fins. I feel really slow. No, there they are. What's that zero mean? I don't know. I think that means you get no no uh, armor from it. All right, since those two guys are swimming together, I'm going to look for sharks in a different area. It doesn't look like I can get them separated, which is um, yeah, it's a bit of a bummer. We are right by the District 43, so let's check this place out. See if there's any sharks around here. Uh, I'm not seeing any. I've got a, I got attacked by a shark here. Okay, now I feel a little faster. Yeah, I got attacked by a shark here um, the other day, but I think that was one I killed. And maybe it hasn't respawned yet. Damn, getting a shark is going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm not seeing anything here. Alright. I gotta make a decision here. I can't find any other sharks. I'm going after the two. This is really dumb, by the way. I just... I just can't find anymore, you know? So let's see how this goes. Maybe I could just pull one. Oh, uh, I thought that one was coming at me. Nope, they're both going to come at me, I'm pretty sure. All right, whatever. Let's just swim in and get him. Come on, bro. Dude, it's weird. It looks like one's coming. At I'm getting pretty close to him and they're not coming at me. All right, here we go. Really? Man, I wish I had a freaking harpoon gun. Come on, dick. Oh, weird. They're not... Hmm, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Alright, so it seems like they're swimming around in circles, but they don't seem to be attacking me. Okay. Not really sure what's going on here, but I'm going to take advantage of it. Oh, now they're attacking. Come on, bro. They don't seem to be very good at attacking. Alright, gonna come back, get some oxygen. I'm actually, can you hear me getting quieter? I'm leaning back from my microphone thinking that that will help me not get hit. All right, that's one. And and that's two. Okay, so they finally got their their stuff together and attacked me properly, but by then it was too late. That is awesome. Now, do I want to keep looking around? I think I'm going to keep looking around. It's almost nighttime, so I'm going to keep looking around uh for loot because someone said that there was some um there's some iron ore between my island and the motel. By the way, I tried turning down my volume in game. This sound right here with this with this boat, it, it doesn't go away. Even though I put my my game sound down to zero, very frustrating. I gotta I gotta edit it when I'm uh, I gotta like get rid of it when I'm editing. But I might miss it from time to time. So if I do, I'm sorry. But you know, it is what it is. All right, I'm gonna swim around here and see what I can find. Okay, I'm right between... Oh, wait. Oh, so I'm not between... Well, whatever, let's see what's down here. All right, that's way too deep. Whatever's down there, I can't get down there. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go this way. I got to head back to my, my island. I thought that was my island. It's not. Is it? No, it's definitely not. That's Small Rock Island. Okay, that's the... That's the one with the baddies. So I'm going to I'm gonna go around... I'm going to go back to the mansion. And see if there's anything, uh, any iron by the mansion. Someone told me that there's iron ore between my, between the trading outpost and my base or something. I could have that wrong. I'm not really sure, but I will, uh, definitely give it a, give it a look. Also, we are looking for red algae as well. All right. Let's see what we got down here. I do think I saw some red algae down here when I was looking for sharks. So I might be able to find some more or find it again. The thing is I found it off camera, but I don't like looting off camera. All right. Also, a lot of people are saying you're missing tires. Like I was looking for rubber and I was going by tires. That was before I realized the tires gave rubber. How did I not realize tires gave rubber? I don't know. <laughs> I just didn't. There's the algae, by the way. All right. So that's cool. And I will swim around here and continue looking for stuff. Should I just loot the place or should I look around for iron? I, you know, I kind of think I want to look around for iron. So where is my base? So my base is directly in front of me. That right there is um, sulfur. I have been mining some sulfur, by the way, as well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Uh, what am I gonna eat? There we go. 
And I won't drink just yet. I'll drink if I have to, but not if I don't have to. Oh, cool tires. Kick the tires and light the fires. Okay, and if you and if you guys obviously see any iron on camera, feel free to leave me a timestamp. I know other people have been having trouble finding iron as well. Alright, I'm not seeing any. I'm gonna look off camera, um, because you know I, I do know it's like oh you may be able to show me iron if you see it, but at the same time, it's just a little bit not eventful. I'm not gonna say boring, but a little not eventful when I don't find it. So I will come back only if I find it. I'm telling you guys, cloth is the bane of my existence. I just I can't get anywhere near enough. All right. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna make the backpack. Boom. Twelve cloth gone. Boom. Gone. <laughs> oh my. God. Goodness. All right. So I think we got to take this stuff out of here because we're going to be, I don't know if this bag will go away or not, but let's do this. Oh, there we go. Uh, definitely drop something. Cause something about, Oh, cause I didn't have any room for the sack. All right, cool. Well, the bag was worth it, but the problem is now that we did the bag, I don't think we're going to be able to do the sailboat. How does a bag take less cloth than a sailboat <laughs> or more cloth than a sailboat? All right. Well, we're going to find a lot of cloth. I need, um, what? Three cloth per rope. So I'm going to need six cloth. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, I am counting on my fingers. 14 cloth, and we have zero. That is going to take a damn long time. Damn long time. Um, the only thing I'm wondering, should I just go ahead and get the ore detector? Like, maybe that's what I need to do. I can craft the ore detector. Well, actually, I can't really craft the ore detector um, because, for some reason, the thing that you need to find the ore... Where is the ore detector? The thing that you need to find the ore, iron ingots, is used for the ore detector. Genius. Just brilliant. <laughs> I don't think the ore detector is good without batteries anyway, so I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to attack the mutant island. Um, I was told that there's ore on maybe Small Rock Island. One of these islands where you can attack the mutants, um, there's ore. So... I'm gonna try Small Rock Island. We'll see if there's any. We'll see if there's any iron ore on there. If there's not, then I think I'm just gonna have to find the get the ore detector. So we will see. The thing I don't like about getting the ore detector is it's annoying because you can't tell what's worth what. So I got to go over there and just put random stuff in the thing and try and find out what they want for the ore detector. And she's always telling me to get lost and <laughs> and whatnot. So I don't know, ma'am. I don't know. I think I'm tired of her her lippy attitude. <laughs> But it is what it is, right? Right and early in the morning. And let's see what we can do over here. Hopefully there's some iron on this island. <clears throat> if not, I'm going to make a play for the ore detector. Let's see what we got here. Can't really see anything because of the sun. But that should be okay. Alright, mutant island. All right, I'm not going to go on to it if I don't need to. I'll just kind of go around it. Like I did when I was attacking that Marauder base last episode. I do think I see some iron on that island. Or things that could be iron. Alright, I see someone. That's pretty far away. Whoa! Hell of a shot. Two for two. No, how is he not dead yet? Alright, I don't know. But he's not. So let's keep going around. By the way, you guys might not be able to hear the thump when I hit them. I can tell when I hit them because of a thump. You guys might not be able to hear it, though, because I have to turn down the volume because of the, the sound this thing makes. So. Okay, where are these guys? Where are you, buddy? I know you're around here somewhere. Okay. Am I going to... Are they going to really make me get off this thing? Oh, there he is. Miss. Come on. Oh, damn. Good lethal with this thing. I hope that's not the same one I've been hitting the whole time because he is taking a lot of damage. He's got to be dead, right? All right, I'm going for it. Okay. So let's uh let's check out this part of the island first. Watch our stamina. 
right? I'm going to keep moving because if they do shoot stuff, it's harder for me to get hit. I do see some, what I think is iron over there. Oh, he's got one too. All right, we'll just keep strafing. Billy pops out. I think he's hiding. Yep, he's hiding in the trees. That wasn't him. Okay, fair enough. Is he really hiding in the trees? I don't see him. Man, they're really hard to see. I can't see him. Okay. There he is. Got his ass. Okay, and you, my friend, are going to be done in a minute. Oh, come on. They do have to reload. So if they shoot at you, you can kind of... You got a minute? Okay, come on. There you go. Oh, and you're done. Okay. Might not be a good idea to loot them while I'm in combat, but the thing is I'll forget where the body was. Still don't see him. Man, they really are good at hiding, huh? Oh, he's running away. Look at that. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is some pretty good AI. It is some really good AI. I mean, it doesn't hit enough, but it's because I'm moving. Like, it's good. It's not aimbot AI, but they're smart enough to, like, stay away from you and go for cover. That's awesome. Yeah, because sometimes it'll be, like, just aimbot AI where they just hit you no matter what, and then and but they won't take cover. I think taking cover and missing a lot, especially with these crude crossbows, is quite realistic. All right, I think that's probably just about it here. Let's go where I thought those iron nodes were. Yep, this is iron, guaranteed. There we go. Now, will this iron ore respawn? Because if it doesn't, this is not a lot of iron. So, what did I get? Um, yeah, only five nodes. Like, if this doesn't respawn, then... I mean, this ain't going to be nothing. And I haven't found any underwater either. Maybe I use it to make the ore detector. Maybe I should just buy the ore detector. Like, I don't... Like, I'm not using money for anything else. Oh, never mind. There's more over here. Cool. I am going to rechristen this small iron rock island. Mut now, now, mutant... F here we go. Welcome to small iron rock island. Now, mutant free. Yeah, yeah. I think people will come to that. By the way, the reason I'm not eating is because I'm waiting in case I get hurt. Because food does give you hit points back. So. Alright, cool. We are getting a decent amount of iron, though. Alright, good. Good, good, good. I don't know what I want to use it first with, though. I mean, I have to go smelt it, obviously. Um, no, so here's the deal, guys. This is Sunday. Um, on the weekends, I have to record two videos and stream. There's not a lot of time for grinding. But Monday... The grind will come. I will be doing some major grinding on Monday. And on Monday, my grinding time will be me moving base. I will be moving my base out into the water. Hey, is this neutral now? Will they never come back? Highway Pass. Neutral. So it was Small Rock Island, but now it's Highway Pass? Hmm. Are they never going to come back? If they never come back, that is freaking cool. That is freaking... I mean, although I would, wouldn't mind grinding... Grinding them for resources, but still, I like the idea, you know? I'm going to look around for some more iron. So I figured I would use the daytime. Instead of going all the way back to my island and, like, starting to, um, you know, cook up ore. We'll cook up ore, like, when it's getting closer to night. I'm going to mess around with District 13. Wait, is it District 13? District 43. Uh, for a little bit longer. Kind of see if we can get some more, uh, get some more cloth. That would be wonderful. Because I really need more cloth. Like, for reals, reals. Also, I could use more. I could use more scrap metal too. I'm actually um a little low on scrap metal at this point. All right. Um, I really need more cloth, dude. Like, what I say, 14 more cloth. Unbelievable. By the way, that mutant island still says mutant island. The highway pass was something that's past it. That's the highway pass. Something I can go check out at some point. Oh, tires. 
Tires, tires. I love the tires. Get the plastic. Or sorry, rubber. <laughs> get the rubber. Um, what am I going to get from this? Am I going to get any cloth from this? Why are you sinking all the way, bro? Alright, close enough. <laughs> I do not want to take unnecessary damage, even though I won't die. Don't want to take unnecessary damage. Some shark, you know, I take, I start taking damage and some shark comes in and finishes me off. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. I also have to keep looking out for the for that red algae. I think that red algae is a little bit on the on the rare side. Maybe it adds some more to the game or something. All right. So I have I have a good amount of oxygen. Oh shark, shark! All right, I'm gonna need more shark fins anyway. I don't know when, but I do know I'm gonna need them for things. So I'm gonna kill this shark. I was looking at recipes, and I'm definitely gonna need it. I think I need it for armor. If I remember correctly. Beautiful. Be beautiful. I will kill sharks any chance I get as long as I have the hit points. Alright, what do you got for me? Alright, cloth. One cloth isn't a lot, but you know what? It's one more cloth than I had before I looted that thing. Ooh, pistol. Oh, it is a cop car. Okay, there is a pistol I can make, by the way, um, a, a triple barrel, a triple barrel pistol. But I think I'm gonna make the gun bench before I make the pistol. Look at that pistol ammo. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, you know these look mineable, but they're not. Oh, there we go, algae, beautiful. Man, uh, I know I'm skipping stuff. It's because I'm looking for stuff that made of cloth. I don't think the, well can these have cloth these might be able to have cloth it's mostly scrap metal i mean i need the scrap metal anyway don't forget i've got a base to build man i'm really far down aren't i <laughs> oh boy there we go can i um do i have room i don't think i have room in here so whatever we fill up on that's that's it probably grab one or two more things oh more red oh two red okay that's what i'm talking about this is the way the red algae should be it should be like a good amount of it. Beautiful. Um, car. I don't think a car. I'm, what I'm really looking for is washing machines. There might be some washing machines in there. They look like there's some interesting stuff in there. The only thing I don't like about it is really far down. Someone told me. I don't know if I mentioned this in the episode. If I did, I apologize. Um, I'm going to mention it anyway. Someone told me that the. Uh, yeah, I did mention this. Anyway, someone told me that the um, the water thingy, uh, breathe underwater thingy, oxygen tank is not really worth it, um, because it just doesn't it doesn't last long enough. Like you get like one or two minutes out of the oxygen tank, and then you got to go fill it up. I mean, it might be worth it. Like, oh, crap. All right, now we got a problem. Um, it might be worth it in a way. Like if you get the oxygen refiller machine, I forget what it's called, then it would be worth it. But you know, if you don't have that, then it's not worth it. All right, so eating that won't help. All right, this is tough. I got to do some inventory management here. All right, I'm going to do inventory management, grab everything that was down there, and then we're going to head back to base. I came home. I slept through the night. Uh, my stamina was pretty low. It was like half stamina. And honestly, once you have your food and water set up, there's no reason not to sleep through the night, um, except for the fact that you could, you could do some work during the night. Uh, like during the night, I, I went ahead and cut down all the trees on my island. Although, if you have to go out in the water and stuff, I don't know if I want to be going swimming at night. Um, I guess I could. I can't record it, though, because it's like, you can't really see anything. I think I could see enough to loot, but it wouldn't be recordable, which would, you know, be a little bit of a bummer. We need an underwater light source is what we need. All right, here we are. And I have everything I need on me. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a furnace. Um, I guess I'll just put this right here. Seems like a good a spot as any. All right, although, great. After I built it, I was like, I don't want it in front of a window in case I got to shoot out the windows and I can't move it. Um, I All right, really quickly, guys. I do believe, I haven't heard anything. Nobody's told me anything. But from the public outcrying, by the way, this thing's too freaking close. Like, this thing is too loud. Too loud. So I'm going to go ahead and park it like over here somewhere. Anyway, from from the from the public outcrying, I you know the the outrage, um, not outrage, rage is the wrong word. Uh, people want us to be able to move stuff, and that's everybody. I think the developers are going to allow us to move stuff at some point. So, all right, place item. 
All right, so just one, add wood, which is that 10. There we go. And it cooks up just like the forge, or just like the um, cooking um, apparatus. <laughs> Uh, whatever it's called. You know, you know what, you know the thing. Um, the simple grill. Yeah, the grill. It cooks up just like the grill. So, that's awesome. Now we have to decide what we're going to spend our iron on. Alright, there's nothing in here that requires iron. Except, I think the ore detector might have to be the next thing. But the thing is, the ore detector won't work without batteries. And if I don't have batteries, then what's the point? Also, I might not have five electrical parts. So, we might not be able to make the ore detector. I, I might just try and trade for the ore detector. Okay, so that's all there. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's see what we got to build. Uh, don't care about any of that. That We need cloth. Okay. I think we're going to have to unlock iron stuff with iron. I didn't. I don't think I unlocked enough things with iron. So I think we're going to have to unlock this stuff with iron. I'm also going to have to... I should probably make a marker flag. Although, it does take cloth, and cloth is incredibly important, and I don't think I need the marker. Oh, that's right, the gun workshop. That's what I want. Okay, looking at this stuff here, I think we're going to save the gun workbench for a future episode. I really want to get that ore detector. Um, there's some things I want to make. The, the things I really want to make more than anything, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys, is the air tank, small air tank, and the air filling station. Now, the small air tank takes um, two rubber. This The air filling station takes two rubber. It's probably going to take a two, another two rubber to make, so that's going to be eight rubber total. And a good amount of iron. So I think I'm going to save my iron for that. And I'm going to try and trade. At least for a battery. I'm going to see what I can trade for. Um, oh, these are decorations. So, um, yeah, profit, decoration. Can I trade other things like pants and, and stuff like that? Can I trade that? Um, that. And it looks like that's all the stuff that's supposed to be traded. I'll try and trade these clothes as well. In these. And let's put some stuff away. And then we're going to go out to the trader. Um, yeah, I'd really like to get the ore detector today. And then I'm thinking next episode, probably air tanks. I really want to make the gun bench, guys. I really want to make the gun bench. But just, I need rubber and I need cloth. And guns are not going to help me get that stuff. So I got to be smart. You know, instead of going with what I want to do, I got to go with, you know, what I should be doing. Okay, so we're going to try and sell all of this stuff. And let's see if we can get battery first and then maybe the ore detector. If we can get the battery, we can craft the ore detector. But battery is number one. At least that's my understanding on how it works. We're going to find out. All right, there we go. Clothes do count. The stone hatchet you start with counts. Um, I'm getting rid of a sack as well. And I'm getting a battery. Okay, um, deal. All right, now let's see if we get the ore detector for a reasonable price. Get lost, get lost, get lost. Not enough. I need, oh, no, not the battery. Oh, so the uh, mobile phone seems to be worth a lot. Not enough. Take these out. I need more than that. Fine, we have a deal. Okay, so I'm saving two iron, and all I'm giving up is a couple things here. Uh, what is that? Oh, underwater scooter? She's not going to, yeah. So get lost is, you're not even close. Okay, got it. Should I make the ore detector? <laughs> Do I want to use the two iron to get rid of this stuff? Dealt with it. I'm go I gotta go with my gut. I gotta go with my gut. And my gut's been telling me to get rid of that stuff and keep the iron. Alright, so five. And no batteries. Do we R to reload? No. Do we just uh use? I'm pressing use, it's not doing anything. There we go. Okay. Ooh, copper. Copper? Um. Wow, okay, so there must be copper right below me. I was under the impression that the number on the <laughs> ore detector should be going up till you get to 100%. That's not the case. You want the number to go down. So I went ahead and I looked to, I, I kept looking around until the number wouldn't go down anymore. And I was kind of on the surface going around in a circle and the number wasn't going down, that means it's underneath me. And I'm not going to take it out because um, I don't want to waste the battery, but it did bring me to this iron ore right here. So there you go. So that's how the ore detector works. It's a little bit... I don't know. I feel like the battery should last a little bit longer. I don't know when I'm going to be able to make more batteries, but it does work, and I understand how it works. And I think once I think once you understand how it works, you could use a lot less power 
you know? And it will lead me to copper as well. By the way, if you want to look for different things, you right click. And sulfur. I guess you left click to go left, mine copper. Right click to go right, iron and sulfur. So there you go. All right, guys. An incredibly productive episode, and I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is kj 4 e and welcome back to my new obsession, Sunken Land. I am having... Uh, do I have to keep saying this? I sound like a broken record. This game is really scratching the itch for me i'm really loving this game uh today i've got a crazy awesome video for you we're gonna we're gonna get some rubber we're gonna get some cloth i'm hoping to make the sailboat i'm also hoping that the sailboat won't be as loud as this boat and we're also gonna make the gun bench as a matter of fact i'm gonna make the gun bench right now how about that how about that i have started moving stuff into this um this base so that is awesome let's go ahead to build and gun bench gun bench gun bench Gun workshop. Okay, we just need a little bit more iron, which is no problem. I got some iron right there. I've been cooking up iron during the night. And there we go. And I'm not going to be putting stuff in front of windows anymore. Uh, I think this would be a pretty good spot for the gun bench. I don't know. It looks pretty good to me. Okay, it's inside the, the ladder, which is kind of sucky. Hopefully, I'll be able to move stuff pretty soon. And I can kind of make that a little better. But for now, it'll be fine. All right. Oh, ooh. Oh, I need a broke. Okay, so I need broken gun parts. Pump shotgun, SMG. Man, look at this stuff. Look at this stuff, SMG, hunting rifle. I do have gun parts. I don't remember what gun parts I have, though. So I am going to have to go back and check that out. But I'm not going to do it right now. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to drop everything off. And I am going to get on out there. And we got to take advantage of the daylight. I need to get some loot. All right, so there we go. We got food, we got drink. Everything's looking good. Let's come on in our little boat here. And I'm not really sure where I want to loot next. Let's take a look. All right, the apartments are the closest. Um, and 35% the village. This stuff's farther away, but has more lootable opportunities. I think I'm going to do the apartment stuff since they're closer. It just makes more sense. And then at some point today, I will go home and I will get all the gun parts I have and bring them over and see if we can make like a proper a proper gun. Um, there is the triple barrel pistol, but that thing I think is kind of like more of the equivalent of a pipe weapon. Like if you think about seven days to die. So I don't think I want to make the triple, bar the triple barrel pistol, but I think I want to make some real guns. We'll see. We'll see. All right. First things first, we need to find rubber... And that's going to be tires. I'm not seeing any tires. Uh, we will also scavenge for some scrap metal here. There we go. And let's come on down in here and see what's going on in here. Oh, whoa. Okay. All right. That looked pretty interesting. Binoculars? Did I just get binoculars? Wow. Okay. All right. That's pretty cool. What else was in there? Um, silver coins. Okay. And a neon guitar sign. I can't wait to make a proper bass. So I could put up all the decorative stuff because the decorative stuff looks awesome. All right, let's come back down here into the bottom. Maybe there's maybe there's other good stuff down here. Um, or not. Or maybe there's nothing. Cut down here. Okay, do some scavenging. And I'm not seeing anything else in there. I'm kind of looking around for other things as well. Not seeing anything important over there. All right, we need cloth. I think they got to like up. I know they already upped the drop rate of cloth. I, need, I think they need to upgrade it, update it even more. Like just, there's not enough cloth. Like, it's funny. Like I want to like remake my bed at my new base, but I don't want to do it because I don't want to waste any cloth. It's going to take another piece of cloth just to make a new bed. Now I don't want to do it. Cloth shouldn't be that, that rare. But, hey, it's a balancing act. The game's in early access. It just came out, like, a, a day or two ago. So, it's fine. It's fine. I don't mean to sound pushy. I just, you know, I just love the game. And I want it to be perfect. Can't, listen, developers, can't you just make a perfect game right off the bat, day one? Come on, now. <laughs> All right. So, there we go. We'll take a bunch of stuff out of there. It's good for components. I actually have a, a decent amount of components, which is cool. But I don't think I've got any cloth yet. 
Uh, I've gotten one cloth. That's not gonna do it, man. I need I need another ten. Nothing there. Uh, this might have some cloth in it, or not. These things are definitely good, even if you don't. Oh, see, I got cloth out of this. Cool. By the way, I think wood is a renewable resource, um, because anytime I chop down a tree on an island, I get these. Um, I get these. Uh, I forget what they're called. They're, they're tree seeds, basically. I want to say honeycombs, but I don't think they're honeycombs. Um, yeah, and then I go and replant them, and then when I when I like knock them up, I think I get more. So I think uh, I think wood is going to be okay. All right, got some more cloth. Some all right. So we're, we're actually getting some decent cloth here. Come on. Oh, now we're going to take some damage here, but that's okay. Oh, maybe not. I could stay under longer. But I really need the rubber. I gotta look for some rubber now. Well, I need 14 cloth. Well, I got... How many cloth I have? I think I got nine total now. All right. What I want to do now is I want to hit my boat over here. Drop things off. And then I think we're going to start looking for rubber. I need the rubber in order to make the diving things. Now, the diving refilling tank machine thingy, I think that, like, lasts forever. I don't think you need to, like... Like, fuel that? Hopefully not. But, oh boy. There we go. Okay. Now we're just going to look for rubber. I hate these things right here because they look like, uh, they look like tires. And tires are, I think tires are mostly outside. So I don't think going inside is going to help with tires. So let's just come on down here. I mean, really, I just want rubber at this point. And I, I would, I would take other materials but the thing is you fill up on them and then you won't have any room for the rubber all right i'm not seeing any rubber around here i'll look for a little bit more if i can't find any i'll go to a different location yeah i'm really not seeing any either i looted it all here or there's not much or maybe both maybe there wasn't much here and i've looted it all okay a car might give me a little bit of rubber but mm, how See how how prevalent are the tires? Are they are they pretty common? I feel like they're pretty common. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. I must have, I probably got them all here. I'm pretty sure I remember getting getting tires here. Okay. All right. So let's see where what's the closest um, unknown runes you'd have to fight. I think the village is somewhere I can go. Let's head to the village. I went to the. Village. I was at the apartments. I went to the village. There was nothing at the village. No tires of any kind. So I'm coming out here to the machine factory and see if we can find something out here that might be useful. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. It looks like an interesting POI. I've never been here before, so at least I haven't looted it. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. Um, I will start doing some looting. It looks like we're not going to find rubber you know, today. So I might as well start looting stuff since we're going to go home and drop stuff off anyway. The only reason I wasn't looting everything is because I didn't have enough room for it, so. Oh. Wow. A couple of rubber in that one, too. What did I say? I'm going to need, like, eight rubber? I think I'm going to need eight rubber to do the diving thing. I probably want to find more than eight, though. Oh, tires. I figured there'd be some tires around here. There we go. Beautiful. Love it. Eight rubber. Or sorry, five rubber. <laughs> I need eight, but I probably have eight already. But I want a little bit more than eight because I don't know what the actual air tanks are going to cost. And plus, I'm going to want a couple, like a few air tanks on me, like maybe four or five air tanks um, because they only last a minute or two. And if I'm out, I don't want to be having to go back and refill them all the time. So it would only make sense to have quite a few of them on us um, while we go out. Uh, let's grab this. Maybe we'll get some rubber out of the car. Oh, we got some cloth. That's good. Components. Beautiful. Alright, still got a lot of room. I would like to look for some more tires, though. I'm not seeing any. What is that? Oh, loot. Oh. Alright then, take all. And then we're going to go ahead and learn that. And counter. Very cool. I like the way that the developers of this game have paid attention to decoration. That is that is really nice. Not a lot of games do that. Raft did that. 
Raph did decorations really well. All right, what do we got in here? Ooh, a lot of scrap metal. Damn, bro. That's what I'm talking about, and I don't have any room for anything else. Ooh, a cigar. Nice. Very nice. Was that iron down there? It looked like it might have been. I'm going to go check it out. Yeah, this always looks like iron, and it never is. Okay, well... <laughs> At least now I know. Let's go back to our... Um, go back to our little uh, paddle boat here. See if we have any room for anything. Um, if we could put that in there. I don't see anything else we could double up. Doesn't mean there's nothing there I could double up. It just means I don't see anything I could double up. All right, fair enough. Probably fit a little bit more. I'm gonna. I'm really gonna look for. Uh, for ti oh, tires. Yes. Yes. We might have enough rubber now to make the uh, diving station and what we need, um, the diving, uh, oxygen bottles. Whoa. Whoa. Me done think I found a secret area. <laughs> wow. Now I'm not gonna be able to go in there with what I have, but I'm gonna kind of go as far as I can. Kind of see what's going on down there. What the heck? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna check this out. I don't think I'm gonna need diving equipment for this. It looks like it's, although I don't have any room for anything. Uh, I guess I gotta come back here. Son of a biscuits. I, I gotta at least go look. I gotta look. So there's a fridge there. Oh, there's a safe, okay. All right, we're gonna come back here for sure. For sure, let's just get back to base now. Um. I hate trying to loot my inventory's full. It's getting late as well. I just headed home and I grabbed some stuff and I was heading out to my, my new base and then I realized I'm under attack. So are they gonna, yeah, they're gonna mess up my base over there. I think I have to go back and defend it. Darn it, I was hoping they would follow me. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. They are just breaking my stuff, I can tell. You little punks. You punks. I'm gonna go ahead and eat, get some stamina. Oh yeah, they are they are destroying my stuff. Alright, here we go. Hey. Cut it out. There you go. Yep, stuff is just breaking. You're dead. Oh boy. Here we go. Ow. Ow I think they're hitting me with uh with bolts. I can't really see much. I will definitely um, brighten this up while editing, but... Ow. Ow. Come on, stamina. There you go. Okay, and you should be dead. Beautiful. And now uh, you're shooting at me. All right, you can keep shooting at me. I'll take this guy out. As long as I keep strafing side to side, they're going to have a hard time hitting me. What's your problem, dude? All right, hold on. See if I can get close to him. Mm. Come on, swing, swing, swing. Is that it? I can't tell. I can't see anything. You guys are gonna be able to see more than I will. All right, I think we got everything. I don't think they broke any of my chests. Let me just go ahead and see what we got in here. Nope, they did not break any chests. Okay. Thank goodness. All right, I'm just going to put this stuff away in here for the time being. And let's go loot what they've got. <laughs> um, do I have a torch on me? I do. And six. Beautiful. Okay. Loot your ass. I looted the guy in the water, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. I do appreciate that they drop cloth. That is, That does make them, you know... A little bit more, uh, I don't know. It's a little bit easier to deal with it. <laughs> if they're going to drop cloth. I don't know what to do with this. Should I make another thing above it or should I just break it and redo it? I think I'm going to leave it alone for now. I don't think I'm overly concerned about it. Let me get back to doing my uh, transferring of uh, gear and stuff and I'll see you in the morning. I think as soon as this video is done, I'm going to move everything 
into this new base over here. Um, the only thing I won't be able to move is the bed and possibly the cooking stations. It depends. Honestly, it depends on what takes cloth and what doesn't. I don't really remember. Uh, but if it takes cloth, I can't move it. But the chests do not take cloth. I want all of my loot off of that base. Um, I don't know where the enemies attack. I don't know if the enemies attack like me or if the enemies go for the um, bed. I, I don't know. Um, so I, I can't make any intelligent decisions like that because I don't really know. Uh, so we're going to take this and we've got to get some more of this going. What we're going to be doing right now is we are going to be making ourselves... We're going to be making ourselves the oxygen fueling station and the um, the air tanks. At least a, a few air tanks, I'm hoping. And that will allow me to like stay underwater for longer. And as long as the air tanks, like if they run out of water and they're fine, and then I can refill them, then it's not that bad. Then I just I start making a bunch of air tanks. Maybe I can make better air tanks too, because one or two minutes is not really a lot of time. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I need some food. Um, I don't want to use that because it gives a lot of... Well, I could, I could use some health, I guess. Sure, why not? Why not? We'll eat some canned food. It's good It's good for the body. So I got to come back here and I, got, I have to um, research the diving refilling station and the air tanks. And then we should be good to go. Hopefully um, it's not too expensive to make them. Let's see what we got over here. All right, come on. Jump, you no stamina having piece of crap. <laughs> All right, uh, we need glass. Please don't tell me all my glass is back at the base. It is. You know what? I kept going back over there and forgetting what I needed. <laughs> and it was just getting annoying. And I was like, you know what? We're going to do a little test here. The research bench is not that expensive. Let's just make a research bench here and see how that goes. Um, I'm not really sure where I want to put it. I guess it looks pretty good right here. All right, so what I'm curious is, is the upgrades for the research bench research bench exclusive or will this have the upgrades available to it as well? And it does. All right, cool. That's what I was told. So that is awesome. All right, cool. So now I got to get some glass. That's what I forgot to bring over there. Glass. All righty. We're slowly but surely moving everything over here, which is what we needed to do. Okay. So let's come up here and air filling station research. And then one down here, air tank, small air tank. I'll bet you there's like a big air tank you could get later. All right. So let's see what we need for the, for the uh, air refilling station. All right. It threw me for a loop. It's on the right hand side. So you go to build, you go here and here and there it is. It's on the right hand side. Okay. Air filling. Oh, I saw something about a battery. All right. That's cool. Uh, I don't really know where to put this. I think this looks pretty good right here. I guess. Sure, why not? Oh, because there's a thing there. All right, how about right here then? Here we go. All right, place air tank. All right, so we've got to make some air tanks. And now we have an air tank. Um, Use. There we go. All right, let's see how, let's see how far we can go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. Very cool. Um, Do we have room for some loot? I guess we could do some looting. All right, so yeah, the air tank doesn't seem like it lasts that long. I want to use up the whole thing though, because I want to add more air to it and see like how that works. Uh, now let's see if we come up here, will the air stop going down? I'd imagine it would, but you know, you never know. Let's come up here. We're going to drop some stuff off too, that we could do some looting. I like, I like the air tank. I mean, it's not like, you know, gangbusters, but it seems pretty good to me. All right, I am making chest out of wood. Because, I don't know, it just feels like the best, thing. like I said, I think wood is renewable. If it's if I'm wrong, let me know. But I'm pretty sure um, wood is renewable. All right, come on. Come on. I want to line them up, but it looks like it's going through the base. But honestly, it really doesn't matter. Just get rid of everything you don't need. Actually, I'm going to hold on to that. And, oh, there's one other thing we need to do today. We need to make the, um... We need, I, I gotta, I gotta, I want this oxygen tank empty and I want to see how I refill it. And then I'm going to make myself the sailboat. All right. Yeah, this is, um, I think this is the right decision. I think this is going to be really good. As long as it doesn't take anything crazy to refill the oxygen. I think this is going to work out. Yeah. Th okay. This is, I love this game. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. 
Alright, let's loot up. Alright, we'll uh, learn the table, get it out of there. Our tank is about half empty. Should be okay. And what do we got in here? Um, oh boy. Man, we're filling up quick, dude. My goodness. Oh, here we go, cloth. I will never say no to cloth. And break this, hopefully we get some more cloth. The other thing I have to do is I have to make uh, grow plots at my new place, which is going to kind of suck because that does take cloth, but, you know, whatever. There'll just be one grow plot at my old place that won't be being used. Honestly, it's almost destroyed anyway, so <laughs> whatever. Okay, nothing there. This is a decent amount of time underwater. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not ridiculous, but it's fine. I'm going to start heading back. Hold on. And then once you're done with your oxygen, now, um... Come on. Now you have your regular, um, breath, you know, breath hold to deal with. And there you go. And it's empty. Increases dive time. All right, let's take this back and see how this is going to work. Again, I'm really curious on how, how this oxygen refilling is going to work. I got to make a water purifier at the base, too. By the way, uh, one cool thing is, you know, I have the water purifier and I have the... Um, grill at my old base and I'm like oh, I can't move them that sucks because they're gonna be a waste but no not really because I have improved ones I can make now so really it's not a waste at all place air tank air tank and inventory need to fill no air tank and inventory need to fill oh okay that makes sense place air tank press oh you have to do it by hand 25% Dude, this is this freaking game, man. Oh, I'm loving this game, dude. For real. 60. I love. Okay. 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 The, <laughs> I, I, I don't have words. I don't have words. This is excellent. This is freaking excellent. I'll leave this here, though, for, um, I'll leave this here for now. Oh, I, I am so freaking thrilled. All right, now, did I use my cloth and things on other things so I can't make the sailboat? I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know what I I don't know what I used them on, but I used them on something. Or maybe I put them somewhere. Let me see if I could find them. I might have placed them somewhere where they shouldn't be. Yeah, I didn't think I used them. Um, I put them in this second box here, the second wooden chest. So I have everything I need for the sailboat. So let's go ahead and make the sailboat, which is supposed to be better than the one I, I'm using now. So... Like that. Is that making noise? I don't think it's making noise. I might just destroy this thing, honestly. I don't think the sail base, the sailboat is making noise like the other one. Well, while we still have a little bit of daylight, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that thing on a little uh, a little spin. See how it goes. See how that somebody said that this um thing has a little bit of problem with the um with the way it like steers and stuff, but I don't know. It's not doing anything. Am I in the wrong seat? Uh, still not doing anything. Oh, hold on. Drive. Okay. There we go. Oh, no. This thing... Uh, wait, how do you go forward? Um, quit. Oh, sail up. Oh, that's what they mean. Yeah, so this will just make you go forward. All right. Yeah, this thing's... F Actually, looking at my kilometers per hour, this isn't faster than the other one. But it feels faster. This feels faster, but I was, I was doing 50 kilometers an hour in the other one. This one feels faster, though. I don't know. I kind of like this thing. I like it a lot. Oh, man. So we got the air tank today. I think we're ready to do some real damage next episode, man. We got the air tank. We can go, we can make more air tanks. We can go down deeper. It's going to be freaking phenomenal. I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to... Sorry, messed up the outro. Um, let me try that again. I'm not even going to like delete that part of the recording. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy. Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is kj 4 e and welcome back to Sunken Land. So for those of you who have been on this channel for a while, you'll know that if I come back from a cut or if I start a video on the pause menu, stuff is getting real. I did not expect to be recording right now. I was just doing some grinding, and um, yeah, but I am uh, being attacked. Ooh, ooh, hold on. 33, 40. Mine's stronger, but this might be a cool weapon to use. Who knows? 
Yeah, anyway, I, these guys, man. Like, I'm just trying to do some work here. Oh, boy. So this thing does swing faster, but that just means I'm going to be out of stamina quicker. So I'm not really sure I like that very much. Harder, harder swings and less of them. Also, I could always do this. Um, I got no stamina. I was not prepared for this. All right. Bleeding's gone. What the heck? What the heck? Whoa, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know about that aiming. Let's see if we can uh, kill him without aiming. All right, I can. Yeah, the aiming is a little weird right now. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm going to keep my distance a little bit. There we go. And take your stuff and eat it. We need the health. We need the stamina. Oh, boy. I'm just glad they don't have guns. Let's just let's just be happy for the small things. There we go. So what was I doing off camera? I was gr I was grinding. I was I was grabbing a bunch of uh, basic stuff like metal and everything. I was going to come over here and get some wood. I wanted to come over here, destroy everything over here and move it over there because you can see they're just taking apart my base. So I figured if I take apart my base, I'll get some, you know, I'll get some resources for it. If they take it apart, I get nothing. There you go. Stab to the face. Stab to the face. Another one of those um, spike clubs. I'm probably just going to sell the spike clubs. All right. Yeah. See, they broke out two of my chests. So I didn't get the wood back for those chests, which um, sucks. That's why I'm trying to... Th this base is done. I've got everything. Everything here is going to be in my new base. I've already put down a bed. I'm going to make an upgraded food and water machine. Um, I'm just going to take everything apart. And the thing that really sucks is when I came over here to take everything apart. Check this out. I forgot my freaking hammer because of course I did. I have completely dismantled my old base. So I am pretty excited to start building up my new base. I've got a list of like 50 things I want to make. I'm not even going to... Actually, I'll go over the list with you. Um, by the way, this um, sailboat can go faster if you're going with the wind. See that little... F you see that little flag on the left side? That's showing where the wind's blowing. So the wind's blowing against me, so it's not really going to help right now. But that is a way for you to go faster in the sailboat. I love the sailboat. Um, I need to put a flag at my base. I keep forgetting. Um, people want me to use metal barrels, and I'm like... Eh, you know, maybe uh, the thing is wood is renewable. It does grow back. Uh, the, the, bar the the metal doesn't. And I know what you're saying. Well, I have a lot of metal. Like, yeah, but the thing is, I want to make a base and it's going to take a lot of metal. So, um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to continue using wood crates for that reason. All right. Uh, what else do I have on my list? I need to make a dock. Um, the trader stuff does have value in the bottom left hand bottom right corner. You have to look at that attack islands. Um, I need copper. There's certain islands that I can attack that will have copper on them. Uh, I want to need to make a wraparound porch. I need to do base defenses. I need to make a real gun and a battery charger. <laughs> oh boy. But first things first, I cannot make the water purifier, the upgraded water purifier or the better cooking stations until I get more rubber, which is why I'm here. So I'm going to swim around here and see, I mean, I guess I might as well, well I'm definitely going to loot anything with cloth as well. I definitely need cloth. Um, I'm not really sure where the best place to get rubber is. And I didn't bring anything out to drink with me which really sucks that means if i don't if i don't loot some drink out here and the chances are i'm not going to at least i don't think i brought any drink out with me come on let's take a look no uh, that gives me nothing okay well that kind of sucks so i'm gonna have to go back a little bit early but that's okay um that's you know what that's all right because i have my my oxygen bottle uh oxygen tank and i'm gonna want to go back and refill that anyway um, I gotta be honest with you guys. I don't think I want to be out here anymore without this oxygen tank. Like, ever. <laughs> I'm probably gonna make a few of them, too. Although, I think I need rubber for them as well. I believe so. So, rubber is really killing me. Oh, I need to come back here. I never did that last episode. Son of a biscuits. Alright. Well, let's just go down there and see what's what. I, I came down here, but I didn't, like, look everywhere. And I said I would come back, and I, and I didn't. Beautiful. Exactly what I needed. Oh, I got some corn seeds. Is that what I got? Did I just get corn seeds? Right, I'm not going to play any games down here. Let's break into the safe. Let's get everything and get the heck out. Um, this has actually turned out really well for me. Glad I got that drink. Oh, here we go. Take those two. Learn. Learn. Go back in here. Oh, boy. Yeah, we got some serious. We got some serious stuff here today, guys. Already. The problem is, none of it's rubber. Is that it for down here? I don't see anything else. Okay, yeah, I think that's it for down here. All right, well, you know what? I think I'm going to go back because I want to get more oxygen. I don't know. I really shouldn't go back. 
I really shouldn't because I have more room because I have my boat. So I don't need to go back. I'm going to continue looking around for rubber. Really didn't. Oh boy. Whenever I pause the game, it kind of, the boat kind of jumps up like that. It's kind of weird. Um, I only found one rubber there, which, you know, kind of blows. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back and I'm going to attack one of these bases. Um, I think these bases have like rubber, like tires on them. All right. I just got to figure out which one to attack. Um, uh, mutant settlement. Is that the one I already attacked? I don't remember. No, that was like rock Island or something. Yeah, small rock island. So maybe we'll maybe we'll attack that mutant settlement. I think I think we might do that. I remember watching uh, partially royal play, and he attacked these mutant settlements, and they had a bunch of tires, um, in their bases. So that would be all the rubber I need to get. And the thing is, I really need to concentrate on rubber right now because I destroyed my old water purifier and my old thing, so I can't get any more food or drink. Um, I do have a lot saved up, but you know, still. So let me drop off stuff here, and then we're gonna grab everything, and we're gonna go out. And we're gonna attack some fools. I keep forgetting how to stop this thing. <laughs> That's okay. That's what this ladder's for. If I can use it properly. All right, before we go out anywhere, I'm going to go ahead and make a gun. Now, in order to make guns, you need the broken version of the guns. And I believe the best one I can make right now is... Yeah, the best one I can make right now is the GP20. So I'm going to go ahead and craft that. All right, and there we go. We'll put that right there. And I do believe I have some ammo for it. Not a lot, but some. And we'll just kind of see how that goes. Okay, so I've got 15 in, in the, um, what is it? Okay, 15 in the magazine, or is it 14 in the magazine and one in the chamber? I don't know. And then I've got eight extra, so that'll be pretty cool. I've also made a ton of bolts. Um, the next thing we need to do is eat and drink, and we need to bring healing items. So that's a healing item. Um, you know, we'll take that. The lemons. Oh, by the way, those seeds I got were not lemon. We're not, um, darn it. I forgot to empty out my thing. Uh, those, those seeds we got were not corn seeds. They were lemon seeds right there. I totally forgot to empty this out. Okay. Well, let me finish getting ready. Uh, I just wanted to, I just wanted to see me make the gun and then we're going to get on out there. So I found, um, the police station it's underwater. People said you need like a lot of oxygen tanks and maybe even get the motorized scooter because it's way, way deep underwater. So that's going to be something I'm going to be looking forward to probably next episode. We'll see. I mean, you know, I change my mind like 50 times a day, so... It is what it is. Let's go ahead and stop here. And let's get up. And let's see if we can snipe this guy. What are you looking at, chump? There you go. Two hits. He might go in the water. I'm not really sure what he's doing. But he's running around. Is he going to come in the water over here? Yep, there he is. All right, get in the water. Dead. Beautiful. One down. Uh, I forgot to clean out the the bit the boat entirely, so that's my mistake. Um, oops, I'm in the wrong seat. Okay, there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll loot this guy. Whoop. Wait, what was that? Okay, I was wondering if I was getting shot at. Really? Nothing? How dare you, sir? How dare you? All right, let's come around here. Is that a good spot to attack? Um, probably not. But let's see what we got up here. All right, number three is the pistol. Okay. Okay, you gonna come out into the water? Yes. Oh, hold on. You coming out? Uh, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? He's kind of strafing around up there. There he goes. Okay. I think we can melee him while in here. Yep. Okay. Now I don't mind fighting him up on his up on his own spot, but the problem is I think there's a lot of guys up there, so I don't want to get overwhelmed. All right. Let's see how it goes. Uh, you know, if I could not use the pistol here, that'd be great. It's weird. I want to use the pistol because I want to show it to you guys. But at the same time, I don't want to use it because I want to save it for people who are going to be tougher. I mean, these guys are tough, but they don't they don't have guns. So. All right. All right. There we go. And you're done. I like to loot them as I kill them. Because if I don't, I forget where they are half the time. Oh, you jerk. Well, at least he misses a lot. OK, 
Okay. And yeah, I, guys, I really want to show you the pistol. I just don't want to throw ammo away. It just, it doesn't make sense. Okay, shooting from the hip is pretty okay with this thing. But I don't think I need to. There we go. A take all button would be nice. You know, hit F or something or whatever. Whatever you decide it to be. Let's make sure all these guys... Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Let's make sure all these guys are dead. And I'm not seeing anybody else. All right. That's a good sign. That is a good sign. First thing I'm doing... It, well, I, I guess I'll just loot everything. I should have enough uh, to take everything home. <gasps> I didn't bring an axe. Oh my god, how did that happen? Oh, that is so stupid. I am so stupid. I can't believe I didn't bring an axe. Stupid. I guess I can go home and get one and come back. I don't think they'll respawn that quickly. Ah, so dumb. So dumb. All right, I'm gonna loot everything I don't need an axe for. And then we'll come back with an axe. See, the thing is, I put the I put the pistol where the axe was. So once the, once the axe ends up in my general inventory, I just saw it as an extra axe because I've looted them. So I should probably make the upgraded axe too. I haven't done it yet. The thing is, cloth is so precious. I just don't see the need to use the up, to use it for an upgraded axe, but I I probably should. All right, we've already gotten enough uh, enough rubber from this island, so that's cool. All right, so let's come up here. Oh, that's right. I thought there'd be copper on the side. No, this is a different island, I guess. It's not really an island, really. It's um, oh whatever. I, I need the rubber more than anything, but copper would be a good thing as well. Okay, we'll see. Maybe I'll attack another island today. X. Okay. Oh boy. That's a lot of stuff, man. Um, there's no way I'm gonna be able to fit everything in my inventory, so let's come over here. And then I think that's end loot, by the way, right there. Let's drop everything in here. At least everything that's not healing. Who knows? Maybe I'll get attacked again. Keep the healing stuff on me. Yeah, that should be fine. So what's down here? Okay, we'll grab some metal. Somebody said if you stop, if you stop scrapping the stuff and then start it again, you could scrap it forever. That's not true though. It only has a certain amount of stuff in it. It's a good idea. I did try it, but yeah, it doesn't work. All right, and. Over here, I don't see anything else underwater. So let's go up and get the end loot. And then I gotta come back with an axe. Ugh. My goodness, I can't believe it. Oh, actually, can I? Of course I can believe it. Oh, metal scrap for days! Damn, that was a lot of scrap. Quick, too. Is this the end loot? I think this is the end loot. No, not the end loot. At least I hope not. Maybe this is the end loot. That's the end loot, I think. Because I got recipes. I'm hitting R to take all, by the way. Yes, and yes. I don't know. If that was the end loot, it was pretty, it was pretty mid end loot. I'm not going to lie. But I got the rubber, and that's really what I came here for. Okay. Let's go get an axe comeback. I ran out of daylight, so I'm going to have to go back there in the daytime and see if there's like still enemies there or whatnot and try and maybe axe some stuff. What I want to do right now is I want to expand the base, though. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do some metal foundations all the way around. The ultimate base is probably going to be something like, um, I don't know, like a four by five or something maybe. And it's definitely going to have a wraparound deck. It has to for defensive purposes. So we're going to go ahead and do a wraparound deck right now. All right. We need some more metal. You get a lot of metal in the game, but man, you go, you go through it quick making a base. Like no joke. All right, so da, 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 build and there we go. So that's wrap around deck. So this is a one, two, three, four, five, six. So a four by five would be seven wide, um, six, seven. Uh, you know, I might make it even bigger than that. I, I, I got to be honest with you guys. The fact that you can't move stuff is absolutely killing me in this game. 
absolutely killing me because I want to make the water purifier and I want to make the um the, st the cooking stations and everything, but I want to put them in a place where I'm not going to have to rebuild them, you know, and uh, that is just very, very difficult. Um, let me see what I need for the water. The water purifier needs to go down right now. All right, so I don't need any scrap metal for that. So we can use all the scrap metal on the base. So am I 100% am I 100% married to the idea of a, a 5x4? I think that'll be pretty good. I think that'll be pretty good. So let's do the 5x4. Build. Yeah. That means it's got to be 7 wide. So what I say? This is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So that's seven wide. And then the other one's got to be, if it's got to be um, four, then that's got to be six wide. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. That should be pretty good. I hope so. I hope so. So let's go ahead and grab some more scrap metal. Cool. And now that we've got the, uh, um, oh, one second. Uh, yeah, there we go. Six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm going to want something in the back that's going to be extra. I'm going to put some extra stuff in the back to have like a little um, backyard type of thing. And I, you know what, guys, to hell with it. I'm just going to use all my scrap metal. I'm just going to use it all. Hopefully I don't need, well, I should probably keep 30 just in case I need more. All right, so the back will be about that big. That looks pretty good. Um, okay, I'll put the water pro. Oh, I, actually, this is gonna be bigger. Okay. Um, let me make a wall first. Let me make a wall, because I wanna know exactly where this stuff is going to be. We'll hold, hold on to 20 metal. So the walls are going to come out to here. So it'll be a one, two, three, four, and then five wide. So this will be another wall. And Actually, this will be a wall here. So this will probably be a window. And this will be a wall. I'm trying to figure out where the windows are going to be because I want the, the purifier in a very specific spot. And I think it's going to be right here. I think this will work. I do want the water purifier outside because you got to fill it with water. And it's just, you know, having it inside doesn't seem to make a lot of whole lot of sense. Oh, I can make a battery charger, by the way. I got to find some copper, though. Okay, so there we go. And we just need the glass and we're good to go. All right, so it's five by four. If I need more room than that, I can always build up. Should be perfectly fine. By the way, I put a chest underneath the workbench, the gun bench, so that's where I keep all my weapons. I love the fact that you can put chests underneath underneath benches. That is just, um, that's really cool. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so let's come on out here and let's put the water purifier, advanced purifier. They gotta make it so you can. I know they're. I know they said they're going to, but man. All right, so it still takes wood. Oh. Oh, it pumps the seawater in. Oh, okay. How much can it hold? It can only hold five. So is it here? We're gonna put in six wood. I'm thinking. Uh, this is what I'm thinking. I I don't want it to keep burning if there's no more room for the for the water. So is the is this thing gonna stop working and the wood will be saved for next time? Or would the wood be used up, you know, um, wastefully, if you get what I'm saying? All right, because this thing can hold 10 seawater. This thing can hold 10 wood. This thing can only hold five five water. So if there's one wood left when this is over and that and that bucket is full, then I could put as much wood in here as I want. If there's no wood left over and there's only five units of water in here, you got to put the proper amount of water if you don't want to waste um, resources. We are under attack again. Okay, I'm curious on what they're going to do. Like, are they going to try and get up here? Are they just going to attack the foundations? Can I attack them from the windows? It looks like I can. Ugh, I hate that. I don't know why it's doing that. Can somebody tell me why it's uh, aiming weird like that? I right, got his ass. Alright. Okay. So I see what's going on here. We just need some defenses. Which we won't get to today, but that's alright. Got him. Got him. So the windows are useful. Actually, the windows are very useful. Um, I'm going to hold off. Hopefully I don't get killed. Okay. I wonder if they're attacking my boats. 
I am one-shotting them as well. Well, when I hit them. Got his ass. Missed. He's right underneath, isn't he? I can't tell. Damn it! I suck! They are not happy. Dude, are you like underneath? Yeah, I definitely need to put some defenses around this place. Alright, you missed. Damn it! Got him. Oh, this guy's only melee, huh? Sucks to be you, bro. Luckily for you, I can't aim. Dude, I feel like that should have hit him. Alright, what the hell's going on here? There we go. You done? Done. Okay. Alright, that, that was pretty cool. Um, I do have to go around and see how much damage they did. But, yeah, I mean, that was, um... Oh, we got some bolts back. That's cool. More bolts. I love it. By the way, this is much easier to defend than my other base. You know, building on land, I don't know. I mean, I guess building on land is okay, but the way my base is built is kind of... It wasn't easily defended. We good? Yeah, we're good. We got some bolts. We got some cloth. I just have to see how much damage was done. Um, does it show the damage? You have to have the hammer. I think you have that the hammer out. Uh, where is my hammer? I have no freaking clue where I put my hammer. We have taken some damage here. Um, I don't think it takes any resources to repair, by the way. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, because this is this stuff was made all of that, that scrap metal, and I don't have any of it on me. Unless I'm just not seeing it. But that's great. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, repair, boy. Did they attack my boat? I saw them buy my boat. Um, uh, well, I'm not sure if they were actually going for it or if they just happened to hit it by mistake. Don't really know. Um, you might have to protect your boats. I'm not really sure. Okay, well, overall, though, that worked out pretty well. Let me go ahead and... Oh, that's right. I can't make the new axe. I want to tell you guys. I can't make the two-handed axe because I... I I screwed all my scrap metal. Um, although, you know, making the base, I think, is definitely worth it. Uh, let's go take a look at the um, water purifier, the advanced water purifier, and see how that's going. Yep, one wood left. Okay. All right, the fact that one wood is left means you could put as much wood in here as you want, and you will not be wasting it, which is a, um important thing to know, in my opinion. So, all right. Well, I do think I'm going to drop everything off and go back and axe that island. If the guys are still there, I might not kill them because I don't know if the stuff I can axe at that island would be worth the fighting I would have to do. M maybe I will. I'm, I'm not really sure, to be honest. But either way, I'm going back to the island and I'm going to chop everything up. So nothing has respawned, which is um, quite interesting. Uh, I'd imagine they're going to respawn at some point, but I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see if this was worth coming back, by the way. Um, right now, it's just all wood. Um, I mean, I guess if they didn't respawn, it's, it just takes two seconds to come out here and chop stuff up for some easy wood, but it's also interesting to know if they're going to respawn. Uh, they didn't respawn the next day. Ooh, scales. Interesting. I need to make a trip to the trader as well. I think we'll do that today. Um, I might get the little scooter thing. All right. Yeah, I think the scooter thing's the next thing I want. Also, I do have to find some copper. I was, I was thinking I'd be able to attack another island today, but... Man, I didn't expect to get attacked twice, you know, once in the beginning of the video and once towards the end at my base. So I can't just leave my base weak and undefended. I also have to get those purifiers and stuff up. Um, you know what? Maybe we'll make the um, the grill thing when we get back. That should be pretty fun. I'm pretty sure next episode I'm going to... Guys, I know I'm all over the place with what I want to do, but that's because there's 50 different things I want to do. And I'm so excited and I just want to do it all. <laughs> and it just takes some time, you know? Um, so I'm always like, oh, I want to do this, and I never get to it, you know? But, well, not never. I will get to it. I'm just going to take some time. That's why I'm putting up two videos a day, you know? All right. That looks about to be it here. Okay, very good. Let's um, let's hit up the trader next. I think when I'm done with this trader, I'm going to do a lot of off-camera grinding, um, and then we're going to continue building the base this episode. I want, I want the outline of the base to be complete. Um, if not, 
the entire outline, but at least the outline of the part that's going to be, I always forget how to stop with this thing every freaking time. Um, yeah, I want, I want the outline of the base, at least the, the, the inner part of the base to be finished. So that's what I'm going to concentrate on today. I'll probably also make the improvised grill. I think it's called improvised. I'm not really sure. Okay. So it says in the bottom right hand, somebody said in the bottom right hand side, there's a value thing. Is that on the can increase? Oh, value right there. Yeah, but that doesn't help because it doesn't say the value of the things I'm trading for. Okay. Get lost. Get lost. Uh, get lost. Get lost. My goodness. Come on, bro. Are you serious? What are the value on these? Oh, I don't think the spike clubs have any value, but it's weird to let me trade them, but they don't have any value. That's kind of weird. Okay. Um, I was told scallops are pretty good. Nope. Well, I didn't put all 20 in. Can I put all 20 in at once? It says I can drag. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, somebody said they like scallops. Okay, so they do like scallops. I need more than that. Fine, we have a deal. Okay, I'm getting this as well. Not enough. Damn, I'm close. Oh my goodness, I'm so close. Damn it. I mean, this thing's not really good without the battery. All right, great stuff. Um, reset. We'll go for this. And yeah, they do like scallops, huh? You could sell the, uh, the clothes as well, which I suggest you do. Get rid of the arrow. Oh, hold on. I need more arrows deal. Okay. So now I need <laughs> to get the battery. So this is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to take some time. I'm going to go down. I'm going to do some grinding in boring areas you've already seen before. And I'm going to get um, mostly scrap. I'm really looking for scrap metal. But I'll also look for stuff to sell as well um, to her so I can get the battery. I'd really like to get the battery. If I don't get the battery this episode, I'll get it next one. And um, we'll see. I'd really like to find some copper. But... Uh, I, I want to find some copper and I want to, I want to explore the police station. So I don't know which one I'm going to do. And you know what? I won't know until I record the next episode. I went just a little bit north of my base or north of my base. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's like north of my base and there's a school up here, which is pretty dope. Now I need to be a little bit smarter with the way I use my oxygen tanks. I use my oxygen tanks on a lot of stuff that was on the outside of the school. Um, you can't get in through those windows. So the school is a big maze and it, you can only get a couple things before you have to come out. So I should have saved my oxygen uh, for the school. So I'm going to have to come back for this thing. I've collected quite a few resources. Um, killed a few sharks. You know, it's a pretty cool place. I'm going to have to come back. I'm about halfway done with it. Let me see what I've got saved up here. All right. So there's all the metal I have. Okay. Along with uh, a couple things I could, I can sell. Will it be enough to get a battery? I don't know. And I did get a little bit of rubber, which is good. So I need, I need rubber in the worst way. Okay, let's get back to base and let's do some more building. Okay, so the footprint is pretty much done. Okay, let me show you what I got going on here. So we have the wraparound porch, like I said, and it's not just for looks. It's actually going to um, uh, serve a purpose in defensive, you know, in a defensive way. Very important. So we got the wraparound porch. On the back, I am going to put an extended porch out here for things like uh, plots, like grow plots and stuff. Um, I did put a door in the back. All right. Also, in the interest of not trying to make this a total square, I did put a little uh, part that sticks out here, and I'm going to use that as my ladder to get to the second floor. And I did put the poles anywhere I could. I put the poles inside the wall because if you don't put them inside the wall for structural integrity, like when you try and put floors down, it's annoying. Then you have to like kind of put the, you know, the poles inside your base, which are in the way. So darn it. This door's a little hard to close. It's a little tricky. But I got the door in the front. I got the door in the back. I feel pretty protected here. Uh, if I could figure out how to close the doors, that'd be... Hey, again, the doors are... They're a little weird. Oh, that's... Oh, weird. It's like the... Oh, so it's the frame part you have to click on, not the actual door itself. Okay. Fair enough. So, as you can see here, I've gotten this down to only two poles, having to be holding this up. Uh, the floor is not going to extend. I'm going to have kind of like... um. I don't know what that's called. Um, a loft up there. Uh, am I going to make a third floor? I don't know. I really don't know. 
Um, everything down here is the same. I move the uh, I move the ladder though over here, so that's the way I get up to the second floor. And my bed is here, uh, not in a good spot, but unfortunately I can't move it just yet. So it is what it is. Everything else down here is about the same, except for this right here, which is the improved grill. Okay, so that's the improved grill. It it supposedly uses less wood, although I don't know if that's actually the case. Um, and it's supposed to cook faster, which it does seem to do. It does cook faster, so that's awesome. And, um, yeah, so I think we're looking pretty good here. I think I'm going to, uh, you know, do some more farming. Um, I had some things. You want to do the police station next episode? I kind of want to get copper. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, like, lie to you guys. I want to get copper. I'm not sure where to get copper. Okay? So there's, there's islands around here. I think I'm just going to choose an island and go after it. And hopefully it'll be an island with copper on it. And we'll just take it from there. All right, but I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here. Please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is kj 4 ray and welcome back to Sunken Land. So I have just been cooking food. Um, here's all the food I've been cooking. This thing says it's supposed to take charcoal. Um, at least I thought it did, but it doesn't take charcoal. Uh, faster cooking, saving wood, more charcoal. Oh, you get more charcoal out of it. Oh, okay. So it doesn't use charcoal. All right. Fair enough. Anyway, I've been having that thing do its thing. I've also um, planted some trees out here. Now, when you harvest these trees, you want to be a little bit careful because if you're if you're not careful, you will like damage the uh, the grow plot. So you kind of want to aim up a little bit. I know it's a little bit hard to see because it's dark, but I hope you get the idea. So you just kind of aim up a little bit, and then that way you don't you don't mistakenly you know destroy your grow plots. So what are we going to be doing? What did I decide I would like to do today? Well, I think we're gonna we're gonna attack some some islands. I really need to get copper. Uh, the 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 police station is a calling. I really want to do the police station, but at the same time, I think we need some uh, I think we need some copper. I'd also like to go back to the trader and see if I can get a battery uh, for this. Um, uh, where did I put it? Where did I put it? There it is. I want to get a battery for the underwater scooter, and this is what I have to sell. I don't think that's gonna be enough. Um, I am selling the uh, the binoculars. I don't really think they're really that worth it, to be honest. So, um, this base is pretty dope. I feel, you know, somewhat protected. I hear that people will bring guns eventually when they raid you. So, I'm a little bit worried about that. But overall, um, I'm pretty happy with the base. I'm thinking about base defense. And I don't know how I'm going to do base defense. Can you put stuff in the water? Because when people come to my base, they don't climb up on this thing. They just attack my foundation. So, I need something that could be in the water at the base of these foundations. Now... Can stuff be down there? I have no idea. Uh, I don't know if we'll get the base defense today, but it's also something on my long list of things I would like to do. I also have to keep a lookout for iron ore because I have cooked up all my iron ore and, you know, I just need to be prepared for that. I think that brings you guys just about at the speed. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sleep. So let's put all this stuff in here. Put that in there. Um, I like this over here. I gotta make a wood box. I still have to do more organizing, by the way. My organization is not great. So let's come up here. Let's go to sleep. Get all our stats back, except for food and drink. There we go. Six o'clock in the morning. And we should be able to get plenty of food. Won't be a problem. Do I just want to bring this whole stack? Yeah, sure, why not? Does it give a lot of hit points? What, what in here gives a lot of hit points when cooked? That's what I need to say. So that's ten. This is, um, nothing. Uh, this stuff, that's the stuff I want to bring. Stuff that brings me more hit points. I also have to bring healing items. Uh, am I going to bring all my healing items? Eh, sure, why not? I think this is going to get pretty nasty. I did. I do have my pistol. I don't have my pistol on me at all times. Uh, but, you know, sometimes I, I think it's a good idea to bring the pistol. I don't know why I have this pudding down here. I'll eat that later. Let's put that in there. Let's go outside and get something to drink. All right. There we go. I love this thing. By the way, I could have put this inside uh, because it has a, you know, a little pipe that goes all the way down to the water to get you water. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm kind of glad I put it outside. It's pretty dope. Okay. Let's hop in our uh, boat. And I thought I saw something out here attacking. Um, all right. So this is stuff to sell. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm supposed to bring stuff to sell. Um, we're not going to bring stuff to sell. No. Nah. No, no, no. We're not going to bring these oxygen tanks either. Yeah, we're not going to bring stuff to sell because I'm not coming out here to sell. I, if I do, you know, make my way onto this island, I'm going to need a lot of room for looting stuff. So 
Um, let's just go ahead and put these up here and let's put these in here and the rest of this stuff is good to go. All right, now we should be good to go. So let's come on out here and let me start my timer. I don't know why I didn't start my timer, but that was stupid. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, I do have a timer. Um, so do we want to take a look at skull, iron skull base? Nah, I think I'm going to try radio island. It sounds a little bit more, um, doable maybe. All right, so we need to come around this way. All right, and Radio Island is straight ahead. Is it that one? Okay, if it's that one, that's the one I, that's the one I planned on trying. Although I think that's a Marauder Island. I think the mutants are easier than Marauders, at least in my experience, that has been the case. So I'm a little nervous about this, but we'll see what's what. By the way, if you follow the wind, it'll make you go faster. That's the way sailboats work. Sailboats don't always have their sails pointing directly forward. Sometimes they point to the right or the left, and it like, it like pushes the boat along. It's pretty cool. All right. And let's come right up here. Point this way. And let's see if we can see if we can hit these guys from here. I think we're going to have to go in, but we'll see. All right, I'll try one or two shots and then got him. This thing has hella range. Got him. Yeah, I think these guys take more hits than the mutants, too. Damn it, stop moving. No! What? Oh, come on. I don't mind my base being under attack, but not right now. Oh, what a pain. What a pain. The most inopportune time. Unbelievable. I need to put more ladders around my base as well, because if I come in from behind, like I am right now, I won't be able to get up onto my base. That really annoys me, actually. Like, why do you gotta attack my base right now, you douchebags? Oh, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, so where is the front? See, yeah, I need to put ladders all over the place. I'm not even sure where the front of my base is. I guess I could just pull right upside, right upside to it and just jump on. I don't have to be at the ladder. Dude, they got, they're bringing guns. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, this is what I was worried about. All right, so we're just gonna go right up here and boom. And jump and get inside. Okay, so let's see what we can do from in here. All right, cool, got him. Missed that one. Got him there. Let's get up top. Maybe we'll have a better advantage point from up here. Or vantage point, not a vantage point. Yep, this is definitely a way better spot to be. Ow. Okay. He's dead. Okay. By the way, I would prefer a toggle on the aiming. Toggling, I like toggling on aiming more than having to hold down the button. He's dead. Man, these guys are way out there, dude. They're using my own strats against me. Damn it. Got him. Got him. Got him. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. You guys better drop some ammo and some broken guns or something, man. I hate it when, when when enemies come at me with guns and then I kill them and the guns aren't there. It's like, what happened to the guns? Would they just disappear? How is he not dead yet? Dead now. Oh, there's a guy closer. I didn't even see him. All right, I'm not going to worry about him. Yeah, sucker. Are you dead? Man, I've hit him a few times. What the hell? Damn it. He dead? All right, he's dead. And this guy's next. And last. Come on, you gotta come out. 
Damn it. Right, I can get down for this guy. Oh, what a pain in the ass. Alright. Cool. Is everybody? Alright. You better have some guns, man. Like, I know he wouldn't have any because he was he was shooting bolts, but a lot of these guys are shooting guns. Alright, well at least I got some ammo. Yeah, this isn't worth it. The the loot you're getting off them is not worth I mean, I don't know. I, it didn't take much to kill him, I guess. Except my time. My precious, precious time. And I think that was all of them. All right, well, there you go, guys. Um, let me reorganize and get back out, and now let's attack the bandit base proper. Freaking marauders. Punk-ass marauders. One good thing is this base is legit. I just don't know how base defense is going to work, though. Like, the whole group was just sitting back shooting, so all that barbed wire and walls and stuff ain't useful for nothing, right? Or am I just missing something? I don't know. All right, let's see what we got here. Why does it say I only have 24 crossbow bolts? That's weird. Damn it. All right. Let's see what we got here. I think this is copper here, by the way. Pretty sure that's copper. Ow. That hurts. That hurts. Okay. Oh, get up. Here we go. Oh, is he not coming? I need some grenades or something. Hmm. They're not coming out, huh? Oh, I see them running around over there. I don't know if they're coming over here. I will wait a little bit for my hit points to come back, so... Alright, that's enough. Okay, I see him. See, I think from range, the crossbow's better. When I say range, I mean far range. Do these jackasses ever run out of ammo, or...? Shit, I can't hit this guy. Oh, come on. There you go. All right, you got it back. He's like just strafing around, man. It makes it so hard to hit him. Thank God he's not running in on me because he's obviously melee. All right, maybe we can get up on this rock. Yeah, here we go. Much better. I gotta get the guy with the gun. Damn it. I need a sniper rifle is what I need. That guy's got a big ass club. That guy with the melee weapon. Come on. See, I don't think the pistol's that good for me here. This thing does more damage. And yeah, the pistol like reloads faster, but that's not really a problem out here. I need high impact. Like to kill that guy. I have a feeling he's healing. I don't think he is, but he could be. He's dead, so it doesn't matter. Go. Oh, he's got to be almost dead too. Is he down? I think he's down. Okay. Dude, the Marauders are no joke. Okay, I see more of them. Okay, here we go. 
right here. So one over here. I don't like this. See, the thing is I can always bail out into the water if I need to. Yeah, I think staying on the outside is the best way to go. So that way you can bail out into the ocean if things go south. There's definitely a guy to the left of me. But he doesn't seem to be too aggressive. Right, he's down. Damn it. Come on, shoot straight. You don't have unlimited ammo, bro. Although I do have a lot. Doesn't mean what I'll be missing all the time. These guys look like the juggernaut from over here, doesn't he? With his little helmet. Okay, so there's a guy over here. I'm worried he's got a gun. So I'm going to stay on the outside. I don't know why these guys aren't coming at me, but I'm glad they're not. That guy's got a gun. All right, crossbow. Okay, I'll take a crossbow. Damn. These guys are really good at getting into cover, man. I appreciate that. This is the best AI I've fought in a long time. It does have God aim. It misses when it's supposed to, you know. And um, it does go into cover, which is smart. He's got to be almost dead. Is there a guy up there? I don't think there is. They do take a lot of shots. Uh, let's go ahead and... Nope, it's in here, isn't it? Yep, there we go. Okay. Definitely someone else over there. Just don't know where they went. I'm gonna go ahead and eat something. Crap, I don't need drink with me. Damn it. There's definitely another guy, right? Hmm, I don't like this. Is there not another guy? Maybe there's not. All right. I just don't want to get wasted. What? Dude, I've really... Ugh. Getting stressed here. I don't know. I don't, I don't see anybody, so I'm going to hope that they're all dead. Try and look for some bodies. Oh, potatoes. All right, scavenge. Beautiful. I'm a little bit worried about my thirst. Beautiful. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. I, I should probably just start getting the copper right now, right? In case something goes wrong. That's what I'm here for. Oh, iron, huh? Dude, there's got to be copper on here. I still feel like I'm hearing stuff. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not walking past this. I'll tell you that right now. Hell yeah, bro. That. So is this copper? I'm almost positive this is copper. And we have found copper. Beautiful. Love it. All right. And more copper. I need copper for two things. I need copper for the battery uh, recharge thing. And I need copper for the upgrade for the workbench. Now, here's the thing, though. How do I get batteries out of things? Because my ore detector, like, is, like, I can't get the battery out. I'm not sure. 
Do you have to like use up all the juice before the battery will come out? I hope not. That wouldn't be cool. That's what this is what I'm looking for. Come on, give me something good. Wow, nothing good. Um, no, actually, literally nothing good. I don't even well, I mean, that's, that's not true. First of all, I don't have gloves. Oh, wait, yeah, I did. Okay. I mean, I would say it is good stuff. I could sell it. So, no, I take it back. You know what? I take it back. I sound like an ingrate. No, nah, that was some good stuff because I can sell it. Absolutely good stuff. And I do need to be able to sell stuff, you know, because, um, oh, there's more tires down there. I need, I need to sell stuff because I need to buy more batteries. All right. Let's just put all of this stuff in here. No, hold that. And nope, always keep the axe on you. That's a mistake I made last time. Okay, that's this all looking good. And let's continue looting and looking for ore. I will put this right here. I don't know what we need leather for. I haven't needed leather for anything yet. But I'm assuming we're going to need it for something someday. Even if not right now, maybe in a future update. Is there something up there? Is this iron? No, copper. Good. So it's one copper per ingot, right? So I think the um I think I need five to upgrade the bench. And then I'm going to need um uh two, I think, for the for the battery recharge station. Beautiful. This has been a really, really good island to say the least. That's right. I need more scrap. I mean, my base ain't done yet. You know? All right. So we come to here and we look at this. And we loot this. How's my inventory looking? Mm, starting to get a little low there. I'm actually getting a lot of cloth, by the way, guys. Cloth right now is not an issue, which I never thought I was going to say that. But is there something I could loot up there? Oh, wait, what the hell? Um, How do I get to that? Maybe go up this? Make that jump? I don't know. Maybe. I'll try it again later. Potatoes. More iron. It's getting a little dark here. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna attempt that jump a few more times. While I still have the daylight. Let me come up in here. Wait, where's that stuff that I couldn't loot all of it? I don't remember. Damn it, there's just so much to get. Ugh. Moccasins, huh? Dude, I don't want to throw any of this stuff away. Um, I guess the charcoal can go. I do have, like, a ton of charcoal. And as far as I know, it's only used for making gunpowder. Which is cool. I mean, I need the, I need the charcoal. I mean, gunpowder is going to be important. But I've got so much of it. What the heck? Was this like multiple rocks inside of each other or something? Am I going to have room for this? No. All right, I really have to make some decisions here. Uh, strawberry seeds. And wood. Oh my goodness. I still can't carry anything. And my, um, my thing's full. All right. Uh, this is the one I, I couldn't loot everything. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back and get all this stuff, uh, but I'm going to do it off camera because it's going to be dark. I do want to try and make this jump to see if I can get up here. There's a lot of stuff I still want here. I'm going to have to make some decisions. I guess I could always come back. Do you think they'll re-respawn? Probably not. I mean, the, the mutants weren't respawned. There we go. Ooh, gas mask. Okay. I don't know if you actually need that for anything, but maybe. Oh, I love it. Go home, drop stuff off, come back. Nobody's here. This is beautiful. 
This is beautiful. Now I gotta try and make this jump again. Well, now that I know how it's done, it should be a little bit easier, but you know, I don't have to make it into the top window. I just have to jump and be lined up with the with that window right there, of course. Uh mash on my keyboard like a freaking ape, and I couldn't get it done. Okay, let's try one more time and I'll do it off camera if I can't do it here. A little weird up here, by the way. All right, there we go. And beautiful. Awesome. So I wonder what the uh, gas mask is for. Because I would imagine it's for something interesting. Because this is a hard spot to get to. But I don't know. I don't know. It looks freaking cool. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to wear it because it looks dope. And there's nothing else up there. So that's cool. Come down here. I got all that. Um, grab some more potatoes. I will leave no tire behind unless I don't notice it. <laughs> I will leave no tire behind on purpose. How about that? All right, so I saw something over here. Yeah, this thing. It's got some good stuff on it, right? It looks like it's being hidden. This is where they hid all their good loot, right? Uh, yeah, not so much. The The end loot on both the mutant bases, and I don't think there was on the first mutant base, but... Um, I've I've taken out three bases so far, and the end loot on every single one of them has been pretty mid. Pretty mid. So, that's a little bit of a downside, but that's okay. Very small thing. Very small thing. It's not a big deal. Balanced stuff will get ironed out. All right, so I took everything in there. I'm coming around here. Oh, interesting. Can't get in there. Maybe that's where their good loot is. <laughs> Somewhere I can't get to it. that out and take that and I'm gonna take all their take all their stupid seats so if they do respawn they won't have anywhere to sit that'll teach them that'll teach them I think we're gonna go to the um to the trader next episode by the way I didn't expect this Marauder Island to be this crazy this is a lot of fun though man I've already started cooking up the copper so next episode I'm thinking get a battery be able to maybe maybe we'll do the police station next episode we'll see because if I, if I can get a battery for that little zippity doodah thing that I got, that could be pretty cool. And over here. Grab this. I feel like your stamina comes back pretty slow in this game. Pretty slow. All right. I will have to go in the water and see if there's... Oh, this is where you get a lot of metal from. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I think I got like 20 metal out of that. Possibly. All right, so nothing more down here. Is there anything up there? There might be something up there. I should go see. Uh, no, nothing up there. Beautiful. If I missed anything on this island, do not hesitate to let me know. If I think it's worth coming back, I'll come back for it. All right. The turtles are glad these guys are gone. They're like, these freaking marauders. We like you, Cage. You don't eat us. I bet you the marauders are eating them. All right. And what are we going to get from this? Yeah, rubber and components. I've actually I've actually like kind of run out of components. Well, not run out. I got close to running out of components, which was kind of scary. Also, gasoline will be um, important because there is a schematic, which I'm kind of surprised I haven't got yet. It seems like everyone gets it, but I didn't. Um, but there's a schematic for a um, a powered motorboat, and you obviously need gas for that. Honestly, I don't really care if I get it or not. I mean, it's fast, but the, my boat's pretty fast too, and I don't have to worry about gas. But if I get it, it'll be cool. I'll make it. And I think I do declare that we might be just about done here. Ah, garbage. You trash. Where's my boat? All right. Drop everything in here that I can. There we go. And let's go finish this up. <clears throat> Was I taking apart? Oh, yeah, right here. Okay. And we got, oh, nice, nice vehicle. It's a dope looking car. I'm not a car guy, but I do like good looking cars. All right, that looks like to be just about it. I am going to call this one here, and if I find anything else on this island, I'll do a, you know, exclusive, uh, you know, bonus commentary for the super fans. If not, I'll see you next time. So thank you very much for watching. Actually, that's not how the update goes, Cage. 
If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like, that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48 and welcome back to Sunken Land. So I was doing a lot of off-camera work and something interesting happened while I was doing my off-camera work. I did get a recording of it and I'm going to splice it into the video right here. Well, 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 it's a day that ends in Y, so it's time for another base attack for me to defend against. All right, let's see what we can do here. I don't have a ton of bolts on me, but I will do the best I can. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. I don't know where they're going. Are they going around front? Yeah, it looks like they're going around front. You guys gonna try and actually, you guys gonna actually try and come in this time? I don't like you guys shooting at me. I don't appreciate it. Not one bit. You guys are not nice neighbors. You're not, you're not good neighbors. Damn it. All right, we gotta look over here. Ow. Owie, owie, owie. Owie, owie, owie. You made me bleed my own blood. Yeah, where'd this other jackass go? Damn it! Thought he was gonna keep swimming. I was trying to go in front of him. Ah! Is he dead? I think he's dead. Where's the other one coming from? Oh, there's one over there. Okay, hold on. Got his ass. Right, go over here. We're gonna need to do a lot of repairing after this. There you are. Oh, gotcha. Anybody else? Anybody else want a piece of this? I think there's somebody else out there. I think I hear people out there. Yeah, I definitely heard someone, but I think they're melee. How are they? Over here? There you are. You little bugger. What'd you get? That's what you get. Give me all your sweet, sweet cloth. Alright, food. Some of you guys better have some freaking ammo. It'd be funny if uh, having all these dead bodies would like attract sharks. I guess maybe it wouldn't be funny. It would kind of suck, but... <laughs> It'd be interesting. All right, another successful base defense. There we go, and is that it? I think that's it. All right, I think I got just about everybody. You know, I'm not going to lie, this base is pretty strong on the defensive end, at least so far. I mean, maybe if they come at me with, like, better guns or, like, maybe some kind of explosives, I could be in trouble. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this place is pretty nicely defended. Here's the problem, though. If they're just going to shoot at me with guns from so far away, I don't see the point in any kind of base defense. Like, I mean, barely anyone came up and melee, if anyone. And the melee doesn't do that much. It's not like they use the ladder to come up on the base. I don't really see the base defense as useful. Um, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it'll change later. I don't know, but that's kind of how I'm seeing it at the moment. So let me bring you up to speed of what I was doing off camera. I've been doing a lot of clearing of like everyday kind of boring, you know, places you've already seen. Maybe not boring. I don't think anything in this game is boring, but stuff you haven't seen. I did go back to the mutant settlement and cleared that. Uh, the radio island is 97%. I think the radio island was the one I was trying to get to 100%. Uh, let me take a look at these percent. No, unknown ruins. I was trying to get unknown ruins, so 100%. I could not find the last thing. <laughs> which is kind of annoying, but, um, yeah, radio tower is 97%. I did the old school. I did some apartments, you know, whatever. I think we're going to do the police station today, but we're going to wait until morning. Uh, but before I do that, I do want to show you the stuff, some of the stuff I made off camera. So I did spec into and make the armor workshop, which you need to get armor drops. I love the idea of getting broken armor and broken guns and having to craft a weapon. Uh, you know, the whole idea of, of, of fighting a bandit who's shooting at you. And I mentioned this last episode or maybe, I don't remember when I might have mentioned. I mentioned it somewhat recently, though. The idea of fighting someone who's shooting at me and then not getting a gun really, really pisses me off. Like, oh, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. What's up, bro? 
All right, uh, put put that thought on hold. Well, I guess I don't have to put it on hold. I guess I can just talk about it. So the idea of these guys having guns and then not dropping the guns when I kill them really pisses me off. And I think the idea is that developers don't want it to be overpowered. They don't want you to get, like, all the best guns, like, right away. Fair enough. I think the idea of getting broken guns is a really nice trade-off. Um, I know Mist Survival does it that way, and I think it's a really good way to do things. So, just another thing I love about this game. All right, so they're just all staying out there. I'm not sure what they're doing. Like, yeah, like, how how are base defense is going to help me in any way here? Like, is putting up a spiked wall really going to do anything at this point? <laughs> I mean, they're playing smart. They're like, I love the AI in this game. It's really, really smart AI. This is exactly, I mean, this is what I do. When I attack their bases, I stay away and I shoot at them. I mean, it just makes sense, right? But that makes the base defenses that you have in this game completely pointless. Because all the base defenses I've seen are all like static, you know, spikes or put up a uh, barbed wire and stuff. I mean, it looks cool, but it's not really going to be effective against these guys. That guy's way out there, man. He must have a sniper rifle or something. Um, so yeah, I mean the base defenses are gonna be kind of pointless. Maybe maybe they'll put more melee people in. I don't know. They don't even they don't even use my ladders though, so they don't climb up on the base. So if they're not gonna use my ladders to climb up on the base, I don't see what the point of having any kind of beast if you're in the water anyway. Maybe if you build on land it would be different. Alright, so these guys do sound like they're close. So we're gonna come out here. And see what we got. Alright, so these guys are melee. I guess this would help here. Okay. Alright, I guess it would help here. Alright, fair enough. Damn, there's like a lot of guys down there. Alright, hold on. Let's, let's pull them away. Go. By the way, I gotta make the anvil. There's a lot of things I need to talk to you guys about today. This has all been base attacks and not much of me talking about stuff. Come on, you jerk. There you go. Now, I do not have a lot of stamina. And the reason I don't have a lot of stamina is because what I like to do is I like to wait until nighttime. And then when I sleep, I'm going to lose all my hunger and thirst anyway. So I don't, I don't I'm not going to eat and drink just to sleep and then have it all go away anyway. All right, jerk. How dare you, sir? Damn, die already, bro. All right, cool. All right. I mean, I guess bolts count. These guys didn't have guns anyway. All right, so they're giving me a lot of um, black powder ammo or whatever, and that's not in the guns I'm using. That's more like, that's not so much, um, what, what would I call it, modern guns. That's more old school guns. I think I can make a gun that would do a lot of damage that I could probably replace my crossbow with. Um, I didn't make it because I, I figured I wouldn't be making the ammo because it's a kind of expensive, I guess, or, you know, I don't even have the ability to make it, I don't think, yet, but... Um, yeah, there's this, uh, black, black powder ammo, and I think I might make the gun for that now, because it might actually help. Alright, so now that we got that taken care of, let's, we we'll definitely have to drink something. Alright, that's fine. Hopefully I won't have to eat. Let's go ahead and grab our hammer. Um, I don't know where my hammer is. I've got to organize. How is my, how do I not know where my hammer is? Alright, whatever. Whatever. Let's just come out here and grab something to drink. And then I'm going to go find my hammer. And then once I find my hammer, we're going to go ahead and look and see what we, um, what we, what we have to repair. Got my trusty hammer and let's see Now They were hammering these things, no pun intended, pretty good, but these things are pretty solid against their melee attacks. I'm assuming their melee attacks will get tougher though. So that one's good. That one's good. Those are the main ones that were getting, that were getting beat up. I'll, I'll do the rest of the repairs off camera. Let me show you what I've been trying to show you. Okay. So. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I love the way that like you get stuff that's broken. Broken ammo, broke not broken ammo, broken armor and broken guns, and then you use those to make the items. I think it's fantastic. I think that's absolutely fantastic. I love it. So this is the armor, um, the armor crafting stuff. All right. Pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. And I also made a stove and I was looking at some cooking. I, I think the stove's not very useful. Um, I don't think. Hold on. There we go. Now, I don't know where to get cabbages. If I can figure out where to get cabbages and grow cabbages, maybe that would be useful. Uh, the seafood platter is pretty good, though. Crab meat, large fish, and scallops, that's not a problem. It also says increases maximum, and I don't know what that increases. Now, if I can get some uh, fish caught, um, I don't know. Can you can you catch the red snapper with the uh, fish nets? If I can catch a red snapper with the fish nets, that might be good. No, it's not. Actually, this is pointless. I'm going to tell you why. 
to make a bottle, you need quite a bit of um quite a bit of glass to make a bottle. You need six glass to make a bottle. I've only ever had twenty six. My entire time playing this game, I've only gotten twenty six glass. If there's a, if there's a better way to get glass. Maybe that would be worth it, but overall, though, I don't think that's any. I don't think that's worth it. And by the way, when you use the bottle of water, you don't get the bottle back. We should get the bottle back to make this useful. All right. The same thing with the mushroom bird soup. I made this stuff. Did not get the bottle back. Um, I didn't make this one, but if you don't get the bottle back here, you're probably not going to get it back here. So anything that takes water, I think, is kind of pointless. Um, alcohol might be good for Maltovs, though, so that might not be totally pointless. But the rest of the stuff. Yeah, this I don't think this is worth it because you just don't get the bottle back and glass is not that abundant. But I did go ahead and get a bunch of scallops and I also got a bunch of crabs. I mean, getting crabs is kind of annoying too. Oh god, that sounded that didn't sound right. Um, all right, well I said it. Getting crabs is kind of annoying too. Uh, so I really don't love I don't love getting crabs, guys. I'm just gonna put all right. Come on, this is a family show. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm just gonna say it without laughing if I if I can. I'm gonna try really hard. <laughs> uh, getting crabs is kind of annoying, but if you can do it, then you can make this uh, dope food. And I don't know what it does for you. So we're just going to go right here and go ahead and craft that up. All right, what else did I make? Oh, yeah, I made the um, I made the battery charger thingy. I don't know why. You can't charge anything without a generator. At least that's what I'm assuming. Okay. Also, I couldn't figure out how to get the battery out of the, um, out of the ore detector. Here's the thing. This is what I'm being told in Discord, so take this with a grain of salt. I have not tested any of this. We will be testing it this episode, though, probably. All right, so any batteries bought at the trader are bugged, and once they're used up, they can't be recharged. But the batteries that you do make yourself can be recharged. And when it's time to recharge them, what you'll do is you'll drag this, and you see where that little, like, dumpster thing is? There should be a thing right here to take the battery out. That's what I've been told. We'll see. We're ready to rock and roll. Let me go ahead and just get some drink really quick. Top that off. And I did craft myself a battery. Check it out. You put the battery in there. And then just like they said, remove the battery. So I'm still going to need a generator though. Um, in order to make a generator, I'm going to need a lot of electrical parts. And I just used up all the rest of my electrical parts. So I'm probably going to need three for the generator and at least three to build the generator. Um, to you know, I got to research it and build it. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a problem. It's not it's not really easy to get electrical parts, but whatever. That's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and we're gonna leave this here. Oh, by the way, when I was um doing some grinding work, I did get a broken tactical vest, so that's pretty cool. Alrighty, let's go check out that uh, let's go check out that police station. That should be uh pretty cool, right? And it is really close, so let's go ahead and do this, and then make a left. And then we are almost heading right towards it. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. Ah, this game. This game is dope. Dope, dope, dope. I love it. I'm really interested in seeing this police station. Um, I probably should have made another oxygen container, but you know, we'll see. Um, I was told you're gonna want oxygen containers and speed to uh, you know, look around the police station. So I'm not sure how deep it is, but it's probably pretty deep. Probably pretty deep and I need to keep a lookout for the electrical stuff. I know where to get the electrical stuff at least some of it um, I just got to remember to show you and if the trader has any I'm probably gonna buy it by them as a matter of fact I think the trader does that we should check the trader out today, too This game's starting to become one of those I've got a million things I want to do and not enough time to do it all type of games, which is a uh, that's a good sign That is a good sign. Oh my goodness Is that the police station? I, I mean it have to be right. It doesn't look like a police station. It looks like a like a compound, like 50 sharks around it. By the way, you can shoot sharks underwater as long as you don't have... There's no, like, bullet stopping or, you know, any kind of, like, bullet slowdown. It doesn't look like you're hitting them, but you are. I was actually hunting sharks earlier. And I would just keep shooting them. And it didn't... It doesn't give you that thing where it sounds like you hit them. But eventually, they would just start dying. Because I was hitting them and the game just wasn't telling me. Which is a little weird, to say the least. But if as long as your thing lets you shoot, you should be able to shoot. And I'm going to have to clear out the sharks before I go down there. There's no two ways about it. Um, I'll go melee some of them if I have to. I mean, this is going to be slow and boring. But, um, yeah, they got to they gotta go. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stem. I don't have time for this. Uh. Uh. Back up. Okay. 
little scary, but I didn't take that much damage. It's definitely quicker. So let's go do it again. I think you want to be, like, um, aggressive with them. You don't want to, like, shy away. Okay. I definitely seem to have more uh, luck when... Yeah, see, these guys were definitely getting hit with those bolts. Absolutely. There's no doubt about it. Okay. Oh, man, I'm bleeding crap. That made it not worth it. Um, I, I guess the bandages aren't really much of a problem anymore, but still, I prefer not to bleed. Yep, there you go. All right, well, at least we got a lot of food from it. Yeah, the bleeding sucks, dude. <laughs> like, cloth is cloth is not an infinite resource, you know? It's going to eventually all be gone at some point. All right, here we go. Uh, you have to hold down the button for this thing to go, by the way. All right, I'm just going to kind of look around for a bit. Oh, here we go. Got some tires. Oops, hit the wrong button. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. I'm not even going to look at stuff. I'm just going to loot it. I need a light. I know I can make a light, but it takes it takes precious uh, materials that I don't have. Come on. Come on. Man, I'm almost I'm almost full already. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to when I go home to refill my um my oxygen tanks. I'm going to make uh, probably one more, depending on what they take. Because I, I like I, the thing. The reason I wasn't making oxygen tanks was because they take, um, they take rubber, and I seem to have a decent amount of rubber now. So get back down there and get some more dope loot. By the way, um, I was kind of trailing off and losing my train of thought there. Usually when that happens, it's because one of my cats just jumped up on my desk and it distracts the hell out of me. <laughs> Not always, but usually. So that's a lot of fun. I love my cats. There we go, and okay, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Oh, I can still get this. All right, very good. Go back to this. No, actually, go back to this. Why can't I get in there? All right, it's kind of weird. Oh, hold on. Here's the dope loot. Here's the dope loot. Oh yeah. Again, we'll look at that stuff when we get back upstairs. Yeah. I like I like the I like it when they um when the chests disappear. So I don't like be like, oh did I miss that one or whatever. You know, just making sure. Okay. And we're almost full, so I won't even bother. Well, I I could take a couple things, why not? And you, my friend, go right there, and you go right there. All right, take that, that, and that. And let's get back up, uh, drop all this stuff off and see what else we can find. I have room for three more things, which on one hand is kind of annoying that I have to go back so early, but then on the other hand, I honestly don't mind too much. And the reason I don't mind too much is because this will be my last oxygen tank anyway, so it kind of works out. Um, yeah, we're going to take this for sure. I will never leave rubber behind unless I don't notice it. I won't leave rubber behind on purpose. Man, it's really annoying I can't get in that room, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. Hold on. Cool. Got it through the wall. But still, there's something in there I could get, uh, cloth. There we go. I mean, I have a lot of cloth, but you, you, it's not like you can have too much cloth, you know? Alright, that was everything. Good. That worked out well. Alright, and we are now full, heading back to base. We are back with a clean inventory and refilled oxygen. And let's see what else we can get down here. I'm definitely going to go for what's in the building first. And then we'll get the stuff on the outside of the building afterwards. Problem is I don't remember where I've been and where I haven't, so I just got to go everywhere. Okay. Come to Papa. That's right. I was going to make more, um more oxygen tanks. I, I, I decided not to. I'll make them during the night. I wanted to, you know, oh, jet stream. Holy moly. Okay. Okay. That seems dope. I like that. See how good that is. And we're just going to continue cutting stuff down. So yeah, um, I want to like be out here looting during the day. If I'm going to be doing something, I want to do it during the night. 
it just makes more sense um, I've also taken to making barrels as storage. I didn't want to make people are like cage Why aren't you using barrels as storage at first? I didn't want to use barrels as storage because I was saving up the metal to build my base now My base is looking pretty good. I don't mind using some and I know there's a lot of metal out there But the thing is wood is an infinite resource. I think I'm pretty sure trees grow back and you can and you can get um the uh, seeds to plant more trees so you know to be fair uh, Wood is an infinite resource? Uh, metal is not I know there's a lot of it out there probably never loot at all, but it's not an infinite resource So, you know, that was my thinking but you know um, now that I've got my base somewhat built and it's looking pretty good I think I am gonna start uh, Using metal to make barrels for storage Okay Not seeing anything else up here that may be it for this building As far as I can tell Yeah, I don't know I think that's it for this building. Maybe. If I go in there, yeah, that's where I was. Oh, you can get in through the window. It's weird. Some windows you can go in and some you can't. What's up with that? I don't know what the deal is with that. <laughs> you know? Okay, so is it, okay, so it is two buildings. So we'll come over here next. And this is the one I was in before. I'm pretty sure I at least almost cleared this out. Uh, almost. And let's go ahead and grab this, and then I'm gonna have to go up. Ooh, old telephone. And then I'm gonna have to go up and drop some stuff off. But this building is now complete. So as far as I can tell down here, both buildings are done. I think there's only two buildings and they should be done, so now we just get the stuff on the outside. And we are at 55% looted. I'd like to get that to 100 today if it's possible. We'll just kinda have to see. I don't know, because I... Oh, here's the... Yeah, this is the stuff where you get electrical parts. Electronic parts. You got you look for these poles, and then at the bottom of the poles are those green things. Let's see if there's one over here. Yep, there's one right there. And I have been missing these. So, mistake. that's a big mistake by me. I might not finish this this area today. I'm not really sure. Because the thing is, um, I want to also... Uh, I want to make the generator today. Because I want to be able to start repair... Uh, refilling this battery recharge the battery. I'm using right now If I can't recharge this battery, it's it's a lot less useful to me All right, how are we looking got to be almost full yeah, we're getting there And honestly, I don't think there's anything crazy down here at this point I think you saw the all the best stuff so I could always do it off-camera. I thought I saw an or oh, that's right scallops All right, we'll take some scallops uh, Almost full Oh, and a boar piece. Okay. I will take that. Gonna need copper, that's for damn sure. Copper. No. And I'm just trying to fill up before I gotta go back up top. Oh, that's definitely gonna fill up. That's gonna fill me up. Cool. All right, yeah, I think we're done here. I'll come back and get the rest of the stuff off camera. Tell you what, I'll come back off camera if it's like something, if it's just mundane stuff like I think it's gonna be, I'll loot it off camera. If I see something crazy, I'll record it. But it is 70% finished. Wanna guys show you guys something dope. Um, so check out my speed right now. 75, 76, by the way, if you pause the game, it like boosts your speed or something, I'm not really sure why. But a better way to boost your speed is to look down and press P. I guess 300 kilometers an hour. Love it. I probably went by the police station. <laughs> I don't know at any point you would need 300 miles. Well, I don't need 300 miles an hour right now, but I guess later on I might. All right, hold on, there we go. All right, so I know I said I wasn't gonna come back out and continue looting. I wanted to make the generator. I don't have enough resources to make the generator. So it is what it is. I'm going to be looking out for electronical parts, or electronic parts. I think I need, I need at least six, I'm pretty sure. If not more, we'll just kind of have to see what we can see here. All right, nothing there. I don't see anything. I'm looking for specifically electronic parts right now. All right, so nothing there. Nothing over there. I don't see anything in here that's got electronic parts. It looks like I've cleared them all out, which means I'm gonna have to go back to some of the places I've already been for electronic parts, which is gonna suck. And it's really gonna suck. And um, I will do it off camera. You guys have seen where I get them from. Uh, so it's not really that big of a deal. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get, uh, I'm going to hit this police car. 
and maybe one or two other things down here. I probably won't complete this today just because I want to get out there and start getting electronic parts. Um, and we're going to play a drinking game. Take a shot every time I say electronic parts. No, please don't do that. I don't want to be responsible for anyone getting alcohol poisoning. Uh, so don't do that. That would be great. <laughs> and we'll see. I mean, oh, you know, I should probably go to the trader after this. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to clear out whatever I, whatever I think looks the most interesting here. And I think that's just about everything. Uh, the rest of the stuff is just kind of mundane crap. So that's awesome. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to collect everything. We're going to go to Trader. I'm not sure if she sells them, the electronic parts. I think she does. So I don't see anything else here that's like super crazy to loot. So let me gather everything I can. Let's head up to Trader. I wonder how often the Trader restocks because she does have what I'm looking for. Two, three, four. And we do have one diamond ring. Get lost. Two diamond rings. Great stuff. Okay, so that's I'm not going to go with that. Uh, let's go with the wine. No deal. The money. No deal. Magazine. Not enough. Not enough. I'm trying to, like, not give her too much, you know? I need more than that. Um, is there anything else here that looks like it's super duper good in money? I don't see anything. So we're going to have to go with clothes and hope that'll be enough. More. Fine, we have a deal. Cool. Now, what do I need chemical substances for? Do I need these? Or, ooh, should I trade for health items? Hmm. I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Although, reinforced structures. Man, I'm not gonna have enough iron to do that, though. You know what? I think we're looking pretty good right here. We've got our four electric, electric components. That puts us up to eight. That should be enough to make the generator. Honestly, if I could just repower my batteries or recharge my batteries at this point, I would be very happy. By the way, remember I was saying, like, if I don't know what the point of looking down and pressing P is because... I never really go that far. Well, I'm going that far now. So let's point here and watch this. So here's where we are. And this is where we're going. By the way, if you go too fast, your boat starts like... The front of your boat starts kicking up and like I'm afraid it's going to flip. So let's just do that. And let's see where we are now. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. How long before they take it? You know, it's funny. I was in Discord the other day, like maybe like last week. And they were talking about some kind of boat exploit and i was like i was looking at them and they, they like they said oh let's not talk about it because they don't want people using it so but uh, hey man i gotta show my peeps the boat exploit if you want to use it use it if you don't don't ain't nobody uh you know don't really matter you know so um it's your choice guys you want to use it go right ahead so we'll put all that stuff away and we need to unlock the generator Okay, so we need um, iron and components. So plenty of that. Iron and components. I have gotten organized, by the way. Um, this is my, like, mats materials. Oh, that's not supposed to be in there. This is, like, my um, crafting materials chest. This is a this is just a, um, a drop chest right now. That That's actually, that's not supposed to be in there. Right here is my metal chest or whatever you want to call it. And right here is for wood. I'll probably move the wood over here and make a second one for metal. Also, this one's for armor and maybe some clothes I want to keep. So, all right. We got everything we need? Yes, we do. Small generator. All right. Now, by the way, to upgrade to the next level, you need advanced parts. I have no idea where to get these. Just, just throwing that out there. Uh, build. There. Small generator. Oh, you need six? For Are you freaking kidding me? Man, I just want to make a small generator. Ain't no way I'm going to get six. At least not anytime soon. Um, oh, <laughs> never never mind. Well, actually, I do need one more. So, But I was a lot closer than I thought. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go check out the POI. Because, like, I've only learned about those little green boxes, like, recently. So there are probably a lot of green boxes that I have not seen. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go out and I'm going to look for some green boxes and try and get one more electrical part and see if we can make that generator today. I just want to make the generator today. That's all. I went to every single place I've discovered so far. The Machine Factory, Village, District 43, Mansion. Um, I even checked out the Neptune. Uh, it, it, there was no more green boxes anywhere. Nowhere I could get electronic components. So I came over here to this question mark, and it was the amusement park, and then I found one pretty quickly. Now, I didn't want to look around the amusement park too much because I want to kind of, like, I want to kind of like um, explore that place with you guys. Um, probably next video. We'll see. Uh, so I chose not to stay there too long. I just got what I needed and I got out of there. All right. So generator. 
So we need those, those, and those. So good. Um, good. What else do I need? Just the iron? Yeah. Do I have five iron? I should. Yep, barely. Should get some more iron going. Oh, we need some wood. It's nice being organized. Go okay, put some wood in there. All right, so we're gonna put the generator. Um, people told me not to put stuff outside because the enemies will attack it. Now, normally I'd like to put this generator outside, but in the interest of not putting anything interesting outside, I won't do that. I'm gonna put it in here. Now, I, I, I want, I'm worried about the fumes. Now, are there fumes in this game? Can you have pro Oh, I need six iron. Uh, are there fumes in this game? Are you gonna problems with the generator? Absolutely not. Um, I just, I like to like role play it a little bit. So I will put, put it by a window. And I think right here will be good. Okay, generator. There we go. All right, so now we can add fuel. We need to turn it on and install wires, which are one rubber. I have no idea how to work with wires and I haven't looked at it. I don't know anything about it. Let's just see if we can kind of figure this out together. Um, install wire. Connect. Um, connect. Okay, so. Listen, I know you guys are working on letting us move stuff. Please let us move stuff sooner rather than later. Uh, the fact that we can't... I know I keep mentioning this. I keep mentioning it until it gets done. I don't know what it is on the priority list, but it needs to go higher. Because this kind of stuff is going to drive me up a wall. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and take the battery out of that. And then we got the battery right there. Um, it doesn't... Yep. Yeah. And then we place the battery. Cool. And then we get some fuel. Now, I'm assuming the fuel is gas. I don't think there's any way to get gas except for to loot it. So I'm going to be very careful with the gas I use, you know. Um, and we'll see. Balance stuff is definitely going to be on their list of things to, you know, pay attention to. So there you go. There's five fuel. Turn on. Okay. And 3%, 4%. All right, cool. All right, cool. Uh, those wires are going to piss me off, though. Like, they're going to try me up a wall. Maybe there's a way to, like, make the wires not show up or something that I just don't know about. But, yeah, that's going to bother me. Also, the lack of gas. I mean, this is going to take a lot of gas. We're already half a half a gas container through, and it's only at 28%. This is going to take, like, multiple gas containers just for one battery. And, like I said, gas is not something... Well, I can't make gas yet. Maybe you can make it later. I don't know. That very well could be the case, but I can't make gas right now. So right now my gas is extremely limited. So, which means I'm definitely not going to... Um, see, I don't know. I don't know if I want to make this or not. Oh, you need advanced... Okay, I guess I'm not going to make that. By the way, I found the uh, thing for the motorboat uh, off camera in between in between videos. I'm not going to make it though. Like I can't... I can't use my gas on that. I need the gas to, to keep the, the batteries powered. So I don't think that's going to work for me. All right, 69%. Yeah, look at that. It's going to take two gases, two units of gas for one battery. <laughs> We're going to be out of gas very quickly. So that's just, yeah, hey, balance. It's just something they're going to have to balance later on. Um, okay, either way, guys, I am glad I made the generator, so now I know. And I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then... Take it easy.